Let's go back to the beginning. Earliest memory of music. Yo, my earliest memory of music is me being a four-year-old girl singing in front of the church. What? <laughs> that for me is is my earliest memory of music. Um, I remember my mom. If I didn't wash the dishes, she'd be like, "I eat microphone la." <laughs> I like it. I eat the microphone la. Hambo washes it. Wow. You know, so it was, and I think that's what. Um, made um, my my relationship with my siblings so strong. June, July, that same year, yeah. we felt in our hearts that nah. now this is it for us. And we told them, because they do their, life, their, their recordings in December, that we're going to do the recording in December. But after that, please let us go. We are. And they yeah. said, it's fine. You can go. And then we did the recording. I feel like I've reached a point where I feel like I've got nothing to prove and I just want to do what's in my heart. And it's an album that wins album of the year. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, I'm part of your favorite time of the day. <laughs> Yay! I thought you'd be tired of me by now. <laughs> Let's go to a question that you struggled with favorite fruit. Nachi. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I don't like peeling it. But I do it's it for my you. nails. But I, but I do it for nails. you. <laughs> yeah, true. You do do it for me. Oh, well, look at that. That's I that's do love. have a favorite fruit, baby. I do. And mm. I just want to say thank you. I love you, baby. Mm. Hey. Love you You're an awesome You're welcome. person. Mm. Love you. <laughs> You know what? I'm with stars today. And if you're not jealous, it's your problem. <laughs> but uh, uh, if you don't celebrate with me, which oh, alas, <laughs> that's a direct yeah. translation of that okay. phrase. Look at you thinking, what is he talking yeah, about? Yeah, I was listening. I was waiting for the tra for the translation. translation. Shate <laughs> is a ululation. Ah. If you don't ululate with me, you are jealous. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, born. <laughs> So that's 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 really my introduction today to okay. say to have both of you here. <laughs> Are you always together? Yeah. yeah, most of the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, yeah. and it's strange when we have to separate. go our separate yeah. ways. Sometimes it's, it happens. Yeah, it's very odd. That's very odd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're always together. I'm with Ngube Gombata and Togo Zomba. But do they need an introduction? I wonder. Hey, do 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 you still introduce yourself? I do. I am. Yes. Really? Yes. I know we. No, it's necessary. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Bo. You can't just be assuming that um, everybody knows you. Some just laugh you. at you like. Then, oh, oh, some say how oh, Yeah, no, but, I, yeah, but no. sometimes you do it so that you know, but they, can they can introduce you, get their names. Yeah. Yes. That's so true. Yeah. Because yeah. otherwise, uh, you yeah. operate with a. Uh, no. You, you must know who I am. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Pula, do you know who <laughs> I am? Everybody, no ways. <laughs> please come over here. There's someone here who doesn't, doesn't know, know who they are. <laughs> You don't want that. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> so this this being together all the time, mm -hmm. is it work or you just enjoy this? Let me ask you. Is it work or you enjoy it? How do I explain it? I think it's both. I really do think it's both because yeah. most of the time we're together because we're always working together. And also the second part is the fact that I actually enjoy his company. Oh. Wow. Nice. You know, I actually like him. You know, not I don't just love him, mm. but I actually like him. I like his wow. company. I like I like the person that he is. You know, he's a cool guy. What you know, what is it? He's a cool guy to <laughs> hang out it? with. Look at poor guys blushing. <laughs> <laughs> he's having a hard time. <laughs> so you want to go deep on this? I can see you. Like what is it? No, because it's an interesting thing. You know, there are people who are together in a relationship, but they don't they don't. They don't always like one another. Yeah. yeah. And so it's an sure. important thing, I guess, to like someone. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's probably at times it's probably more important than loving them. Yeah. yeah. Because we 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 stay in relationships, not because we don't love the person. Yeah. But we've stopped liking them. Yes. They're no longer fun. No. No, and then that's not nice. <laughs> that's that's not why nice. I'm curious to know what do you like? What do I like? I like I like that he's um when I'm around him, I feel I feel like I'm my best version. 
yeah, I feel like I'm I can be myself fully, you know, without having to hold back anything or wow. try to cower away. You know, um, there's no intimidation around him. There's no insecure like uh, he's probably the most secure man i've ever met what? um you know he's <laughs> solid he knows who he is and he's solid in that and it's so beautiful to be around him because he's actually very funny yeah you know um <laughs> i i laugh at every single one of his jokes people are always saying those was laughing out loud why are you all no because he's actually funny you, you know find, you find <laughs> his jokes funny i love his jokes yeah. <laughs> that's a true you find <laughs> your, she finds them your jokes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't share them with Everybody. Oh, so you have <laughs> no, 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 you no. have your funny, yeah. your together basically, funny, I'm basic. Funny. Someone not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're funny? No. Listen, no, no, but I love that about her because she laughs at my at jokes. unfunny jokes. <laughs> I, I must admit, take eh, to to find someone who loves it. Your joke yeah. is a gift. Yes, yeah, you're blessed. <laughs> he he will never leave. Mm. <laughs> As long as I keep laughing at his jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you can get everything wrong. Mm, mm. To find an audience is yeah, the hardest. Yeah, an audience of one. one. <laughs> Literally. Wow. Mm. So he's a, you know, the thing about, about bringing out the best version of you, it speaks to feeling sometimes that you don't, you need to get something like someone that brings it out. Yeah. Do you sometimes doubt yourself? I do. I do. I yeah. think especially growing up, I was someone who I've always been very shy and I'm an introvert. I'm very reserved. Yeah. You know, I keep to myself. I try not to, um, you know, so I'm very careful of of the personality that I portray when I'm outside with people that, mm. um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure about or I don't have a relationship with. Okay. But with him, he just accepts every single weird bit about me. What? And and yeah, and that's one of the things I, I love about him. Yeah. Wow, man, it's so cool. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna, you guys are going to make people want to fall in love again. <laughs> they, <must. laughs> they should, they should. Love is beautiful, it's man. Beautiful. It is, eh? it is. Mm. you know, especially when, when, when you get to journey through it, life mm. with your best yeah. friend. That's you true. Know? Yeah. Do, do you remember the first meeting? What, what do they mean about the first meeting? The well, first there must have been. There must have been. The first... I don't think we even have a first no. one. We because don't it's, it's, it's not. So what is Matt? Matt, Matt, the meet, meet, the or just sings someone that you don't know, like that For girl who sings. Let, 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 let's let's do both. Let's do all those possibilities. Okay, I always let's... knew a dog also bamboo singer. Oh, there was a time when she was just over there. Exactly. Uh, I'm I'm from Eskawini. She's uh. from Durban. Uh, the distance there's like an, one and a half uh, hours yeah. to two hours. Yeah. So they would come to our. A township to the church conferences. I would be attending. I would hear about this. There was a number of things. I love music, so I would this. I would come to those conferences to see uh, their their the group. Yeah, House of, House of Judah. Judah from mm. Deben. So mm. we knew the group. So we get there. We sit. We we see this little girl who sings. Oh wow, she's great. Okay, yeah. that's how I got to know her. And then later, I went to Deben to study for tertiary. Mm -hmm. And then I think I got to meet her often because yeah. there were con Concerts. more concerts okay. in Deben and where I grew up and church conferences as well, funerals, so, birthday parties, everything. everything. Yeah. everything. So you were famous to him before you were famous. She was. Yeah, it's clearly. Yeah, yeah. she's an old celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. 12, 13, 14. But she was still a baby. Oh, she was, yeah, uh, she was young was, then. Uh, yeah, she was. But how great were they? How great was this group? No, they were great. Yeah. House of Judah. Because you were as the I, audience. As, okay. as, I, as I tell you that, uh, they would come to a church that's not my home church. But I would go to those conferences You'd to walk just there. Uh, walk there, yeah, <laughs> just to make sure I see them sing, you know. And it was very inspirational. You know what Deben is too? To to people from Eskawin is what Jobek is to Deben. Oh yeah, yeah, it's actually so when people from Deben are coming, ah, it's Eskawin. a big deal. Eskawin, it's you a big stop, thing. Always stop everything. We're gonna go and see these people. Because, yeah. but why is it? Because they they would be better. They would be greater. Yeah, they 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 very inspirational. And Deben is big on music compared to a township where I was born. You know, yeah. though we have a lot of talent that uh, Eskawin has raised, mm. but. You have to go to Devon to get a bigger shine. Yeah. 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 And it's, it's it's interesting how 
South Africa is designed that way. It is. You know, we don't yeah. have a a committed search for talent mm. yeah. where it doesn't matter where you're, where from. you're from. You don't have to go anywhere. Mm. They come here once every year for 30 days yeah. Yeah. and they're going to find you. You yeah. know, those type of things. That would be awesome. That's a though. challenge for us. Well. <laughs> it is. Yeah, for eh? us as well, yeah. It's a I, challenge. I, th I think to a large extent, oh, yeah. there's an idea. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Light bulbs. <laughs> you spoke once, I heard it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting another revelation about the reverb now. Okay. What is it? What is it that 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 became a, such a light light bulb moment? Because in that I song? love discovering new talent. I believe that I'm where I am because someone gave me a chance. Yeah. And mm. I always felt that I need to do my part in yeah. develop in doing that. You know, people mm. take risks. I know how difficult it is to create a platform. And I'm grateful each time I see someone bringing someone that we we didn't, didn't know, know. Yeah. that we might have never even known about, and they just bring them to this platform. Just celebration did that for us, yeah. you know. And most people that know us, they knew us from, from that platform, that's and true. we know the sweat, sometimes even the blood, <laughs> the money Tears. of creating a platform, and mm. someone just gets to just come and st all they need to bring is their voices. Sometimes mm -hmm. they even dress you up. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, eh? and you just need to stand there and do your thing and thousands and thousands of people get to know you. So it's one of my missions in life. So when you said that, I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> all right, thank you. Because <laughs> they know that we know they're coming. That's it. Ah, you know, no, no, no. They there's know lots, they're coming. Lots of them. Lots yeah. of them. Mm. Yeah. Do, you, do you find where you're from, there's a, as you said, there's a lot of talent. Do you find that, uh, where, where, you know, there's a question I asked once about people from the, uh, from the East End. Yeah. Because you find a lot of singers from the yeah. East End. Yes. A lot of gospel singers yeah. as well. You go to uh, the Eastern Cape, you tend to yes. find yeah. a lot yes. of that as yeah. well. Definitely. What is it about, about, about where you come from, where you say there's a lot of talent? I, I just don't know. You know, each time <laughs> I have to go home, I'll discover this young boy. Or this young guy, I'm like, who's that now? <laughs> and now I, I've, I'm not even able to keep up with them. I yeah. just know there's quite a bunch of people. They will be discussing a number of people. I wouldn't even know one of them. But there's just mm. something special about Keza, and especially uh, sp particularly where I was raised as Kawin. Yeah. You know, there's always, uh, Pastor Jabuklongane, I think, is one of the first ones, you know, <laughs> and he, who came from as Kawin and he discovered quite a number of us. And we just, Bring us up, bring us up, bring us yeah. up. You know, Jeez. there's just been many of them, you know. And even some people from other places around that era would come and live at Eskawini mm. and they'll get their shine there. And the yeah. next thing they're in Durban, Durban, the next thing they're in Jopek, and the next thing we see them on TV. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's amazing. Yeah. Is it possible that there's a deliberate culture of singing? I think so. And I think most of it because it's gospel and that's where my 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 focus is, mm. is the churches. It's churches you know, yeah. I give credit to the churches yeah. and I always felt also that the church has been feeding the industry and there's not much that comes from the industry back to the church. Mm. But maybe it's their mandate. You know, one of the things about the kingdom of God is that we do things not because we're going to get something. something out of we just it, have to yeah. do it yeah. because, because it's, it's right supposed to be do. done. Yeah. So I, I would give credit to our churches there because uh, we have churches that are very strong, quite a number of churches that are very strong musically, musically. Mm. inside the church. Mm. They invest in music, they groom people. Mm. And you know, there was an era of community choirs and most of that is dying now. Yeah. And sadly, uh, the only life, maybe the, give it, the life giving platform for music in our community now is it's the churches. Church. That's true. Mm -hmm. If right? you don't meet music in church, you probably. Yeah, well, a groove. No. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, but it's, not, it's not the same. same. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah. Yeah. Because because when you say the era of, of choirs and church choirs, you know, mm. if you, you grew up in traditional churches of Anglican yeah. and yes. Roman churches, yes. you'll find that. Yes. Yeah. You don't find the big band set no, up. No, no, yes, no. in it's those churches. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but that is that is a it, it's still relatively a new thing. Am I correct? The big band. Yeah, it's still it's still a it's still a new but, thing, but but even before you go to church, mm. there were community choirs that are, were not affiliated to any in, church. In church yeah. Anyone yeah. could just it would just go. be individuals. From yeah, different... just you just know that on Wednesday, every Wednesday, uh, there's a choir. Remember, as Kevin, yes. there was a choir which was called Cantata. It yeah. was a big choir, you know. Ooh. And so from the community to the church, from the church to the industry, it's an order that we grew up yeah. seeing. But now we don't have community. 
Hey, sadly, and I'm, I'm just hoping there would be a revival of that yeah. because it did a lot of good. Do you know, it's interesting on the radio today, I was talking about what has changed. And I deliberately said, let's not talk politics, please. <laughs> <laughs> what has changed from our olden days to now? Mm -hmm. People talk about all sorts of things. From Ibatini Koka is a fan. How? It's a bad <laughs> I said maybe because I got pelly. I said pelly. I said nambu. So so and now when you bring this up, it makes me realize that the townships have changed. Mm. Yeah. You know the community mm. have changed because that's we grew up in the olden townships mm. where it was a lot safer. Because uh, when you said churches, because churches would have to rehearse. Yes. yes. And every Wednesday. Yeah. Mm. It means it was safe. Yeah. Mm. To, walk, to walk. Yeah. Just to walk. Church. Yeah. To Everything was just a walking. Distance, yeah. yeah. You realize that those, it doesn't look like a, a big thing, but it has contributed to the changes of the supply yeah. of talent. Yeah. No, as absolutely. small as it may seem. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. Wow. You know, <laughs> look at you. Absolutely. Think. You know, yeah. and it, 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 it's really interesting because in all honesty, you can, you'll hardly find um, a, a group, a singing group in a you know, in a certain community nowadays. Not anymore. Not anymore. It's not as big as it used to be. It's not as vast as it used to be. And those singing groups really helped as well to nurture talent because yeah. people got to grow and to, you know, discover things about their voices as well. Because the, the truth of the matter is the more you utilize your instrument, the better you That's get bad. at it, you know. Wow, yes. So practice does make perfect. That's so if true. you don't have a... A environment where you're constantly practicing, whether it's every week or twice a week, yeah. then obviously it's not going to be mm -hmm. as great as it should be, mm -hmm. you know. And I th and I feel like that's what we're we're lacking. Do, do, do you also think that maybe an effort by yourselves and artists that are do you feel a sense of responsibility to do something about it? Because it can be a burden. Yeah, you know, they they, they speak of uh, the head that wears the crown. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would do it differently, though, because yeah. things are different now, you know, as you're saying about a burden. Mm -hmm. And a burden is not a bad thing. Mm -mm. You know, I think we, we all have, should have okay. some burden within us, you know, because I remember even with those choirs, mm -hmm. or this mama, mm -hmm. she was not paid. Mm -hmm. They were not paid to do it. Mm -hmm. But they were so passionate about it. And they were mm -hmm. even, mm -hmm. like, well, okay, okay, so okay. Exactly. and feed the group. No, we're not, you know? we're not paying anything for this thing. You know, I think there was just that thing about them, that the burden. Mm -hmm. They had a burden to see this thing through, mm -hmm. you know. And and to a level where we go to competitions, there's a bus. And then that's a prop, that's probably the only time we'll get to pay something. Very mi minimum. And then we no But those people and foot they had a way of enforcing discipline because that's what this thing came that's with as well. So so your question was the burden. The burden, you know. I think I have a burden to do something, though I might not do it the same way, you know, but I think uh, as I grow up, I have a responsibility for the generation that has come after me to pass on some things that were passed on by those mm. who went before, before you. Yes. Yes. yes, you know, yeah, yeah, because that's we live in a time when technology could solve it. it yeah. You know, yeah. social media could, could solve yeah. it, yeah. could address it differently. Mm. So there's a lot of ways of at of attending to it, yeah. but still achieve it. Yes, and and because now you have a global space, mm. it's probably no longer. Uh, just your township. Yeah. Yeah. Ish. yeah. There's more. Oh, There's wow. a lot more townships. Oh, wow. yes. yes. It's a bigger yes. responsibility yeah. now. Hey. Yeah. And and the Bible talks about the fact that to whom much is given, much, much is, required. is required. So as you talk about the burden and the responsibility, definitely we have to do something. You know, we are a community of people that always complains about that. Uh, Ish. These things, things are different now. It was better than, but it was better because some Somebody. people took a responsibility, you know, and now you're mentioning uh, things about technology that we have even more help probably to do it even sitting in your own, own house but mm. making a huge, huge influence. Yeah. And the question is, how do we use our influence? I have quite a number of followers on social media and my question would be, in a week, yeah. how many lives have I touched? Uh, 
and touching them with something that has nothing to do with me because I know sometimes we want to sell products mm. yeah. but sometimes we just need to do something that's nothing to do with you that will change someone's, someone's life, life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah incredible mm. I, I, I'm interested in and bear with me uh, those years ago <laughs> no no go ahead <laughs> go ahead years ago <laughs> Your your music journey, where did it begin? It began at home. <laughs> what are some of your earliest memories of, of music that are pleasant? Okay, my earliest is when, uh, so we have, in the black culture, we have Ubaba no Mama, Ubaba Mwa, Ubaba Mdala, Umkulu, Koko, we have that. Makola. Yeah, so I was raised at Skawin, I was born there, but my father's home, Twisa Makai, is Tua uh, Ebukonjelapan. I'm countrywin. Okay. It's like the I'm a kind, I'm a farm. So in Kom, we go there. Yeah, lot of land. So every December we'd go home, and the my my cousins they are there, and then there was a lot of singing there. I remember there was one one of my big brothers. His name is Tolan Shandu. He's a pastor now. He was the only one who was playing keys. So they would bring keys, semakaya, batteries, you know, or generator, <laughs> that vibe. So there's a, a tent, maki. Mm. So there's a big thing that's happening. And their family, they would stand and sing together. Amazing. He's playing He's playing keys. The I'm like, oh my God, I want to do, I want to play that thing. How old thing. were you then? I think it was probably like six, seven, yeah. eight, nine. Mm. Because I remember when I turned 12, my father bought us a keyboard. We were we were four boys. Mm -hmm. yeah. He negotiated. What did he say? Oh yes. It was the it was the era of I'm a PMX. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. So we four boys, ne? Yeah. We all want I'm a PMX. Mm -hmm. So my father is calculating if I had to buy four. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It was probably yeah. seventy rand. So he, he asked us, should I buy you? Bicycles, or should I buy you a keyboard? So mm. it's four bicycles against Ooh. one keyboard, and we all said we want, want a, a keyboard. keyboard. <laughs> really? And that was, I remember it was 1993. He bought us a keyboard. Oh my god! I remember I was walking from school, and when I got home, I saw it was, it was on the coffee table. Oh my god! <laughs> and everything was called the Oka at that yeah, time. Yeah, there was no, there was no separation. Oka. Oh, you stay Oka and guy. Oh my god! It was a Wednesday. <laughs> And you even remember that it was I a Wednesday. It was a Wednesday. Was it, was it cloudy? It was a sun. No, no, no. It was sun. It was a beautiful day. It's a beautiful story. It was a beautiful day. And it was a Wednesday. On a Friday, yeah. uh, my big brother, Olani, mm. he was invited to come and be with us from Friday till Sunday. Teaching us the key. Oh, yeah, because he could play. Yeah, he could play. He was yes. the one who could the play one, yes, in the family. Yes, yes. Yeah. The, the one with the pain. Yes. 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 So he was with us teaching all the four boys. We were all forced to learn. So he left on Sunday and we already had something. Wow. And then uh, I think I had more interest than the other brothers. So You stayed with I, it. I know I stayed with it until we started to have our own devotion at home. Every, every evening I'm playing. And their family singing, you know. And, Incredible. And my father would insist that I have to play and sing. Oh. But I didn't understand why, because I'm playing, they should sing. Mm. Why should I do a double job? <laughs> <laughs> everyone is singing. That's such, a, that's such a childlike <laughs> logic. Yeah. So Putting you, seven you, like I too. Yeah. Exactly. You know? <laughs> and I remember there was a night where I was really forced to sing to a point where I cried. What? No, no, my father wouldn't take no for an answer. Yes. And you know, God has given parents something special, you know. Yeah. And I'm saying that to encourage even another parent who's, who's, who's listening out there, that they should not doubt themselves. Parents can see, yeah. you know, because today I'm a singer who, who plays, plays. Yeah. you know. And then it was, and no, I didn't see a need for it, but my father saw something and he insisted. And he insisted. Yeah. We still need the tough love. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, it's because uh, you're bringing a, yeah, you bring an idea that mm. most parents struggle with that now. Mm. Today's parenting Ish. is yeah. complicated. Ish, yeah. It is. It, they it's call soft. it gentle parenting. It's soft. Oh, <laughs> and 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 you saying there's something to be said about, about tough love. No, man. It's tough love. Yeah. But I think love has to be in cap in, in capital letters. Yes. Yeah. All L O V as all be. the time. Yeah. <laughs> because sometimes the extreme yeah, it's also, it's also a problem, a, yeah, you know, yeah. today in our community as well. You know, mm, we're just talking about that. We're too soft. And also, we can be too, too hard, hard as well, you yes. know. So I think a balance is very important for parents because 
for everything that we've achieved with my wife, we have common thing to say. We always say we thank God for, for our parents. Our parents. Mm. They just saw things in us <laughs> and they nurtured see. them mm. and they allowed us to be children and they allowed us to make mistakes, to grow, to be the people that we are. And even still yeah. today, they're still one Amazing. of our best sources source of encouragement. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I want to go back to the negotiation. <laughs> How the hell do four boys choose a orchard <laughs> over my PMX? <laughs> you would have chosen it now. Oh you were part God. of the four boys. I'm oh telling God. you. God. I'm curious. A musical instrument was a big thing in a township in 1993. <laughs> PMX, Coco. No, but <laughs> think about it, David. I'm telling you, bro, listen. <laughs> Please He's help me. He's his case. I'm, I'm help trying, us I'm understand. I'm trying to make you understand. <laughs> I, see, I see a BMX every day, okay. but I only see a keyboard on TV. Yeah, even, have... even our churches. Okay. There were a few churches who had keyboards. keyboards okay. Yeah, I, I, and then that day. Okay. Let me, let me repart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> BMX, you went to cool. It's starting. Yeah. When other boys see stall. No, but those when, boys, they all wanted to come home. Just, 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 just look at us pressing that thing. And then they leave you in a map PMX. So so it wasn't a, a difficult negotiation no, amongst the other no, brothers. For us, it wasn't. It wasn't. Really? I, I think it I just remember, we all said we want. The organ. What? No one pulled back. No, we wanted wow. this thing. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, but Ted was very smart. No, no, that was <laughs> he was clever no, about no, it. <laughs> and he saved a bit of cash. A lot of, a lot of a cash. Lot of it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to buy for four boys. I don't know. It was gonna. I don't even remember how expensive those things were, but I know because the brand was BMX. It had to be absolutely yeah. nothing else. What was that? What was that? Uh, that e keyboard. What? What name was it? It was a Casio. CT770. I still... Re- oh, C60. CT660, yeah. I still <laughs> the, remember. The type that are pre-programmed drums. Yeah, drums and stuff with the, yeah. speakers. the speakers. Yes, ah. yeah. Jeez, man. We carry it every day to church. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how quickly did you get to, to know it? To know how to play I it? I think it was very quick for me. For some reason, because I, I wanted this thing, you mm. know. But I think God gives us the stuff is within you. You just need to yeah. to find a, a way to express it, you know. So that, that few uh, days of lessons. Three Kate, days of three, lessons. When you left, we already had something. We could just play. like I'm a 145, those okay. few chords, okay. you know. And then from there, I started developing. And the thing about the township and the communities that we were raised in, uh, if you are a keyboard player, for some reason you hear that, in fact, uh, across the, the river, there's another boy who plays. Oh. And then you visit him, you find, oh, he has a better keyboard. Techniques was that. Hey, was the, yeah, was Those the, days. Ah, was the, like, hey, this guy has a technique. And you find that you probably have courts that he doesn't have. And they didn't want you to come to his house. Yeah. Come to teach him. So you then, learn. These. And you start playing the techniques now. Like, oh, I play the techniques now. Because it was an upgrade from a case you then. You know, so. Yeah, it didn't t- take a lot of time. And then no. a few months down the line, we're playing at weddings. <laughs> Imagine that. Eh? Funerals, birthday parties. Crusades. Of, <laughs> crusades, yeah. And they come at home to ask my father for permission. I remember, you know the shoe, the shoe, Crockett and Jones? Of course. I wore that thing while I was still at high primary school. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> you're dead. We are on my shop. <laughs> no. This guy came to, to ask for, for me to go and play their crusade, which mm. was like a two-week crusade. Every evening I'd go and play that crusade. Okay. And then as their thank you, they bought me Crockett, Crockett and Jones, and Jones. shoes. Wow. <laughs> I, I even remember the adverts. <laughs> yeah, Crockett and yeah, Jones. Yeah. It, it, it's in Pedi. They, they used to Crockett and Jones. See, yeah. that's a how. I don't know. See, that's how it means your shoe. Okay. So there must have been an, a Zulu yeah, ad as well. Probably, yeah, probably, probably, was. Was probably was. Yeah. So yeah. Wow. Probably one of my first geeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself Crockett and Jones. And yeah. and the other brothers, did they co- catch on to the music as well? Yeah, they catch on because. My elder brother, who's late now, mm. ended up playing in church as well. Uh, what instrument? Same keyboard. Same keys. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. And then uh, Sabel and I ended up playing. They were all playing, but it was a little bit basic compared to you what were, I was doing. You were moving. But they could play in church, you know. But today, I don't think they they they, they remember. Uh, they remember. <laughs> yeah. You were moving. No, no. It was it was it was my thing. 
Baba mpelezele. Eh ngati tenda. Labanye si amapegeza. Suspila ba ma form nje. Eh kuti abanye lobo so bano bayithola bona. Oh But but what was it inside of you? Yes man. I just wanted that thing. I wanted to play music, you know. Uh, I remember even radio ads. Mm. I would memorize them so quick. I still remember what? radio ads uh melodies. Um, melodies and the what they say and the, mo- the yes, the, the way they sing, you know. Mm, I remember mm. the I'm a jingles. I'm a jingles, yeah. Yes. I didn't know it was jingles. There. What do you remember? Yeah. Which one do you remember? Irama, it's all a ten out of ten. I'm too gani. It's a whole a simple wheel. Sengi eka ya gotindlela inde gunale milenze yam. It was that. Which one? Iklas. Iklas. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. I still remember those things. Oh my goodness. No, I remember the. There was a show. On the course of FM, which was called Taba Sigbe Boon. That there is still, I think it's there, but the, the music there was. And you would try those things. You try those things. You try those things. You would just. So I would catch music, I would hear things, and yeah. like it just stays in my mind. It. That's amazing. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Ah, when you were trapped, Chief. I know I was trapped. You had yeah. no other way of escaping this thing. <laughs> no, no, it was no, as clear was, no. as day. I think day. that's why even when my, when I told my parents I wanted to do music at tertiary as a career, though they didn't know m- much about it, but it was like, Ish, you must just go and do it. Mm. You know, they didn't know what's going to come out of it. Yeah, you know? what, I wasn't what? even sure. I just wanted to play, you know. And What didn't they know? The career of It was, of it was not popular at that time that you mm. could go to a university and do music as a career. And I'm and grateful. Successful. I'm grateful to the people that were around me that my parents trusted. I remember there was a gentleman. I mentioned him on an on on mm. early interview. His name is Linda Zulu. Oh, he yes, was, he yes. was al- already a lecturer at the University of Zuland. Teaching music, yeah. so I told them, no, you can actually do this thing as a career, you know. Yeah. So, so he was in the neighborhood. Yeah, he was. Yes, yeah, same yes, church, same yeah. church. You know, in fact, he's one of the guys that are, you know, a sustained pedal yeah. keyboard. Yes. Yeah. In fact, the first time I experienced that, it was through him. Oh, because because <laughs> he led to I in a sustained. Oh. popular. Yeah, you had to advance to a level where you're using a sustained pedal. Yeah. <laughs> So I thank God for that gentleman. That, right? yeah. how, and this nowadays. was not easy. Eh? No. And also, <laughs> Assemblies of God, they have this big convention, conventions mm. and conventions. So we'd come to Durban, and when Durban, there was a gentleman. His name is Big Boy Nkise. He's still yeah. uh, in, the, in, mm. the, in, the, in the in the in the in the music industry. He was a great player. He was doing the same uh, uh, qualification that I did. Okay. So he would meet me all the time. Hey, you must come to Natal Tango and study music. Okay. So I tell my parents because they knew that family. Oh. So I'm like, hey, the, the boy, he's good he's reference. That, yeah, <laughs> good reference. He's doing that thing. And they said, I must come to Natal Tango to study. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. I did a little bit of my research, of course, just to, yeah. to do my part of convincing. And then, yeah. I remember when I finished my trick in 1996. I had a gap year. They call it a gap year. When I, I, I gap didn't, year? I didn't even know it was a gap year. Well, how the hell did you end up with a gap year? So in that whole days? year I was not studying. I was not working. My parents didn't even want me to go work. I was not studying. I was not working. Who came uh, up with the idea of, of a gap year? I think there was an, a financial issue because my elder brother was already at ah, university. Got you. So I think they needed to get some sort of a break. Before. Yes. That's to prepare them. But I never even felt it because... I was busy with the bands in the township <laughs> in that year. Yeah, yeah. This weekend I'm here, this weekend I'm there, this weekend I'm here, this weekend I'm there. So I was busy with the music. Wow. So man. the following year, it gave me time also to. Did you get paid? I don't remember. It was not even an issue. Sometimes I'll get 30 rands there. I can answer that. Yeah. They knew his price. <laughs> Crockett and Jones. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that was a lot of money there. <laughs> Oh, jeez. And the following year, I went to Durban, 1998. Yes. Yeah, that's when I started. In that year, the gap year, surely yeah. your music must have improved. Jeff, a lot. A lot. Yeah. I remember I started I started going to that university, to their concerts. You know, when there's concerts, I go and sit there and just watch. Mm. And sometimes it'll just pull me in okay. and play this song because they knew, that I, they knew that I could play that particular song. So I'm playing with the Big Brothers now yes. and also get to experience playing with the band now, you know, mm. the 
the sort of things that I, because I remember even when I went for my audition for school. Mm. I think I was playing advanced stuff already. <laughs> by the time you oh, got by there. The time, and they were asking me, oh, where did you know, learn all this stuff? And for me, it was not a big deal because I was like, okay, I just learned this stuff in church. <laughs> I would hear things and try to, to, play, to, to, to play them. You know, I, so I, you, you I have a good ear. You <laughs> still play by ear. Yeah, no, but I but I started music. I can still you root, can read, read music, yeah. but most of my work is through my yeah, ear. Yeah. yeah, that's incredible. You yeah. realize that's a special skill. No, I, I know because I've seen people struggle. You know, I've seen people struggle. You know, sometimes you think something is just natural to you till you see someone who doesn't have it, and you realize, oh, I have a special gift. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I've seen people. You know, who are the after traction plays by ear. Ooh. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Oh, amazing. He plays where he's like, how the hell do you do that? No, 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 he just, okay, there it is. <laughs> then he plays I it. He can hear it. He can hear it. He yeah. hears sounds, you know, and he came up with his own style. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah? That's yeah. incredible. Mm. And and your, your schooling years are quite special because mm. of the people you were with. I know. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand that time. <laughs> and at that, that time know. was anointed. You know, there was there was a cloud. Was a cloud. <laughs> I promise you. And we realized that we're realizing that now. Wow. But that's how life works. It, you know, it's always in retrospect. It's always when you connect the dots back <laughs> and you say, "Hey, man, we didn't realize what was happening yeah. there." You, you, you help us put that that light on that in that moment. What was happening? Who were the people? Let's talk about the names that were in the same school. At the same time with you. Okay. Unati, they call him Black Coffee now. Yeah. We never knew Black the Coffee. The very Unati. famous <laughs> DJ Black <laughs> Coffee. In the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who filled up, uh, what is that? The Medicine Square. Medicine Square. It was say my Pita and daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. This guy, this guy, this guy was a fruit man. He was a fruit boy oh, ahead he of me. Yeah. yeah. But now, now, demo, now, short, uh, short, yeah. now, now, and they had a group called Shana. Shana, yes, I remember. Yeah. Yes. And then uh, Monty Ngobo was also there. Monty came right after me. My Mo- gosh. Monty and Duse. They expand to They're also right behind me. Same time. Same Around the same time. Uh, baby, you'll remind me. Um, I might miss a few people. Who else? Jeez. I hey, know. There's, there's a number. Umakatin. Uh, 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 Dutuzo. Dutuzo 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 yes. Same yes, yeah. time. It's Dr. Dutuzo oh, yes. <laughs> Get it right. I have to get it right. <laughs> um, wow. Man, I tell you, I remember the first time I walked on the, on the, on the, what they call the premises. corridors. Mm, mm, mm. You would hear music from this side. Music, it's jazz this side, it's pop this side. Those who love gospel, it's gospel. I remember saying to myself, this is the place where I want to be here. I'm, this is, I'm at the right place at the yeah. right time, you know. Yeah. And a few years later, you know, we realized what really happened there. And we never knew what was happening. We just wanted to play music, you know. Yeah. And I remember my first composition mm. was through demo, you know. Okay. I actually realized that I could write songs, you know, through him, you know. Wow. And they were very encouraging as people who were ahead of us, you know, they could Pull you by that. You can do this. You can do yeah, that. You they know? could see you. Yeah, too. yeah, I was a church boy. You know, they would bring you in and some of the church stuff. Mm. And they were more into quieto and 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 after, yeah, it is that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were more into those. Uh, uh, but they, but the the love for the music in general in the in the in the in the department, you know, yes. it was just amazing. Though our teachers never loved. Like the fact that we love to play gospel and other genres, they just want us to do jazz. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange. No, they want us to do jazz. If you don't That's do it. jazz, so we would still still the moments <laughs> and do our own thing, even in the school studio, you know. But I know that our Asia would did them if Fernandez knew what we were doing. You know, pa- parents always knew. They just let you. <laughs> Good like, okay, it's fine. After hours, yeah. they do their thing. As long let, as they, let them, yeah, yeah. As long as they don't do anything wrong. No, no, no. Yeah. As long as they make sure that they their their schoolwork is taken care of, you know. But uh, there were comments like you and and them with your gospel gigs of yours and this, you know. <laughs> we love gospel. We love gospel. And jazz made us good gospel. It, it, actually, that makes the, you a better musician. Does it? Because jazz, I think it covers a variety Everything. of styles, yeah. you know, within itself. Because there's a lot of improvisation within jazz, so it. It allows I think you. it made it made us better musicians. Yeah. And I still encourage even young people, if you have a chance to study jazz, study jazz. It'll make you a better a, anything. A better, yeah, exactly. Mm. That's incredible. Mm. No, do you guys collectively still see, realize what has happened? Collectively, those <laughs> names you mentioned. 
Is there? Is there? I don't is, even remember us meeting together. You but me. we just know. Nah, yeah, I did. Stock fell. You know, I have big ideas. Nah, stock fell. Nah, stock fell. Where are you gonna find those guys? Yeah. I'm sure they will say the same thing. Where are you gonna find Mr. Mbata? I'm like, I don't know. Here's something we've done together with friends of mine. We grew up together. Yeah. We grew up, we've known each other literally since we were zero age. Yeah. And uh, about ten years ago now. We decided some people are CEOs of big companies and yeah. so forth and so forth. I'm the only one with a lousy job. Okay. I'm a DJ. <laughs> I'm a DJ. You don't have a job. I don't have a job. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> These guys are, they've achieved so much in their lives. Mm. And one random day, we were actually at a funeral of one of our a mother's funeral. Uh, at one of our certainly funerals would bring us you together. You know what I mean? Oh, and we were all together yeah. in this house. And and was one of one of us decided to conti, one of our friends said, maybe we should force each other to meet every month. We've been doing it for 10 years now. Are you serious? Yep. It's happened every month. Yes. And we love it. We absolutely enjoy it. Reunions. No, 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 no. No, don't make it a reunion. No. It's it's the select. And also it's the select few that one of you feels, you know what, let us hang out once a year. Okay. Okay. And we, whatever that comes out of it, because well, when we started, we used to talk about investments and we realized we don't agree on anything. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing I don't like about it. Yeah. Starting, no, starting with you, business you, together. different people now. We don't agree on a single thing, oh. but we agree on one thing. Yes. That we are very good friends. Oh. And Love that. this is important. Mm. Love that. And we agree on one thing. Another thing we agree on is that when someone is struggling yeah. for whatever reason, mm. yeah. Yeah. you know who to call. Other. Yeah, mm. there's there's two medical doctors in there, so mm. we know who to call when there's a issue at home. Uh, no. I know. Oh, I remember yeah. when I had a rotator cuff. I I tore my 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 rotator cuff muscle, and I hey, I had doctors around me to help mm. me. No. You see what I don't want? Necessary. Absolutely. Yeah. Four in the morning. I'm in serious pain. Mm. I, you know exactly who to I call. I know there's a guy who will pick up because it's oh, my wow. call that's coming through. Mm. You see why it's important. You know, I see. Nothing else. Necessary. Mm. Very necessary. Yes. <laughs> oh. And then you just take once a year, guys, in mm. some random month. Yes. And, and, and it grows so much. You'll find that ah, now we're meeting in Greece. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. You are a global animal. Mm. Mm. We're meeting mm. in Greece. You just yeah. rock up. Hey, mm. man, we're here. We're here, yeah. yeah. Nice. It's an it's idea. Yeah. It's an idea. Okay. Right. <laughs> it's an idea. Idea number three. Yeah. Is that three or two? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this man is full of ideas. <laughs> Like a well, just, just overflowing with these things. I should come to this place after. <laughs> just a thought. Wow. Because, because, every time I speak to guys of that time, Umo only also speaks of it. It's like, dude, there was something special, man. Yeah. We loved that time. Yeah, there was something special, mm. and the fruits of it are now. Yeah. We yeah, enjoying yeah, the evident. fruits of that time yes, now, yeah. and mm. because it, it, it also speaks of. The type of teachers you had. Yes. There's a lot that yeah. right were, place, were like, right time. They were like parents. Yeah. We felt we had the hard teacher, the teacher was like difficult. Yo, I remember Susan. <laughs> and we had another one who just doesn't care. We'll just fail you. We'll tell you, I'm gonna fail you. <laughs> and we had this one who was like a father. Wow, they just loved all, you. You know, we know we we'll go to and it was an HOD, so we would go to him <laughs> when we are hurt by these other mm, <laughs> these good other teachers, teachers, but who were different to but, him. But that environment is not bad though, if you think of it. No, no, when no. there's a good cop and a bad it's, cop. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's, it's a, a balance. Good, it's a good balance. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good balance. Which course were you struggling with the most? I would struggle with the courses that are not practical. So history. that's history, <laughs> arranging, stuff that you had to write. Mm. Um, it's history, arranging. I think those two. And we, arranging then, it was, we, not, we, we were not, it was not an era of, 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 of soft computer. Soft Software, computer. yes. So there was a big sheet, sheet that you <laughs> had to write with a pencil. You know, so it was quite a difficult. All the practical stuff was you were was natural, You could yeah. flow. No, 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 I was not struggling at yeah. all. Such that would even uh, help each other with those guys who were struggling with the practical <laughs> stuff. 
And then, so that's how we would do it. Wow. Yeah, the students times, will always find a solution. Yeah, we would, we would find a way. I knew that when it comes to history, I'm just going to go to so-and-so. Mm. They just they just get this stuff. They get arranging, you know. Amazing, they, eh? Uh, do you know, I saw a, a documentary, I got uh, Quincy Jones, I mm. think on one of these, these streaming platforms. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Where he, he writes an entire song with no instrument on side. Yeah. He just writes yeah. the whole song, yeah. writes, 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 and give it to them, and there it is. Go and, and play. Yeah, as is. How that happens for me still remains a mind blow. No, but the but it's here. You hear it here. How do you hear it, Agna Lutola? No, <laughs> but it's here. <laughs> How do I explain this, baby? <laughs> help me. I help all no of us. Huh? So yeah, you say ding, ding, dang, dang, dang. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm the one who's playing the music through a musical instrument. So I'm yeah. telling it how to sound. And I'm still fascinated about the people who create these musical instruments, how, like how their minds work. Because mm. yeah. it just works with the human being. You know, yes, it just works yes. with our fingers, our hands. You know, when you start learning an instrument, it seems like you think with your mind and then your mind tells your fingers. But once you become an expert, it's like you think with your fingers. Mm, it's the other way, right? Yeah. The fingers do the yeah, thing. Yeah, you just think with your fingers. The mind is no longer there. Exactly. It's like driving. You, yeah, you exactly. change the gears without looking. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's a... <laughs> it, yeah, because the ability to write... Uh, so you're able to write then for the bass guitar. Yes. You're able to write for the horns. For the horns. You're able to write for the drama. You're able to write for the... And when it comes to arranging, it's 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 it's... It's massive because when you're writing for an orchestra, a, vi a violin, you're not writing the same way as you write for a cello. Of course. Yeah. You know? of so course. you see, you need to know all, all of that. Of that. You know? <laughs> I think that's why we str I was struggling with arranging because they were trying to teach us quite a lot at the same time because mm. it, it was within four years mm. you know, of a diploma. Mm. They would call it National Diploma in Light Music. That's and a I still, I still have call it an honors degree. <laughs> and I still have a desire today to go and do, I'm going to do it, mm. do orchestra arrangement, arranging mm. as specifically as a course because I still have a desire to write music specifically for orchestra and start conducting. Yeah. There's one of the things I don't want to do wow. as I grow older, you know. <laughs> oh, it's special. You want to be a maestro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but maestro, I have super. Yeah. They want to be called maestro everywhere. <laughs> Even in stuff they don't know. She said, "Prove us, Chaivel my piano." My name is a maestro. See, my actual baba maestro. Where's that? Where's that? Ofuna. Prove. Who's Ofuna myself? Ah well. Who do you think is a maestro? The maestro. Oh my God, the maestro. So you see yourself in that, in those spaces. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go back to school specifically for that because it always had been a dream, you know, but, mm. you yeah. know, and, you know, I get to work with orchestras today, but I always had to get someone to write it for me, yes. but I have to give them the arrangement because I can hear it in my head, but I want to get to a point where I can be able to write it and arrange for everyone. Mm. Without needing yeah, anyone without to help. Anyone. Yeah. It just requires me to go to school. <laughs> Do you know something about, about a, a long relationship like the one you guys have? Mm. You're able to complete not the thought, but the story. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You've had the story so many times <laughs> that you can tell it. <laughs> she can tell your life story. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, and you say, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. Carry on, and babe. It's going to go that direction. <laughs> That's true. They're able to do that, right? Mm. That's true, though. Like the story that I had to remind him about what the negotiation was. About the bicycle, yeah. because yeah. you remember. Because I know the story. <laughs> Is there is there a story that he tells often? Like what? Yeah, I got to go to court. You go to home. Ah, what do I know? Why are you exposing? No, he he is like that. No, do you know what? He even is like that with movies. Okay, he would. There we go. He says uh. we have never watched a certain movie, and I'd say no, but we watched it. Mm. And he said no. I don't get it. Never watched it. Like this is the argument in our household. <laughs> We argue about movies. No, he would say we watched it together. And I'm like, no, maybe you watched it. <laughs> no, weird. But no. I wasn't there. No, I wasn't there. But I don't watch movies without him, though. No, Especially, but... there's a certain kind of movie that I won't watch without him. Because I know, Woodsy, this is our kind he, of movie. And he would it's enjoy it. Yes, yes, we'd enjoy it together. Uh, ask you, so, and he says... I, th I think I think the older we get, let me help you. <laughs> let me, I'm, I'm helping you here. Uh, is, it, is, it, is this a new thing? No. 
The it's old, not a new the thing. The older men get, <laughs> yeah. there are some details that are not that important. They get fizzled out. They, the whole movie. <laughs> the whole movie. No, I'm being serious. You think it's a small detail. This is just two hours. It's nothing in your life. Okay, okay. There are some details that... Yeah, get fizzled out. And then as you're watching it, you're not saying it loud. I remember the scene, but it's fine. I told you I have never seen it. <laughs> no, Sorry, there, it. no, there are moments like that, but there are, sometimes I'm like, I don't remember. You don't remember. And let me tell you what happens in his mind when you say, mm. but I've watched it with you. He starts thinking, oh, no, bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, Maybe I should start thinking like that. <laughs> oh, no, bad. Why <laughs> me You know, but it's an advantage because I always have something to watch. There you go. Even if you have, you've seen <laughs> the memory, can just I wipe. Have, and then I have to repeat. <laughs> like, how fair is that? Because then I have to repeat, and this one, it's fresh for him. <laughs> I ski. It's part, it's part it of is, it. It is what it is. Yeah. I've just accepted it. And it's called a relationship. We choose yeah. peace. <laughs> Here's something that stands out as, as also. I remember I was talking to someone, and I said, you guys are coming today. And they said, Do you know, they make it look so easy. And I said, what? Everything. <laughs> whether it's the music, whether it's their relationship, just the way they present themselves. They make it look like, you know, a, a doll from a box. Yeah. They make it look, is it easy? Let me ask you, is it easy? Is it easy though? This this whole thing. If you say it's difficult, who makes it difficult? <laughs> you see now? Yo, 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 yo. I like How that. am I supposed to answer that now? That's why I have a tissue if you want to cry. Where's the tissue? How am I supposed to answer I'm, that I'm, now? I'm joking, baby. Tell me. <laughs> I think, I think what, what has helped us over the years is that we have become intentional in trying to make life easier for the other person. Ah, okay. Got you. Yeah. So we, we, we've... We realized early on in our marriage that we have selfish traits. Okay. And Example? We... Hey, it's hey. embarrassing to realize how selfish you, you can are. be. No, because when, when we just married, we really... We... Because, you know, the thing about um, Christian community is yeah. that um, you grow up to a... a... Stay away. Stay away from boys. Um, you know, and then suddenly um, one day, you know, you're not allowed to touch. I mean, our the generation now, sex be before marriage is yeah. a thing. But back then it was like, no, I no, no. That's not how we were raised. That's not how we were raised, mm. you know. So now suddenly you have to have sex with this in guy. One day. In one day, yeah. you have to live Very with Very close with this Very, person. Like he's, yeah, every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. No, 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 like, no, no, no. How do we do this? All my mm. life, I was told that men are repulsive. And oh. then this one day... Mm -hmm. He's here. And I decided that I want this guy here. <laughs> this repulsive <laughs> organism exactly. is in front of me all the time. All the Just time. Yeah. So that's you where the, the selfish exactly. traits. The selfish traits come up. You yeah. know? And, and, and also realizing that, you know, sometimes um, thinking, see, my, what I want is more important than what he wants. Mm. You know, whether it's whether it's even in simple yeah, things. Just little things, yeah. Like little things um in the home mm, mm. front, you know. Mm. No, I want this TV. You yeah. know, but no, but, I mean, but we yeah. can't afford it right now. Maybe mm. let's try. No, but I said I want this one. Mm. You, yeah. see, yeah. you know, mm. you oh, said no. you'd buy me this one. You know, yeah. just little things that are are mundane. Per se, but so you we end up making that. a big mm. deal out of yes. it. We had to go through it. We had to understand each other. We had to learn. I mean, one of the first things that we learned early in our marriage is that we don't discuss certain things <laughs> if we haven't eaten. Okay. <laughs> what is that? What does food have to do with it? No. Because sometimes you're not angry. You're just, you're you're just hungry. Hungry. <laughs> wow. like you just angry. And when you when you discuss certain things in a full stomach, it's easier yeah, and smoother. It, it looks yeah. different. Yeah, because yeah. what would happen would be we would have like silly oh tensions God. unnecessarily in the morning, uh, whether we'd be going to work or uh, going to rehearsal, mm. like silly things of 
No, but why why are you humble on this lane? <laughs> <laughs> lane is <laughs> Oh no. Things, you oh, know, and no. then you find that there's tension. And so we realize that I we were hungry. We were just hungry, actually. Who's the easy one? Who who raises their hand first to solve things? Somebody must. There's always like that. He There's does. always one who says, I. Yeah, no. He I, does. I have to take that initiative. He does. Mm. He does. Yeah. He's always the first one. I think because I'm stubborn in nature. <laughs> what did what you is say? it? Yes. What was that? What was that? I'm just <laughs> <laughs> No, baby, in defense, it's supposed to be like that. Uh, Aren't I'm, you a I'm leader? Stubborn. Well, I'm yeah, stubborn. that's yeah, it. You have to lead by example. It's not easy, though. Yeah, but I think yeah. we, as men, we we initiated this whole thing anyway. I'm the one who... Who said uh, a yeah. shot. A shot, yeah. yeah. So I have to be an, initi- an initiator throughout. Even That's if it. It's, it's apology, you know. you. And the other thing is that what I've learned is that leaders must lead by example, you mm. know. Yeah. Mm. If I see anything that I don't like in my wife, I should be able to say, where did you learn that from? Because mm. that's sort of how we live in this house, mm-hmm. you, know? Mm-hmm. you know. And also, I can't blame me on things uh, that I have issues because she's like, but that's how, but that's, that's, that, that's, that, but that's, how you, yeah. that's how you talk. Yeah, but yeah. that's how you talk. You know? yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I mean? You know? yeah. So though I wouldn't say I'm perfect at doing that, but I've taken the responsibility that ish, as a man, I have to, you yeah. know, I think there's a, there are benefits as well that come with that. And also I have also to pay the price. I must admit though, the, the sense of, of peace mm. is an important tool. Absolutely. Where, yes. where you say, I had a, a not so pleasant conversation with, uh, with an uncle of mine, mm. but I knew when I was walking in that my goal is peace. Mm. And I knew that it's going to be a tough conversation. Yeah. However, the result must be this. Yeah. It, it, whatever direction it took, I would bring it bring here. Bring it back. <laughs> yes. Because, the because the goal is, is one. It's always yeah. one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's it's something that most people lack mm. uh, when they come to a union. Yeah. Where Nkwatile, Nkwatile, Nkwatile. A squat. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. And when there's no one who will come with an inherent sense of, ay, ay, ay. Yeah. 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 We can't leave it like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's so it's so important, more especially because um I I struggle when it comes to confrontations. Mm. Uh, it's something that I struggle with personally. I'm still working on it. Mm. <laughs> what, what do you mean you struggle? With? I mean, I I'm I'm someone who's generally not confrontational. Okay, okay. Generally. Yeah. So if if you do something to me. I won't be the first person that says, I need hand in into mm. But I'll keep it to myself and be like, oh no, maybe, you know, it was a mistake. And mm, I, mm. you know, give you the benefits of the doubts. And, you know, um, but if you do it again, then I'd be like, but I won't say anything. Mm. If you do it a third time, I then I'm out. But I won't say. Oh, you still hold it in. I'm out and I'm out of the convo. I won't even discuss it with you. And then I'm. You know, I've gone. And that's, it's a bad thing. It's no, a no, very no. bad okay. thing. Yes, by Biza and and I need to, I'm There's still learning. It. There's a name for it. <laughs> what is it called? Uh, I may be wrong and correct me. I know you'll correct me. <laughs> um, it toxic. Absolutely. No, but Ish, you man. said, no, but that's Because we, we paid uh, we won. Mm. We won. And you get busy, you get managed, and get petty. And then I pretend like everything's you fine. You see that. You know. And then the thing is, it piles up. Mm. It piles up. And then he has to remind me. Because, because every you, now and then he has to remind yes. me. Mm, okay, we are in this together. Yeah. So let's walk together. What's going on? Then I'd be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but one of the reasons why I realized, would we'll see, um, as time went by, that one of the reasons why I was like that because mm. um, there was a, a certain relationship or a certain marriage mm. that wasn't that great, and that was very confrontation confrontational, and that had a lot of bickering and okay. so forth. Okay. So because I saw that up close, I was like, Ish, I don't want that. So maybe I should just mm. keep, know, quiet. keep quiet. Keep <laughs> quiet. But then as the years went by, I realized that. Keeping quiet doesn't actually help either. Mm. You know, we have to talk things through. We have to 
Because at the end of the day, we're working together, yes. mm. you know, and we're trying to make this thing work, you know. Yeah. And in order for us to make this work, we have to meet meet each other, oh, yeah. you know, and, and work through t- things mm. together. You mm. know, I can't be holding on to certain things just because I'm saying, no, but I don't want to talk about it. Mm. It doesn't work like that. I feel like that. talking about it right now. No, it doesn't work <laughs> like that. We have to, because we're journeying together. on this road together, mm. we have to walk together and I have to be cool. open. You know, and we have to talk about things. Do you know, something I've learned about uh, about this scenario you're describing is that you cannot truly pretend. Absolutely. Humans are not quite capable. Absolutely. And you can't pretend every day. No. You, some days, that toxicity will come out. Many out, mm. like many outbursts. Uh, and then when and we then, try Lila, and then we... And then, and then he doesn't know what the hell's wrong with you. Mm. Exactly. There's something. And then you're like holding something on. something behind. And, and, and that's, why, that's why the story is where what he has in fact, I'm going to say, i what he babe. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm uh, on a Wednesday, <laughs> to those who remember days, yes, yeah. on Wednesday <laughs> when the sun was out, <laughs> and then we tell her, you looked at that girl with a red dress. You don't even remember. I saw that. Like, like all these years. You don't even remember all these years. Be- because of that, the moments yeah. are not sorted, yeah. and then we move. You know what I mean? And it just piles up. And and I've I've had to learn. Uguzi, that's not how things are done. Yeah. We have to talk about it. In order and also it also brings peace to you as well. You know, because harboring certain feelings and harboring um, you know, these events mm, will, will end up causing bitterness as well. Yeah. And bad know? decisions. Exactly. Something and you know, and, that, and that's something you don't need in a marriage. Yeah. You know, a marriage that has a hint of bitterness is really heading for oh, a disaster. Yeah. You know, and and he's really helped me to be more expressive, you know, and and talk more and you know have those talks you know every now and then go out mm. and just sit even if it even if we can't afford going to a restaurant sit in the car yeah, yeah. Let's, let's have a meeting let's let's just sit and talk you know if we yeah. can't afford to pay for a restaurant let's, let's sit, sit in the sit car and, talk. and just talk yeah. if we don't have a car let's take a walk mm. you know because these things have to be worked yeah. out mm. and and i love the fact that you said the outcome always has That's to be peace, peace. That's it. At the end of the day. <laughs> it's not a complicated concept. And as concept. long as we both have that in mind, then we are quick to resolve the mm, issue and yeah. we get to the solution much faster. Let's go back to the easy. Is it easy? <laughs> <laughs> you think is all it, this is easy. I, I wouldn't say it's easy, mm-hmm. but it's not difficult either. Okay. okay. It's, it's not easy, but it's mm. not difficult either. We put in the work. Yeah, and you're conscious of the Yes, yeah. and we're intentional about it. What is the intention? The, the intention is forever, man. Mm. That's the intention. He doesn't agree, by the no, way. No, no, no. I, I agree <laughs> with, with her, but I, I'll put it differently in, in the sense that I don't, I don't want to look back. We've been married for 14 years now. Oh, you're 15. 15. It's like 16, man. We celebrated 15 now. Uh-huh. Oh, my uh, God. That's another <laughs> thing. Oh, my God. That's another thing. The older we get, we, we forget, forget the small we just celebrated details. 15. <laughs> Excuse him on behalf of all men. <laughs> but I don't want to look back and say, <sighs> we haven't. It was just years. It was just years. We never built anything. And when I say built anything, I'm not talking about material things only. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? And I've seen that that the, the other mistake that people make in relationships is that they spend a lot of time disagreeing on things. They are not, these people are not building anything. Mm. She comes up with an idea, I disagree. I come up with something, she disagrees, you know. And gets to a point where no one comes with anything here. It's like because you're talking about South African uh, government, <laughs> parliament. You said no politics. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just highlighting. <laughs> you see, at the end of the day, few, oh, that's a scar. Uh, <laughs> many years later, there's nothing in this house that has yeah. been built. You know, yeah. we have nothing to to, 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 to be excited about mm. as a family. You know, and God has really helped us as a couple that we we intentionally decided that you said what's an intention is to build. build. Mm. We want to build something build for ourselves. We want to build something for our children. You know, yeah. and if we keep on, there are points where we. Disagree, disagree with things, you know, but it has to get to the point of 
peace you said yes. you said it you know yes. at some point we need to start moving forward, forward you know yeah. regardless of how of, of the pace sometimes mm. we move fast in other years we're moving slow and we know that no this is the a slow season baby mm-hmm. we're taking things and, 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 and you're aware of no exactly. we have to that's yes. why talking is important and and as we have mentioned talking as well we don't sound like we're we don't sound like a couple that's always having meetings and talking Three we talk no 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 we don't we don't do a lot of I like things, that you know. <laughs> sometimes we we'll happy family yeah. meeting no, we just want to be happy you know, we, we love being happy you know we yeah. just love we just love being happy sometimes it's okay you know sometimes I'll get home and my wife says uh, we need to talk about it so I'm like baby you know tonight I just want to be happy we need to talk about it tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh. you know that's another thing as well that we've learned is timing sometimes mm. you want to say something right but, but the it's timing not is the time yeah. no, no. or error yeah and the timing is also bad yeah because that's also a double blow it's important some things can wait you know I can see that my wife is with her friends she's just happy I can say that she's happy I want to say this thing you know I got to call me from home like I ah, know not today. Let me just allow her to have this moment. Yeah. Then tomorrow morning, I'll talk about it, you know. As, and yeah. especially with issues around finances, you need to have timing to raise those things yeah. up. You know? Why specifically finance? Because finance, hey, because it's a very sensitive one, you yeah. know, and it, it, it raises certain emotions, you know. So you need to be... Yeah. To know your words, how am I going to put this right without, without <laughs> sounding like I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm saying to someone they okay, are yes. reckless. Mm, reckless. <laughs> you know, you, 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 which word do you do you choose to replace <laughs> reckless with? I wouldn't know which word to use. I don't know. We can do better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make it a wee thing. Make it a wee no, thing. Yeah, we can. I think we can do better. <laughs> we can do better <laughs> because she knows we're building together. You know when. When the conversation is directed mm. to you indirectly. Okay. Yeah. So, so you know. Uh, yeah, I yeah, know. know. I know. I know. And sometimes. I know. And I thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and I thank God that we're Christians because we know, we're familiar with the term repentance ne? Mm. and yeah. confession. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that sometimes uh, I don't even have to go to, when, when she sees that I'm going this direction, she'll be like, no, but baby, I, this is my. This is my mistake. I think okay. I made a flop. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. And it just made it easy for me. Yeah. So I'm learning from that as well. That when she's doing something, sometimes it's not easy, especially for us as men. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> just make it easy. Like I, as I think I made a blunder here. Yeah. And and then it just cuts the whole conversation Makes short. Makes it easier. Yeah. Already we are working on a solution, a solution. that will. I have a feeling you had to. You grew into this because yes. here's here's something that I, I've I've learned over the years with with humans. We're very young for a long time. Yeah. Longer than we realize. We think we grow quickly. <laughs> we get to 20. You get to 18, yeah, you think you know think, everything. That's yeah. the first yeah. mistake we make. You get to your 20s. Mm. But we stay kids for a long, long, long mm. time. Probably into our 30s. Yeah. We still make very elementary errors. Yeah. That, that are only acquired with time and age that you yeah. get better yes. at this. Yeah. What did you what what is the growth that you think you've done over the years that has become quite useful in the marriage? Okay, I'll mention the same thing she mentioned, which was selfishness. Mm. I've learned to share my space. You Ooh. know. Yeah. And because when you get married, uh it, it was hundred percent mine. Now it's fifty hours. Fi- it's ours now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're putting it better. It's better than 50-50. Mm, it's mm, ours. Mm, mm. And then a few years later, kids come. Yeah. Yeah. You have to share, so more, now you have to share space. That. more space. That's kid one, kid two, kid three, regardless of, and I don't know the number yeah. where you go. But I had to learn to share space. Mm. Even in my in my thoughts, it's not about me, it's about us as a man. You yes. know, everything, every decision that I have to make. I want to go, okay, it, does, it, it just doesn't affect me, Pella, you know, yeah. the time. It's cut some, it's no longer my time, it's our time. So I had to learn that. I would yeah. have to make sacrifices as a man for my family. I need to put them first, you, Yo. know, you know. Was it uh, a tough? It's not easy, it's very <laughs> tough. Sometimes you want to buy something nice for yourself. <laughs> oh, hell. That doesn't serve the family, mm. you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. You still go through that? 
Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gadget. It's gadget. Yeah, of course. Like, it's gadget. Gadget. Yeah, it's yeah, it's gadget. always gadget. You know, it's studio you know, stuff. It's, and, that's okay. why you need a wife who's understanding. Sometimes they just let you go. Like, yeah. yeah it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Sometimes you come with the bag. It's closed. <laughs> and there's something in there. <laughs> Thinking, oh, how am I going to explain this? Hey. So how do you explain a microphone that is, ish, okay, let's not get hundred thousand. I know. Let me man. tell you, I buy gadgets too. Ish. The beauty of it is I make these decisions alone. So okay, you have yeah. that challenge. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Wow. So yeah. You, you're still growing. No, no, no. We're still, we're still growing in that as well. So, and ish, I think, I think for men, it's quite a challenge because you have to always lead by examples and example in things, mm. you know, that you do because they're watching you. Yeah. And they will do exactly what you do. Oh, boy. <laughs> like, no, but you did the same thing. You know, so... Why we, are you judging? Yeah, exactly. You cannot judge, you know. Yeah. So, it, as you said, that we grow into these things. It just doesn't come natural, you know. And I I, would, uh, I, I don't think I'll get to a place where I say I've reached perfection now. You know, I yeah. know it, you know, because... Nindo, Damaj. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, you, do you sometimes look at him and say... He's still growing, man. It's okay. <laughs> Anyone, you, want, you, want you, you know why I'm asking here? Yeah. yeah. Because, because they tend to be ahead of us. Even if they, we are older in age. No, it's true. They tend to run way yeah, faster. That's why we marry younger. We marry young, <laughs> younger ones. They tend to go way faster. <laughs> do you sometimes look at them and say, hmm, I don't know, but it's fine. I do. Yeah. I do. I do, same baggy. Ah. <laughs> 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 Good day. Uh, oh, it's okay. Yes, it's Do you recognize though, and I may not phrase this question right, but do you recognize the burden of, of manhood that, that comes with, with being a guy that has to hold a family together? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I do recognize the pressure and um, the load of it all. Um, I think one of the one of the main reasons is because um, we're we're Christians, right? Mm-hmm. And we believe in the Word of God. And when I look at how the Word explains, would see how a man should love his wife. Mm-hmm. That for me is like the biggest pressure ever, because the Bible says that a husband should love his wife like Christ loves the church. Mm-hmm. Like Jesus Christ loves the church. So <laughs> the guy. The, Jesus himself. He's Terry. The miracle worker. <laughs> that dude. The oh. dude that turned water into wine. Yeah. The brother that healed the sick. <laughs> like that guy. The, the guy, blind could see. Dude. Yeah. That's a standard. That's exactly. standard. That's a high so standard. So that's a very high standard. So I I that's why I always try to be intentional in saying thank you mm. to him. And to show appreciation that his efforts are not taken for granted, you know, just to let him know every now and then would say, thank you, baby. You know, we recognize Mm, mm. what you're doing for us and the girls. I recognize, you know, the efforts, the the hard work, Mm. you know, the late nights. And I know the pressure that you're going through because I think I think scripture helped me to see that and and it helped me to be more. Um, affirming in my yeah. words and and encouraging in my words to him. Do you think society fails to see that in today's times? Where and and, and it's a tricky question because you have yeah. to have a lived experience yeah. to see it. You have to literally be in other people's homes yeah. to be able to observe it. But what's, what has been your observation in relation to what you've just said? As a woman that says, I recognize the hard work that comes with being the, a man Amen. of the house. Yeah. Yes. What is your observation? I feel like in in society, we 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 lack appreciation from both sides. Actually, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, I feel like holistically, we 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 don't appreciate each other. Mm. You know, and the efforts and and you know and 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 see the pressure. You know that it's it's big shoes to fill on either side. Yes. You know, and and that for me is what I believe society is lacking. As much as we don't, we're not encouraging to our men. I feel like sometimes men are not affirming to us women Mm. as well, you know, and it has to balance, you know, and and that for me is what I believe we're at currently. But you have to recognize that it's not, it's not an, not equal. It's not similar. Yeah. It's different. Type of of appreciation. Yes, Mm. exactly. And maybe you find in today's society and whether it existed before, I'm not sure, 
where I don't know how, how to, to do it. Mm. And I don't know what it is mm. that I'm missing here. Yeah. But it's obvious I'm missing something. Yeah. She's not always happy with me. Yeah. Do you get all of that? Absolutely. Because there's no manual. And there isn't. <laughs> and and it, it's it's a pay-as-you-go kind of vibe. <laughs> <laughs> it's very tricky. Yeah, it's very <laughs> but communication helps. Yeah. When she does something good or she says good words of affirm- affirmation, I need to let her know. That yeah, 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 I'm 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 overflowing. Exactly. So she knows, okay, this is how she loved mm, Just as much as the same, we do that when some when negative things are being said. Of it's course. the same thing with positive things because we're mm. learning how to communicate with each with other. Each yeah. I think mm. it's important. That's how we get to know. Because, mm. because you know, you spoke about an ego that likes to be rubbed. Mm. Some people say, I, I'm not going to rub that ego. <laughs> For what? He must up. rub his own ego. <laughs> <grow up. laughs> he must grow up. <laughs> but you, you recognize that egos Absolutely. need to be strong. <laughs> Absolutely. Because I've seen what it does for him. Um, and what it does for him benefits me as well. <laughs> It benefits anybody. my family. It benefits the kids. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't take anything from me. Nobody loses. For me to encourage him. Mm. It takes nothing away from me when I say words of affirmation and I encourage him and, and show my gratitude yeah. to him, you know. Yeah. It takes... Like, yeah, nothing. It takes nothing from me. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I benefit from that. And my children benefit from that because they have a happier father and have a... A, a wonderful husband. I have a supportive mm. husband mm. as well, you know? What type of character is he at, at home? You know, on the radio, somebody asked. <laughs> no way, we get that. <laughs> on the radio, somebody asked that, uh, do you guys play piano while you're cooking? <laughs> do you play the piano while you're cooking? Oh. That was my favorite question. Hey. <laughs> do you have music playing all the time? Is he always holding a piano? Oh, <laughs> is he has oh, those ones. He has those ones. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, yes. A guitar. When he plays, but he didn't I nearly share it. He didn't land the guitar. He didn't land the piano. Nothing like that. No. What, what what happens? No. What, what, let's let's give people no. a, a window into your into your household. Is it is it what what type of household is it? What let me ask it this way. What type of a husband is he? <laughs> He's not a grumpy husband. Mm-mm. He's not the husband that's reading a paper. Yeah, and, oh, yeah. And that's, um, you know, that that's unapproachable. Mm. He's not that kind of husband. Yeah. He's very relaxed. Um, he there are certain programs that he wants to watch on TV. Okay. Um, and every now and then, Mina, I love to balance. My son one would have been away from the kids for too long. Then I'll mm. come and sit with them. Okay. And I can, you know, I can handle what they watch. You know, yeah, and I ask questions. There's a bigger yeah, goal. Because I get it. You yeah. know, I just want to spend time with... He He, he doesn't want to even do... <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, hey, she said let the guy... You know? <laughs> Look at him in his face. He can't handle it. I can like, hear the he sound. <laughs> it's the sounds. <laughs> they don't go down well with no, me. It's, no. it's, <laughs> it doesn't have dynamics, you know. It's like this. Like, how do you <laughs> And then he'd ask me, how do you watch that? I'm like, no, but the point isn't me just watching it. The point is me just sitting with the girl. Yes. Oh you know? But so he, good night, good night. For, him, for him, it's too much sound. And it's just... Yeah. And he doesn't get it. But but he is very approachable. Mm. He's funny. He's... um, He is, though, the disciplinarian. Are you the disciplinarian in the family? <laughs> oh, I'm to you are. That. You are the disciplinarian. <laughs> He'll say no. He is the No Hitler ever admits to their oh. acts. No, I know, it's an extreme I... version. <laughs> <laughs> it's an extreme version. Hey. But yeah, he's no, not hectic. Yeah, no, but he's not hectic. He's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no. no, no. Yeah, he's, he's, the he's reaction cool. will be. Yeah, he's, he's a very cool. cool guy. He's cool at home. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, <laughs> they, I think we have a very peaceful home. Mm. I, think, I think that's what we have. We have a very peaceful home. And we have children that are not. Stressed uh, by no, parents that are not peaceful. No, they know that that's their home and that's their safe space as yeah. well. And we've tried to maintain that. You know, what's the home is yeah. as much as it's our house, but it's also we must remember that it's their it's home their as homes. well. Yes. You know, and it, this is their sanctuary as mm. well. So we have to make sure that Nabo, 
they are settled in their do, home. Do, do you know the case. phrase you use? We have a peaceful home. I've I've been you know when people ask whatever space where they ask how how was you how were you raised, I always say in a very peaceful environment mm. because it's an important mm. child's mm. state of mind. Mm. Kids need that. Yes. They do amongst everything else. Yes, give them peace. Give Absolutely. them calmness because yeah. <laughs> they're able to be kids yeah. and not worry about. Mm. Equal at Zaga Mama. No. No, no, no. You know what I mean? It's not that For example, a 12 year old, she is, um, Ufanele is very, she's very responsible. Like, wow. She's, <laughs> which is very weird for a 12 year old. I always say to tell her that I wish I had your discipline at that age. You know, mm. I feel like I'd be far if I, if I had. I hope it your, stays your, with your, it. I hope so too. <laughs> she's very disciplined, even when it comes to her schoolwork. She does it on time. She doesn't forget when she's got homework. Mm. Teachers give her responsibilities. So she's she's that kind of girl. She's yeah. she's leadership goals. Wow. We always call her that. Yeah. But she's she's a I feel like she's a natural born leader. <laughs> You know, and she's very helpful. Um, you know, with her, every now and then I have to remind her that, Fanele, mm-hmm. you're not the adult. You're Ooh. the child. Because then <laughs> she'll want to ask us details. No, but mommy, who's going to fetch me? Because you said you've got an interview here. Yeah, and then, exactly. then what's going <laughs> to happen? That's not of your business. And then what's going to happen with Abba? Like, yeah. exactly. So every now and then I have to remind her, say, baby, that's not your burden to carry. Mm. Oh, no. We are the parents. Yeah, your yeah, job is just to be that, the yeah. kid. So we'll take care of that. Don't worry. You know, don't worry about that. That's not your. <laughs> but that's it's not expensive. your. It's issue. expensive. It's oh expensive. no! A child like, access, no, but it's baby. expensive. I'm like, no, no, no. Uh-uh. That's not your problem. No. That is my problem. As if we have to take a loan, don't worry. Exactly. <laughs> we will solve it. You know, if this has to be done, we yeah. will make sure as parents that we get it done. Amazing. Don't worry about it, mommy. Should I talk to no? Eh, eh. I am the parents. Just relax. relax. Be the child. Yeah. What kind of wife is she? <laughs> What kind of what kind of human being is she at home? Ah, she's a very <laughs> as you see, she's a happy person. I think I just love the fact that my wife is a happy person. Yeah. So it's easy to pick up when something is not. Uh, ah. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's not in place, guys. Mm. She's a good mom. She's a good hus- uh, wife, husband. Wife. Husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I think uh, I love my peaceful home, and she may she makes she makes sure that we have a peaceful. I think she, I would say she's a reason why. Uh, when other men don't want to go home, I always want to finish and go home. Ah, you know, so she she's is. the she's the chance of uh, Yes, yeah. she is that. Yeah, yeah. I just want to go, guys. Can we instead of leaving at three? Can we finish it at two? Maybe let's <laughs> let's keep lunch <laughs> so that you can finish earlier. Because I want to go home. Mm, if know. it's stock fairly, let's meet in. It's taking too long, guys. <laughs> exactly. I'm that I'm that kind of a person. Yeah. Always wants to go home, and I've I've made her. To know that that she's the reason why I always want to go home. Mm. Because I wanted to keep that, you know. Yeah. I just love going home. I don't mind being home, just sitting and holding the remote. <laughs> you know? yeah. And you know, I don't make a lot of requests because I where I can tell him I'm too much. So you just I just you know, at least the girls are growing now. You, know, you can they, say they, uh, they can take care of the, of other things. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm totally I'm yeah. Yeah. so but I, we have she has made a beautiful home for us. Mm. And she loves to laugh. No, yeah. And, and she has a loud laugh. Yeah. Very loud. <laughs> loud laughters are yeah, beautiful. Love that. And she loves her space as well. She can be a very we busy introvert. Mm. So I understand that. Okay. And, and if we have to give her that space at, at Google, it's not a bad thing that I can see that uh, today. I mm. just need to give her that. You know, yeah. she would love to stay in her room. Take some time to rest, That's reflect, it. do whatever it is that she's doing, you know, just to be herself. Mm. I understand that. And no, sometimes she needs to rest her voice. You know, I've mm. had I've had to learn that uh, uh, there are days where she'll keep quiet, literally. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's not talking, mm. uh, which is text. 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 Yes. text. We're yes. in the you same know. room. But... Yeah. You know, at first <laughs> it was a difficult thing. Of you course. Know, you know, but what I, to 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 I tell people now. <laughs> Uh, guys, she's not talking uh, these days. And because I know that it works. Mm. She recovers when she's back, she's back. Oh, mommy's back. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know? performing so, uh, over and over again yeah. can take a toll. So, eh? yeah, so I I definitely understand that, you know. And the beautiful thing about marriage is that you learn to know, to know each other. There are things that are like standards in marriage. I don't know who created those standards because mm. some of them are not even in the Bible. 
that we believe in. It's things that we thought they are, you know, expectations from each other, you know, yeah. and I've learned to accept her the way she, she is, is, you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my mother used to do this. My wife won't do that. Yeah. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know, she is not my mother. Mm -mm. So, I had so to you've learn. adjusted exactly. to your wife, exactly. not your mother's no, no, no. And standards. And the same, the same with me. Yeah. You know, I had yes. to learn that he's not my father. No, no, no. We you know, to... he's not like my dad. No, no, no. And it's uh, not... it, it is what it is. Ish, yeah. And I have to accept him as he is. Do you know, I said she has a loud laughter. Loud laugh, loud laugh is nice. Until you want to call I'm not allowed to See, your love is nice. Unga kolo damati mar. No, and like his phone is kwele too. I hate kwele damati. I try to stay away from it. Wow. <laughs> the music. Sheer, man. You guys had a big story in the last two weeks. <laughs> Did it matter to you, the, the awards nonsense? I don't know. Did it? The awards? There was nonsense. What you say, nonsense? There was nonsense. There was, there was. Hey, it's my award. It's, it's oh no, no, it didn't nah, matter. Did oh, that one didn't matter. matter. The awards matter. No, of course, the awards. Yeah, would matter. No, the that's why I'm going straight to the nonsense nah, nah, so nah, we can get nah, rid of nah, it. Nah, it no, it didn't. It didn't matter. Nah. I actually, but I had to check because sometimes I don't want to be a husband who's insensitive. If it doesn't matter to me, it doesn't matter. I had to check on her. You good? You good, good, good. Like ah, sharp. Ah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 No, it didn't. No, because I think how how can I put it? For that's one of the reasons why I never said anything, and I still won't say anything mm, about mm, it because mm. it just it wasn't necessary. We even prayed about it. Um, you know, some people were like, "No, but you have to do this. You have to respond. Mm. You have to do this. You have to send this." Mm. And then I prayed about it because mm. I'm someone who believes that I don't want to do. Um, I don't want to make a decision haphazardly. Mm. Um, I don't want to make a, a decision because I have to make a decision. I mm. want to have it make a decision that brings me peace. Yes. At the end of the day, yeah. and um, prayed about it. And the following day, the word was, oh, "It's okay." There's nothing. And there's here. nothing to say. No. Yeah, yeah, and that was it. Yeah. That was it for me. Yeah, because, and I guess it's perspective also. You know, mm. life we don't see things the same, and we just move on with it. Eh? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I, w I was lucky this year to judge the summers. Uh, it was the first time ever. Oh, really? I got a call, and it was, uh, wow, we've selected you to be in this category. We go through a process of understanding what this all oh, responsibility means. And and how to judge and, yes. and the technical part of it mm -hmm. yeah. of uh, you know this is how you actually do this. And this thing. is what you're judging. exactly yeah. And this is the uh, the software you use. The whole thing. Mm. There was a I remember thinking, damn, I have to attend this class. <laughs> it class <laughs> was lent. Yeah. yeah, it class was lent. And, and when you, I was I remember I was in Devon for some for something maybe a radio show or something. Yes, an mm. OB in Devon. So I I, I attended online mm. and I'm in these things like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to enjoy myself and take winning. Oh. <laughs> but I understood once I was sent my music, mm. the music I have to judge mm. and go through it. And, and you, you're judging, you listen, the importance yeah. of actually listening to the music yeah. and not come with your preconceived ideas oh, of the artist. Yes, Because yes. yes. sometimes we, we, we carry that mm. because some music plays so much on radio or around you. Yes. You know, you go DJ, some, you know, it's playing. Mm. And you think these guys are doing well until you hear other people yeah. that are not even known. Yeah. And you say, what? <laughs> We're not judging the best marketed song yeah. or the, the song that's playing the most. <laughs> You're judging the feeling yeah. you get from hearing from this piece of, of music. Mm. And sometimes it's like, wow, there are kids that I, I don't even know yeah. till today. I don't know their names. I was given um, Afro Soul, Afro Pop. Yes. Mm. You know, it has all these players, mm. many of them, big names. Yeah. And I remember thinking, my God, we don't do enough um, yeah. to get the music out. Out yes. there. Yeah. That's true. Mm. We don't. Of the category I had, give or take 15 artists that were nominated. Mm. Uh, well, nomina no, no, not nominated. They were yeah. the body of the people yeah, yeah. submitted, exactly. And now you're listening, it's like, 
I've never had this guy. This sounds good. Who's this guy? Hey, yeah. That happened a lot. Hey, man. Sure. Because hey. I, I judged it over a month. Mm. Deliberately, because you can't also bombard mm. yourself with too much music at the same time. You end up just clicking. Yeah. Yeah, you know. So I would judge and then move on and do other things, other live things, my yeah. life and say, go back to that thing. And they were very strict. They would call and remind us over and over and over yeah. again. So, 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 And the reason I tell this is to really highlight that it's such an intensive process yeah. that involves not only me. Mm. I don't even know who else who was else, judging yeah. in my category. I don't know whether it was one person, one other person, mm. or 20 other people. I have no we idea. Didn't know. We didn't even know that. You I see didn't what even I mean? know that. <laughs> Nabi, I didn't know it was such a, have, a rigorous no, process. It is. No, it is. And, and they, they, they really crack the whip. They call you all the time. Mm. Sure. Which we're still waiting. Ish. It's sure. a Mashabel, it's a Friday. You haven't logged in. It's like <gasps> so you can even so they see. even check if you haven't I, logged in. I didn't know until they called me. They said you haven't logged in. <gasps> oh, wow. Are you going to meet the deadline? It's like, no, don't worry. I've set it up I've set up Friday night, Saturday night, I'll do it. <laughs> you know, all of that. So yeah. it's quite a rigorous process that it can't be it can't be reduced to a how did she win? How did he win? You know mm. what I mean? It's just so much involved in it that it can be reduced to to social media Ish. nonsense, mm. and that's for me. That's what stood out about mm. stood out about it. That I guess they don't know. Yeah, mm. no, I don't think that. I don't think we do. I, don't <laughs> I mean, think we see, do. you didn't I'm, know. I'm even amazed right now that it's such a a serious and rigorous process. It's not just a. It's, no. it's, not, it's not multiple choice. Here's another thing that you need to know about it. It forces you to listen to the song mm. because you can't skip the listening and go to the next step. Ah. Do you understand the the, the software? Okay. It oh, forces wow. you to listen, listen to, to the song. To end. It forces you. You don't have a choice. Sure. You can't move to the next if you haven't finished listening to this piece of music. Yeah. <laughs> you understand that? Mm. If you if you want to cheat it, you'll. And press play and go do and something go, else yes. and that's just bad yeah. that's, that's just bad. you're yeah. just an irresponsible person Listen, yeah. it forces you to sit and do Listen. this thing and that for sure. me sure. but oh. what do awards mean to you because you've won so many <laughs> what do they mean do they still mean something I think they do they do they definitely do mean something I think um I think the recent ones were a huge pat, pat on the back mm -hmm. um, for me as much as I always try to, you know, keep in mind and in my heart that I don't do what I do for the recognition. I don't do what I do for the awards. Um, but I do what I do to impact people's lives and to change people's lives. That's mm -hmm, why I do mm -hmm. what I do. You know, the, the, the awards are, are more of an encouragement and telling you, yes, you're doing the right thing. Keep going. Mm. You know, that is what awards mean to me. That, oh my goodness, okay. So I am on the right track. So yeah. I am doing a good job. Let me keep on going. It's it's more of a, you know, remember the, the TV games back then and you'd get like an extra boost of some of some yeah, sort. Yeah, you get yeah. you 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 eat something and then you and then you, exactly <laughs> kind of like uh, Popeye and spinach. Yeah, you, you know yes. <laughs> exactly ah. just to get extra strength to keep journeying on mm. because the journey is long and rough mm. and hard. You know, it, it reminds me of a time. I remember there was a day, I think a couple of years ago, was it 2018 or 2017? Mm -hmm. um, I was just so frustrated. With with what? With the whole thing, with yes. the industry. Really? I was frustrated. I felt like I felt like I was in the same place. I felt like I was putting a lot of work, but not reaping the rewards. Mm. Um, because we've we've always been people who when it comes to a, a project or a product, mm. we put in everything, everything. that oh. we have. <laughs> and by everything, I mean... We sell it on. Everything. Wow. We it's give money, it, it's, time, resources. And a lot of money. Oh. A lot of money. Yes. You know, at some stage, we even... We were so close to losing our house. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I, 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 I <laughs> <laughs> At some stage, yeah. there was even a date for the auction when they were, were going to auction our house because we literally give our all. And I was just so frustrated like, with the point? fact that why do we, we give so much, but yet I'm not 
seeing, I'm not the, seeing rewards. The, the, the rewards. I'm not seeing the rewards. I'm not seeing my money coming back. Yeah. You know, what about my children? Mm-hmm. You know, Gizoti, Nikbantona, Masabenge, Nandlu. You know, they've got no home now. How, and, and this famous how person... Gonna... Yeah. We're couldn't going even provide go. us a home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and people are saying, no, your music has blessed us. Yeah. You know, but like... The testimonies are there. <laughs> the testimonies are there. They're, it's effective, but you I've got have, nothing... You don't have a testimony. I've got nothing to, to oh, show, no you way. know? I, so you reached that moment. I yes. reached that moment. We were in a car and I just broke down. Oh, no. And I just broke down and I just... I told my husband, I'm frustrated. Yeah. I can't. Tired. Like, I'm tired. I am tired. I am tired. I can't live like this. What What did that lead to? To possible, I'm out. I'm no longer doing music. Was that ever an option on the table? Did I say I'm out? No. I didn't say I'm out. It's just, it was just an expression. I remember it was on a Friday. Hey. Him and days. No, no, no. I remember because <laughs> I called... I called her mom and her aunt, who, mm. aunt Togo, who's actually co own Coco Records with me. Okay. Yes. So, because I just didn't know what to do because I was going through the same thing, but I couldn't express it okay. to her. Like like she did. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I don't know what to do. She's complaining. I'm also complaining. You know, we've been doing things, we're doing things right, we're trying we to do, do things, things right. right. You know, we don't want to do things we don't under bribe. the table. We don't, we don't, we don't do but things. We, funny business. Dodgy. we keep it. But, we no, keep it clean. We see people who do things anyhow. And then... But, but they're, they're right there. You know, they're milking it. Like, That's how life point? works. You know, what's man? the point? You know, so... And I remember calling her mom. Uh, mom, that was just not okay. Mm. Yeah, she's not sick, but she's just not okay. Yeah. And then I, I called uh, was his Togo, who's her aunt, Coco Records. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Sis Togo, uh, that was just not okay. Mm. And, then, and she doesn't want to pray. Like, that, that's out of... Uh, <laughs> That's not an option. No. And she was like, please come to my house. We went to her house in four ways. Mm. We got there around 10. Mm. She cooked. She put Netflix on. There's a meal. There's a meal. Yeah. yeah. Food always. <laughs> Food, yeah. And then she's at baseball. You guys spoke. Yeah. Mm. And then she forced us to pray. Yeah. We prayed. We ate. We spent the whole afternoon with them. And we just watched Netflix. Came back, we watched Netflix. And then in the evening, we went back to our home. Mm. We it was yeah, it was, it was, Saturday came. Sunday went to church. On our way back from church, she cried. Bitch. And I couldn't take her. Kids were at home. Yeah. Mm. She couldn't church. take. So I couldn't take her home. I remember I went to a shopping, shopping center, center. Stone, uh, not shopping. Green, Green, Valley. Green Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yes, went, yes. I drove up to the parkings and I parked in the parkings up there. Yeah. And I just let her express. Express. Sure. Sure. <laughs> and that car that we were driving into was not even our car. We didn't have a car at that you time. You didn't have a car at all. And she started expressing. And I started expressing also how I'm feeling about this whole thing. Just. But at the end of the conversation, we prayed, you know. Mm. I remember it was 2017 or 2018 yeah. early. Because at that point, you have a lot of work. Yeah. You've done. yeah exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. But we're just not seeing. Seeing the. It's not coming back to us. It's just going. Let, let, let's put it into context. What work did you have at this stage? 2017. Try to remember. We had just recorded uh, in 2015, 2015 and released a big project, which was Spirit and Life. Mm, mm. Uh, we went that big on that huge. one. Production. In terms of production, mm. we went all <gasps> we out. We went all yeah. out. And it was a sold out show. We didn't even spend money on marketing. That's how much... You know, this thing is so confusing. You can see that God is with us. But, <laughs> but, like, how do you sell out uh, a almost 3,000 seater without even spending a set on, on social market, media? Yes. Yeah. Wow. With social media only. It sold out two weeks before the date. What? Mm. You know, <laughs> and that all that money didn't come to us. It went straight to production. And we still were in debt. And we still were in so, debt. Uh, yeah. you know, and people think this thing is easy. <laughs> like we, we were want, still in debt. We wanted to release that album. We, re- we recorded it in, in, in February, February 2015. Yeah. We wanted to release it probably around June. Mm. But we ended up releasing it around October so, because we never had money to take it to post. Because yes. it does, you need yeah. you need engineers. Yeah, no, no. Exactly. Mixing is expensive. Editors. It was visual as well. Yeah, exactly. so you editing. need editors and so you need this thing to work now, so it can bring back the money that you spent on it. That's it crazy. Was, it was crazy because even with while we were doing rehearsals, we still didn't even have. We didn't have like that's before the recording. Before now. the recording, yeah. we were doing yeah. rehearsals. Yeah. We didn't. We did not have. You remember, cook in the morning. I would wake up at like three a.m. 
yeah. and cook. Why? Because musicians have to eat. Oh yeah, the the, the band. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Children, yeah, we are rehearsal. Take some. So so so, so so you would do catering. Exactly. Yes. I would literally wake up three in the morning. Because I didn't, ha- I couldn't afford to pay someone. So we have to cook I what couldn't we have. afford to buy fast food. No, we couldn't. So we mm. had to do what we had, and what we had was ikrosa yes. yes. Let's cook this. So Let's cook, yeah. I took ikrosa asenhlini. I would cook. Um, <laughs> when we go to rehearsals, twela ma bote, na ma plate. Oh, but it was beautiful. The food rehearsal. was good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, like God. Just before you get to your big to your break, ne? Yeah. He will keep on just giving you. Signs that I'm with you. I'm a nugget. Just, yeah, just like you know, because those moments were quite special. Even at the rehearsal, people would just be happy. It's like the Lord just blessed it. You know? Yeah, like you cooked for us. It was special. Uh, yeah, you know? but we know that. Oh my God, it comes it's a lot of work. because we didn't. We didn't have money. <laughs> you know, they and don't know. They right? have no idea. And um, one of the reasons why we love our pastor is that because he's been so supportive of us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he he gave us a card, a bank card, Yo. when we told him that we're starting our rehearsals. Mm. And he said every week he's going to put in a certain amount of money mm. just so that we can be able to survive the week okay. rehearsal-wise. Okay. What? So we would use that money to buy groceries, groceries in yeah. order for me to be able to cook. cook for the week. <laughs> like, and, and to someone would be like, ow, oh, but just a bank card. And he no, no, literally... No, 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 no. So for was, us, it was everything. salvation. It was yes. everything because we had no other option. Mm-hmm. There was nothing. Yeah. And God would just send, you know, just little mm. reminders yes. every now and then that, no, huh? You're I, not alone. I'm with you. You're not alone. Why didn't you want to pray in the moment? Hey, that moment, 2017, I think I was just frustrated. Mm. You know, I was just so frustrated. As much as we know that for every dream and every... Um, vision and for your purpose, you have to pay the price. We all know that. So, see, things don't come easy, Mm-mm. you know, and you have to pay the price. You have to go through the process. I think I was just frustrated with the process. Yeah. Would see, why is it taking so long? Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? <laughs> it's long. You know, I don't. We don't even have a car. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're renting here, and we're renting small Anyana cars because that's all we can afford at yeah, that time. Yeah. You know, but the 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 visuals are all over TV, <laughs> and people are like, "Oh, that was a me people a things, in the mall." Uh, oh, that wow. was a it has to be head, a I'm difficult like, moment, eh? It's humbling. Yeah, mm. builds character. It it's oh. humbling and it builds you up. That's I, what I think it did for us yeah. because it made us realize that gashe gashe, it, it's not about the material things, you know, and it it. it builds your character mm. and it reminds you of the important things in I've, life. I've hosted a lot of uh, f- uh, famous actors in the studio and they say it's hard to be famous and broke. Very. It's very tricky. Very. It's a, it's a complicated <laughs> feeling. Very. You can't be broke and famous. No. It's a complicated people, feeling. People struggle. Yeah. <laughs> <Making famous. laughs> it's a tricky feeling. Yeah. Because... People are actually happy to see you. Yeah. But you can't buy bread. Nope. But they want to see you looking good. Oh, yeah. They have this picture of, of you. this person. They don't like the other picture. Yeah. No. It's quite a complicated yeah. emotion. It, 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 it is. But we reached the point where we were like, uh, I think it helped us to, it helped me to break down and to feel what I was feeling at that time mm. and be open about it. Because through me expressing my frustration, I learned to accept where I am in mm-hmm. the process. Mm-hmm. I learned, Wuti, this is where we are, but it won't always be like this. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Things are definitely going to change. As much as you're frustrated and dozo, but it won't always be like this. Mm. This is where you are accepted mm. and just take it all in. Did you change anything collectively in the way you do business from that experience? We definitely did. Yes, definitely. Uh, we definitely there, did. For example, there were lessons. There were definitely lessons. <laughs> um, because you you would learn a few things there. <laughs> are you thinking? Are you trying to think of something? I'm trying to think of something, yeah. but definitely things, the changes were made because mm. you reflect and think about. Yeah, what could have what, what I could have done know, better? What's the first thing that you think? What am I doing wrong? Mm. You know, you want to blame yourself for things, you know, and also I think it's paying attention, you know, because we are artists, 
we pay attention to details when we do our music, music. but we had to learn to pay attention to detail on the, the business, business side, side of things Absolutely. as well. You know, we need to count, mm. learn mm. to count, count the yeah. learn to calculate, yeah. plan. plan. Mm. You know, you know, we had to learn that, you know, because there's accountability and also learn to have con- hard conversations because God brings people around us sometimes who challenges us on things that you want to hear. Mm. Because I think one of the things that as artists we're growing up uh, we people would say things and we're like, no, but you don't understand because you are in the corporate. Mm, we are in you're, the. You're yeah. not an artist. Yeah, yeah you don't get it. <laughs> so we def- it. we always defend <laughs> ourselves. Okay. We're not defensive okay. when it comes to those kinds okay. of things. So we had to learn because we had some of our friends who are very straightforward with us. They come to our house and just tell us, you know, things like, why did you do that? Mm, you that doesn't like make that. sense. It doesn't make sense, you know. Yeah. Like, mm. No, but you don't understand. You're not an <laughs> artist. So we fight. <laughs> but when we are alone, we start thinking. You know. Yeah. What you say? Actually. Actually, you know, you know, and we started to think differently about mm. things, you know, mm. just to open up and learn to listen as well. Yeah. You know, it's not just about the music only, you know, you have to pay attention as well. To every yeah, single, single, single thing. And get help, you know, and other things as well. Get people who understand other things better, yeah. even in terms of creating your team. Get the right people. And that's another yeah. thing that we learn. It's sure. not so easy to create a team. It's not. Oh, my God. It's not. Let me tell you, man. It's not. Let me tell you, man. Human beings are very unpredictable <laughs> creatures. Oh. Tricky. <laughs> very, very tricky. And you don't know what they're dealing with. No. Yeah, no. So you don't know. Mm. Why? Why are in the soul? I thought it was something I'm not. I thought we were good. You, know? you yeah. see what I mean? Yeah. It's, it tends to be tricky. Eh? Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And and there were there were instances where from that recording, we actually had to go back to people and apologize. Yes. Ooh. So we had to learn humility. We had to yeah. learn humility. Because you back. had stepped on a few toes. Yes. Yeah, we had. Definitely. We definitely had. We had made promises. We had made promises that we, that we keep. couldn't keep. Yeah. We made financial obligations that we couldn't keep. Yeah. So we had to humble ourselves and yeah. go back to people and apologize. Yo. And make things right. Yes. You That's know? amazing. Yeah. I remember there was one particular service provider. We owed him for two years. And he he did not. And he's still with us today. And he's still with us today. <laughs> he's one of the first people we call when we've got a show that we're organizing or anything. Yeah. For two years, he not once he did just, he say, I'm going to take you to lawyers. Never, no. No, like, did, did, never did he pressurize us. Whenever we'd go back to him and say, hey, my brother, I'm going to ask you. He'd be like, oh, don't Oh, so about. you would, you would acknowledge would, yes. the death yeah. often. That, which that is that an was important what, thing. That was what was important. Was yeah. that we long, would, man, it took long. It, it, two still. years. Two years. That's 24 months. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's I must admit, though, and I, I must tell you, because I'm one person who gets old a lot in my life. Uh, I'm not happy about it. Yeah. It's my, my kind side. It tends to help people oh, even man. if I don't have to. The good thing is that you kept on reminding. Absolutely. That... That's you owe me money. Part. Just remind me. Yeah, that's the humility <laughs> hey, part. That's a corner, That's it. I'm koshi. That's all. Right. I'm get koshi. Wow. And the master get right. Gives a wins a show. That's it. Eh? That's mm. it. And we may. And that's. I think that's what helped us get through that season. Mm. Was that we were we 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 learned to be honest yes. with our people. Yeah. You know and. I believe they respected us for our honesty. Yeah. And that's why today you can't touch us no. when it comes to our people. No. They our people. they prioritize yeah. us. Yes. You know, uh, because of what we went through. We mm. decided we'll see, it's better to just humble ourselves, not try to be pompous no. and act like we have it all together. Yeah. Because truth of the matter is we don't have it all together. No, we, don't. we need all the help we can, can get. get. We True. need all the friends that we can get in this rough world. Mm. You know, and they really did come yeah. through for us. Let's go back to the beginning. Earliest memory of music. Yo, my earliest memory of music is me being a four-year-old girl singing in front of the church. What? <laughs> that for me is, is my earliest memory of music. Um, and it's very weird that I can remember it vividly, but mm. I was such a baby. Um, I remember that my mom was at home during the week and she was um, practicing, rehearsing mm-hmm. for her solo. That oh, she was she's doing. a she's. She was, that's where my mother t- was a worship leader in okay. our church. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> and so daddy. and and daddy <laughs> did sound in our church. Wow. You had <laughs> no he, choice. And he also like used him. to sing in the choir as yes. well. Um, so my mom was practicing in church, and so I was sitting and just watching her. Mm. And then and then she says she noticed that I was starting to sing along to the song. 
even though the words were not mm. because mm. obviously a four year old, but melody wise and notes wise, it was on point. What? And then she decided, and then she was, so she calls my dad. Um, and then my dad sits and he listens. And then they decide, Wutsi, I'm going to sing on Sunday. <laughs> so this is what I heard from her. Mm. But all I remember is me being at church on Sunday, grabbing a microphone and singing. And then my most, the clearest memory I have is that immediately after the song ended, I dropped the mic and I ran to my mom. <laughs> that's that's all I remember about that performance. You know, and I was crying. I was like, ah! Wow. <laughs> That's all I remember about that moment. But mom has has put pieces to it. Mm, yeah, yeah complete me. the story. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Wow, it's a special memory. Though, it right? is. It really is. Because it was the beginning. It definitely was mm. the beginning. I think uh, and and from then onwards then I then I just get invited everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I was like, but it's, I'm a 4 year old. I always <laughs> say um I, I Sometimes I didn't get to be a kid because I had to grow up quickly. Because mm. um, I was invited to weddings, I was invited to funerals, to sing um, different occasions from a very young age. Mm. So I wasn't the child that would wear a jean <laughs> and shorts and a t-shirt. I was the little girl that would wear a two-piece oh, outfit man. with stockings oh, no. and sandals. And those, yeah. And so I, I was that kind of girl. Because you had to perform. <laughs> because I had to perform. You know, I'd be playing outside and then by the time I'm called, maybe my outfit is a bit skew mm. and, and a bit dusty. Yeah. And then my mom would be like, hey, <laughs> and she cleaned me up and she cleaned me up and then she, they just throw me on stage then I grab the microphone sing 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 immediately when I'm done put right. the microphone back to oh, outside no <laughs> exactly <laughs> and that was that was basically how I grew up for quite a bit it sounds quite a while for quite a while I feel like I think that my first pair of jeans I bought myself because I was like, <laughs> no ways. Yeah. I've always wanted to have a pair of jeans. <laughs> wow. So you are Michael Jackson. Yeah, that's Michael Jackson. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> Michael Jackson, no. Like, that look cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so the uh, parents were intentional, there's that word again, Absolutely. in directing this. Yeah, no, they definitely were. Yeah. They definitely were. I mean, even to the kind of music that played in our home, um, you know, it was just clear as day. Mm. And, you know, every now and then my my dad would make me sing along, you know. So even mm. though he wasn't a, a vocal coach, mm. but there was some element of vocal coaching yeah. in the way that he would make me listen and then ask if I can do this. And then and then he'd tell me to replicate and mm. then we'd sing along together, you know, and then he'd say, no, sing to the soprano, you know, okay, and, okay. Then, and then learning that there are actually different harmonies. There's a soprano, there's alto, mm -hmm. and there's tenor. Mm -hmm. you know? Kines, yes, then, those who can sing, first part, second part. <laughs> 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 you know, and, wow. and, and, and you know, just those little things, you know, mm. growing up, and then and then that for me was what caused my musical antennas to yeah mm, and to, stay to, to, stay on absolutely mm. absolutely. Who who pushed it harder between mommy and dad? I think they both did, mm. but they pushed different okay. um, sides and different ways. Got you. My dad was more of the. Um, the one who introduced me to different sounds and introduced me to different kinds of music and okay. introduced me to different vocalists. Whereas my mother was more on the image side mm. <laughs> and in the character side. You know, just those little things. So as much as... I can't say who was more what yeah. because both elements were important and they have created the persona because I, you could honestly say which my mom was the brand manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in yeah. today's and, terms. And, yes, absolutely. And, and, and daddy was the, the music exec. True. You know, and the producer. <laughs> yes. You know, kind of vibe. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Eh? Where were you born? I was born in Durban, Kulelete Kweini. Mm. Um, Kulele Mlaze. I grew up in Mlaze. Next to the airport. Back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was so, so much quicker. 
um, back then. I'm like, now, yo, you have to drive. <laughs> we are good. Mm. It's quite a drive. But I grew up um, in Durban, Etewini, Emlazi. Mm. I was born. Is it King Edward? Must be. It's yeah. King Edward. Hospital. Yeah, yeah. It must be. Yeah, I was born at King Edward Hospital. And um, I remember when I... I was actually bef- born before my parents got married. Okay, all right. <laughs> which was shunned upon. Of course. Of course. <laughs> in the community, especially because my dad was a pastor's kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, <laughs> so there he was. He got a, a girl pregnant, oh my, my mom. Gosh. And uh, I remember that they got at their wedding, the, the wedding photos. I'm there. I'm a baby. That, Ooh, that people they are got holding. married quickly after you were born. Exactly. I think like a couple of months later, they got married. And when, when my parents got married, they moved in back in those days, Big Fanele. Um, you know, so and and Ekaya, why you emlazi um they used to be back room. Um so so this is a baby back room. That's where you were raised. That's where I was raised. Um until they reached a certain stage and then they moved out. Um and then they got their own place. No, but but M. Okay. Mm. They first lived ga M, and then they got their own place, ga BB. Mlazi. So the yeah. M is also a back room. It is. Yes. It is. Jeez, man. Humble, humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. <laughs> I am a back room girl. Umusa, <laughs> <laughs> Umusa. Um, 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 Idol's winner. Yeah. Has a has a song called Back Room. So, uh... so there you go. To another back room. <laughs> and 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 other siblings in the picture? Yes, I do have siblings. Um, I have an older sister. Mm. Oh my course, and then I have a younger brother, Ulunga. Um, I wasn't happy about his birth, apparently. Uh, because I was <laughs> <laughs> You thought because I was like, I'm I'm the last born. And oh, no. he was born four years later. Uh. And, and I thought I'd marked my territory. Oh. <laughs> but clearly not enough because he <laughs> popped up four years later. Wow. Um yeah, no, and, and God, he's the only boy. Yes. Yeah. And God truly blessed me with amazing siblings. Mm. Um, the three of us are inseparable. You get along well. Absolutely. We get along so so well. Do you get along with them? Yes. Yeah, you have to. We no no no. It's easy. Mm. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, it's actually interesting in my mind mm. when you said it's easy, I answered the question with uh, because you get along with her so much, surely yeah. it'll be easy yeah, to get no, along no. with but them. But they also make it easy. They're, no, they're, they're great people. Yeah. 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 They're amazing people. You know, and 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 one of the great things, as much as I was a little famous growing up mm. one of the great things that my parents did was that they made sure would see when i'm home ah oh. okay i was no celebrity when i got home um i remember my mom if i didn't wash the dishes she'd be like i microphone la. <laughs> i like it <laughs> I <eke my laughs> I microphone like it. La. Wow. you know so it was and i think that's what um, made um, my my relationship with my siblings so strong. Mm. The fact that when I was home, I wasn't put on a pedestal. Mm. I was just one of the kids, one of the children. Yeah. Because if I was put on a pedestal at home, that probably would have created strife amongst me and my siblings. But because I was just one of the kids uh, the at kids. home. Washizicha, washindo. We are Pakisha, we are We are Shapanti, we are You know? And, and that made us become so much closer. So yeah. yeah. I like that. Mm. I like that. that. That's good parenting. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, there's Absolutely. no star in this no, house. No, uh-uh. no, no, no. No, no, no. I can Did your musical journey affect your schooling at all? Like your... Because sometimes they tend to... F- take different routes. What yeah. was your experience? My experience is, I thank God for my mother's genes. Okay. Because my mother was a very, um, she was a very clever girl. She was mm. very intelligent. Um, she loved a school. She loved, um, she was an A student. So I got that mm. from her. So, no. <laughs> ah, that's I was it. an A student <laughs> in school. Even with the music, I remember to the point that when I my parents agreed to allow me to join Joy Celebration, mm. one of their terms was that um, 
my school grades can't go down. Mm -hmm. They have to stay where they are or even get better, you know, but they're not allowed to go down because mm -hmm. I was always an A student, you know, so I would always be the one when there's prize givings, I'd always, Eesh. you know, be up on stage. So my parents made it very clear that if this affects your schoolwork, then we're going to take it away. Yo. So there was always, so school was the most important of the two. Yeah. I, from Because I started in primary school. So from primary school, um, and then when I joined Joy Celebration, I was in high school. Mm. So from high school, they were like, if you're going to do this, this can't suffer. Mm. If this suffers, we take this take away this. and we take you out. And, wow. Because this, you have to finish this. Mm. What, 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 finish what ambitions do they have for your schooling as parents? Oh, man. For my school, I think they wanted me to be a doctor. But mm. I also kind of wanted to be a doctor. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> but I also kind of wanted to be a doctor, mm. you know. Um, because I was like, I can't wait, let this brain go to waste. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. With you, music? Yeah, you know, I thought, I thought so, you know. You know, music is for lazy people. Uh, you know? it's, it's easy. Uh, it's easy. It's easy. <laughs> We know, we know what we're saying. Yeah. You know, and that's how I thought it would be. Yeah. You know, and I, th I think that's how everybody in my family thought it would be mm. because I was always the one when there's prize givings, the whole family knows. And and if no auntie, no mama, oh, and yeah. all of them are coming to school because they're going to, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, well, they thought I'd be the first doctor in the family. Oh, now. My. But anything can happen. Hey. Hey. After you, your, the story that you just told the, the, us. The old man that became a doctor. Anything can happen yeah. at this point. Yeah. You know. Anything is possible. Yeah, but I still want to be a doctor. I still want to okay. further my studies. We can give you yeah. an honorary doctor. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. you don't want that. <laughs> no. Oh, no, my daughter. I don't want uh, the honorary doctor. We, 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 let me uh, tell you. It's coming. It's been cooked. No, thanks. No, let me tell you. Now. <laughs> it's South Africa. Yeah, we are very generous with our uh, trades. No, thank I'm you. I'm wondering, we are very generous. No, thank you. We will throw one at you. <laughs> we'll give it three. Yeah. Three different universities. No, thanks. Uh -uh. No, thank how you. Poor? I want the one that I work for. Wow, do you know how much I work? want the P and the H and the D. Oh, my goodness. That's so much work. That's the one I want. And I'm still going to study. Yeah, so, really. There's and still some your 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 academic brain still definitely, nudges. Definitely, really? and I think it was really triggered by going to Bible school because okay. I went to Bible college and I completed my Bible college three years. Mm -hmm. Had a great time. Is this after high school? Uh, no, no, this no. Is this is recent. Actually, really, this wow. is recent. Okay, um, yeah, I started 2019 and I finished in 2021. Mm. Yeah, 2021 20, mm. was my last, was my third year, and I, and I completed. Throughout COVID, you were busy with Bible yes. studies. Yep, and I finished it. And then I was like, actually, I still want to go back and study. Yeah. And I want to do it. Because the thing is, after high school, um, I went to, um, what is it, university. Mm -hmm. Started in university. I, did, I started with a BA. Um, what was the plan? <sighs> The plan was, <laughs> this was the plan, right? <laughs> <laughs> the plan was, I wanted to be a psychologist and a musician. Okay. That was the plan. It sounds like there's more to the story, though. So I, did, so I started by doing a BA. So mm. I did uh, Psych 1 for the whole year, and I did some music... Um, on the side, was, really? Some, some music modules okay. as well. So I did both mm, in the first mm. year. And then as the year ended, but I I didn't struggle with my mocks. Yes. I struggled with my DP. Okay. 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 The collective mark. Mm, not know. not mock. Okay. Attendance. attendance. Oh. <laughs> my mocks were great. Oh, no. My issue was attendance. What was wrong with you? I was already gigging. I was working. Trying, yeah. I was God, traveling. You were job, but job celebration. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, so boy. I'm literally twice, uh, I don't know, like a couple of days, maybe maybe in a month, give me a week. Yes. You know, and, oh. and space it out. And that means almost every week I'm missing a day of school. Oh, no. You know, and... That was my issue. The mocks were great. Yes. You know, the teachers were happy. But, but my issue was 
absence. My issue was absence. <laughs> So at the end, so at the end of the year when they're trying to sort out my DP, and then they'd be like, "Yo, talk also this music thing <laughs> of yours, you need to decide." I'm like, "No, no, no, I can do both. I can do both." Mm. I, I, I can but it must this. have been tough, though. It was. Mm. It was very tough because I'm someone who who loves school. I love, I love, I love learning. Mm. You know, I love academics. Yeah. Um, but I had to reach a point where I'm really honest with myself. Mm. What's it? Actually, this is not working. <laughs> so you had right to now, this is not working. So I did first year completed. Yeah. BA. Beginning of the second year, I'm like, ah, maybe let me just skip the psychology part. Let me just do music. And okay. then I did, and then okay. I, I changed my my degree to a B mm, which is mm, a, a, music a Bachelor of Music yeah. degree. Did that whole year. Same thing happened. Of course. <laughs> End of the year. <laughs> and 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 uh, uh, to our celebrations, growth is, is enormous is at this stage. Traveling. Amazing. So I'm traveling everywhere. And when I do, when I am in 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 the school grounds, people are like, ah, da, da. you know, because <laughs> people are still are yeah. recognizing me. <laughs> <laughs> You're that kid. I'm that kid that everybody knows, but I don't know these people. You know? <laughs> and I did that year, and then end of the year, had an issue again because of my attendance. But my marks were incredible. To the point, you would see, after each semester, um, the university would give me, like, bursaries. Yeah. Because my marks were just so great. Okay. <laughs> you you were know? performing well. So by the end of the year... My par- and my and at that time my parents were well off. My dad was mm. an entrepreneur and he was yeah. doing great in business. Yeah. So mm. he didn't need the extra assistance. But <laughs> they no would give you anyway. But by the end of that year, I don't mm. even think he paid anything for my school fees oh, because amazing. after every semester that get the the, the varsity would be like, no, 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 we're going to take this amount away because you did so well. And they would give me many bursaries here and there. Mm. End of the year, I ended up paying nothing. The only thing he paid for was rest, I think. Mm. Um. But then end of the year, I was like, ah, this is not going to work. So you, there had to be a time where you said, I'm switching yep. this machine off. And I was like, nah, I have. Yeah, I see you again. Then. I said, it's not working. Jeez. It's not working. Did and it ever bother you to go back? It still does because I still want to go back. Yeah, <laughs> I still want to go did. back and, yeah. st- and study. I even always tell my girls that I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to study. And when I do get my qualification, mm-hmm. everybody's going to know about it. Okay. <laughs> you won't keep quiet. No, I won't. <laughs> I won't keep know. quiet. No, they have to know. Yeah. You, I, I think you should do it. Well, how old is the oldest of the daughter of your daughters? Well, actually, we've got three girls. Mm-hmm. The first one is an adopted daughter. Okay. And then we've got two that are biological. We've got a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old. Mm. All three are our children. Of course. Mm. So the oldest is 24. Four. She just okay. recently turned 24. And then 10, 12 and 10. Yeah. The 24-year-old, is, has she been to university? She oh. has. Um, she finished last year, actually. She... Um, she's actually she actually studied radio journalism. What? Yeah. Look at that! Dang. Yeah. <laughs> mm. so Ambitions she, of uh, yeah. playing a, a role in the in the radio scene. Yeah. podcasting, yeah. YouTube, yeah. 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 all of that vibe. So that is her vibe. Tell her not to look for a job. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm being serious. Why? She must create it. Okay. 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 It's very important. Okay. Yeah. She must not look for a job. It's a very tricky space. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I say this because. He check us is not looking for a radio journalist. No. They're looking for an accountant, human yeah. resource person, and mm. so forth and so forth. So that means the jobs are very few. Mm. Yes. And, and they all at the SABC, at Prime Media. Mm. They're very, very few. And I mean, somebody must die for her to get that job. <laughs> you see how tricky yeah. it yeah. gets harder and harder yeah. and harder. Yeah. However, we exist in a time when you can create it. Mm. Absolutely. And actually make it a success, mm. you know, in your own world. Yeah. Yeah. And I always use McG as an example. He was, he got, he had to be fired by Prime Media <laughs> to create what he created. You get what yeah, I mean? Yes. He so actually true. lost everything mm. and then started this thing so, that yeah. became so big. So big, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, so, so and, and it's not like he needed that. Mm. Yeah. He could have just started. Mm. And lo- losing that job, I'm sure, must have been hard for him. Yeah. Mm. But dust yourself off and he created and something, something big. Yeah. So I always say kids today are born at a time when it's so cool. You can create your own radio station. 
and make it a success absolutely yeah. on social media yeah absolutely. and it becomes the biggest thing you yeah. have bigger numbers than metro 5 good <laughs> hope and all these stations combined imagine that yeah, yeah. that's insane the that world is, is so beautiful yeah. absolutely and mm. things are wow. I've, i think i think social media and technology have made mm. accessibility yes. you know it, it i think that's what it, the main thing that we yeah. we we've gotten out of this technology thing is mm. accessibility it's yeah. and it's great it's it really is how yeah. did how did uh, uh, the joya celebration guys uh, see you meet you or find you discover mm-hmm. you that's the word <laughs> it's a very interesting story because my dad and pastam tsunzi namba mm-hmm. were actually besties okay well look at that <laughs> they were best friends so Pastor Mtsun's number has always been like a, a second father to me. Mm-hmm. Always been around. He's always been around. He'd hang out at my mom, at, at, at my parents' home. Um, we went to the same church back then when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, so when my mom would cook Sunday lunch, him and his family would come and have Sunday lunch with our family, you know. So he'd always known that in Ganega Chabu, but he just, you know, he, he stepped back and he was but he was observant mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. and he was watching and i think as the years went by then they realized no now she's ready okay. you know and then they had a conversation amongst themselves and they spoke to my parents say so it's time yeah now it's time mm-hmm. and you moved yeah i did I didn't <laughs> never look back wow never look back how different was that space from the small performances you were doing and now you are in this joyous mm-hmm. actually let me ask it this way which joyous was it joyous 1 2 3 4 do you remember 6 joyous 6 it was yeah. an established brand yeah, it was yes. and it had huge numbers first of all the thing that was different was the people there was I felt like millions of people but it was probably like one point something yeah. <laughs> like what the, was is, it? the audience that, yeah, the audience that, was, was huge very big, yeah. it yes. felt be- very big then because it's it's a it's a number that I wasn't used to <laughs> uh, because I was used to funerals yeah. and weddings church. and church mm. and birthday parties that didn't reach a thousand but of then course. suddenly we're in the theater that that houses 2000 people mm. in it and then that felt like a million to me so that was the biggest thing and because i said earlier i'm shy i'm an introvert mm. and then i'm like the <laughs> bandu bandu yeah. hey. why <laughs> what did i do <laughs> what was i thinking to the point that i remember for my the first time that i said my eyes were closed hey <laughs> my dot Because I'm a 15-year-old, I'm shy, I'm an introvert. My eyes were closed from the beginning of the song to the end. <laughs> and Pastor Tunzi had to call me and say, I'd be like, I can't. Look at the people. One day you're going to close your eyes and you'll open. By the time you open them, there's no one in the audience. <laughs> you're all on your own. <laughs> you know? And I had to learn um, to interact with the audience. I had to learn to... Open my eyes. I had to learn to walk around. I can't sit, stand in the same position mm. the whole time, the whole the song, whole song mm. you know. And 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 they, being a part of Joy Celebration really, really opened my eyes to so mm. many things, you know. Because mm. you just think, well, see, I mean, I just want, I wanted to just sing. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to grab a microphone <laughs> and sing. And sing. Yeah. You know, I didn't know that funny funny walk a foot and so langele. I have to look you at people. You must connect with exactly. the audience. Yes. I have to look at people that they must feel that I'm, you know, mm. I'm talking to them, I'm singing to them. I'll be like <laughs> I just wanted to sing. <laughs> Let me tell you, you've gotten really good at it. <laughs> the skill that you didn't have, yeah. you've got it. You perfected it now. <laughs> wow, eh? And 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 meeting, the getting into Joyas because Joyas is an institution. Yeah. That that is a well-oiled machine. Yeah. Getting into becoming a part of it was it what how how difficult or easy was that process for you? It was very difficult. Mm. It wasn't that easy. Mm. Um because first of all I was a 15 year old when I when I when mm. I joined and I keep to myself I'm an introvert so mm. I'd just be in a corner and because I'd be in a corner then a party would pick on me and tell me I was okay la sit in the front yeah. and I'd be like ganega chap. Yeah but mm. yeah but did, so did I you saw, carry that? I I did. That ganega chap. Exactly okay, I did. Okay. okay. And and 
that really helped me because they were protective of me. Ah, great. Okay. They were very protective okay. of me. Um, because in Ghana, yeah, well, um, to the point you go to basic to in Ghana, I'm Oh, so it got to that. <laughs> yeah, they because they see him. Yeah, because yeah. he was the dad, mm-hmm. you know, when we were at work. Yeah. So everybody knew it was I. You don't yeah. mess with her, mm-hmm. you know, stay mm-hmm. away from her. <laughs> and, and it's good you came with the talent. Because then, Mao, yes. we are <laughs> Pimba. <laughs> and then that's a problem. They have to protect <laughs> no, you. No, but we, we saw a couple of those, but we shall not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> now, let's leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> so it, life is tricky. It, it, it's it, very it, it, tricky. It, it, life is complicated. Very, 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 very <laughs> tricky. Jeez. But you managed through this. This, I this did. getting incorporating yourself. It it took a while. It took a while. Was it the child that was struggling, or or you as the person? Because because there are different challenges. Yeah. A child is expected to now work. Yeah. And and be with these. Some adults, yeah, and be in a working environment that comes with its own and, yeah. and superstars, superstars yeah. yeah, and that comes with its own challenge. Who was struggling, the child or the person? I think the person was struggling. Okay, because the child knew that when it's when it's a rehearsal, when a rehearsal starts, you have to pay attention because okay. I literally grew up that way mm. because I'd been singing all my life since yeah. I was four years old. So I knew Wooty, I knew the work ethic. I knew that you have to rehearse. You have to pay attention. Mm. You can't be twiddling your thumb when you're expected to sing. You have to sing. So I was very disciplined when it came yeah. to 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 working because mm. I knew that my success That's it. Because I'd started at a very young age. Yeah. So I think it was definitely the person within me who was struggling mm. because then suddenly I have to, you know, I have to sing out loud, really? you know, um, suddenly um, every note is scrutinized yeah. that I sing, you know, suddenly <laughs> if, if I'm going to go to the right, i <laughs> not, not. Not, uh, uh, this is where we are wow. right now, you know, so, and because I was very, Reserved mm. and having to be able to express myself in that environment as well, you know, and finding a way to mm. balance the balance the fan fan off uh, fan of the whole crew okay. and and also working ah. with these people. What did that, you find? I found uh, this is Margaret Matsake. Okay. Um. Actually, when I'm when I when I joined the group, my parents called her, and asked her to look after me. Wow, you were um, well received. Listen, I was I was in <laughs> like who got it? Off of I, I was I was nurtured. <laughs> yeah, I was taken was well. Awesome. My parents made sure. Mm-hmm. They made sure. Um, so they called Mrs. Margaret and literally whenever I, w- I would be in Joburg, I would be living at her house. Okay, okay. Um, and she she was my mom mm-hmm, in the group. Uh, mm-hmm. She would look after me. Uh, she would We would go together. You know, I was literally a member of her family. Yeah. And, um, you know, even today, I still call her mom because that's exactly <laughs> what she was back then. So definitely, I was Mrs. Margaret Mutache. Uh, did we meet Vicky? Yes, it was Vicky. Because Vicky was there. Stephen. Stephen Mulakeng. Abu Innocent. Abu Innocent. Swazi. Swazi Lamini. No Kanya yes. Lamini. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Ernie Smith. Was, Ernie Smith. Oh, was he still there? Lab. No, he had just, just left. left. Yeah. Mm. Just um, yeah, Concord. Concord Kabi. Yeah. Bass guitarist. Yeah. Yeah. Quasi Shang, yeah, yes. was there in drums. And mm. uh, Tutu was BC. You're talking was big keys. musicians. Uh, ah. No, it was, it was a huge <laughs> thing. Mm. Who was playing guitars when we, when we arrived? We never had guitar that year. Really? Yeah, we never had guitar for yeah. the whole year until. Which was. It was it never guitar, we never had a guitar player for a couple of years until uh, the late Dumsani Shang, Shang yes. came along. Yeah. How did you manage with her the guitar? <laughs> you huh? clearly did. Uh, we had, we were four keyboard three keyboard oh, players. Oh, so you could yeah yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. there was enough yeah, there was, melodies yes, there to, was, hide. Yeah. <laughs> to hide. Tunes could manage to we find a way. Yeah. We found a way. Yes. Mm. Wow, man, it was a special time though. It really was. It really was like being in a room with 
all of those people mm. that I had literally grew up watching and hearing about oh, and, God. you know, seeing them, <laughs> um, their shows on SAPC mm. playing in December. And, you know, it's because back then, the squads would record on cassette, you know, VCR. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the VCR, yeah, yeah, yeah. the video recorder, yeah. you know, and we'd record um, the, their specials that would play during the December season on SABC so that throughout the year we could we could watch the video. Over and over and over again. <laughs> over and over and over again. YouTube and has solved that. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God for YouTube, you know. <laughs> and to find myself in the same room with mm. all of those people. And not only just find myself there, but actually working with them. Mm. That was that was just enough mm. to make any 15-year-old go crazy. Mm. How many joys did you do? How many albums were you involved in? 11, 12-ish? Yeah. Whoa, yes. that's 11, not a small number. That's, yeah, I know, stayed. It is a long time. <laughs> that's not we a small number. We did stay for number. quite a long time. Mm. Yeah. We did stay. There was a year where we tried to leave and then they were like, ah, no. Yeah. No, you can't leave. Yeah. No, not yet. <laughs> no, you can't leave. You yeah, can't okay. leave. They gave us some nice things and we're like, eh. <laughs> Incentives. Yeah. We call them incentives. I like that. Incentives. <laughs> when did you join? Same year. Same year. Same year. Same year. Yeah, 2000. Yeah. Really? And we didn't, I don't even know that she was there. We're like, oh, there was a here. Okay, wow, nice. You, oh, at the time you had known her as this kid yeah. that's been yeah. singing so I was out. coming from a different direction she comes from, a different, from a different direction, direction. we came direction. in the same okay. way. how did you end up with Joyous then? Uh, I, so I was working with Pastor Jabot when he uh, when he did his own oh, yeah, yeah. performances okay. so I was part of his his band ah. so I think after a year of working with him I was like I see you're going to Joyous we're totally promotion. I, I didn't even audition <laughs> we're totally promotion. Oh, yeah. did you consider it a promotion? To this, to this it was uh, because I always wanted to be part of Joyce Celebration, but as a singer. Oh, so when I was introduced to be part of the band, it was like, wow! Like, I, if, did you consider that as yes, even it was bigger? bigger? It was bigger for me because I didn't see myself playing with those guys. I'm a hot man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you didn't think you qualified. No, 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 no. no. But uh, <laughs> that's probably why you remember the the, the musicians they so well. Yes. About yeah. Eni and about all of those, yes, the people yes. who yeah, who no, came no. and left before. I'm a hot man. Just playing with Mtunzi Namba, putting to a space. Those people I used to look up to, you know. So I didn't see myself in a band with them. No. No, no, no. You had uh, won, man. This was a lottery. Nice. This was a lottery win. <laughs> that was good. I it was not easy. No, I remember wasn't. after my first gig, I wanted to leave. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Hey, we were at, at it was called Civic Theater then, Jopic Theater yeah, now, mm-hmm. Bromfontein. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. After the gig, Tunzi Namba was not happy at all. With the performance? Yes. We, we were called to the office, like, he was complaining, says, because we would do like a, a number of shows like it was like like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's how theaters. So I think the yeah. first I think the first show was on a Thursday. Mm-hmm. After that, she's like, even so tomorrow I'm not even gonna perform my set. I was not happy. When I'm playing, you guys, when I'm singing and not playing, you guys don't cover me. Things like that. And I didn't understand most of it, man. I was still <laughs> a boy fresh from school. Mm. I'm overwhelmed by this whole thing. It's so big. The lights are too bright. <laughs> the lights are too bright. Set yours. Too big. Set yours. Everything is fast. Go. There's just too many people. And the, the noise is just too loud. <laughs> it's like, it's, it, you know, you use the same gesture. When I was talking about the noise at home. Yes, exactly <laughs> the same. <laughs> so it was just too much noise. And they're complaining. And I was like, oh my God, I think this was a wrong move for Ooh. me. And I remember after that meeting, uh, uh, we went back to the hotel. Mm. This hotel thing is also a new thing. Hey. <laughs> I was sharing a room with Tubabu in the two I was so frustrated. What does Mtunzi want? It was very hard on me. Mm. Why am I here and all of that? And then I got a phone call from... Imbat, forget about everything we spoke in that office. Tomorrow we're working, Baba. <laughs> hey, my that, was, that was it for me. Really? Yeah. But what was his approach when he at, said at, that? He was like, no, it was just as simple as he was part of the meeting, but he was not saying anything. He didn't say anything. Quiet. And then after that, he calls me that you must forget about everything that was said in that <laughs> meeting. Almost like tomorrow he understood. Tomorrow we are working. Yeah. Almost like you understood what yeah. you were going through. Exactly. Because I was having my doubts like, you know, I have a choice. I can just go back go to home. Deben. <laughs> <laughs> Vele, you know, we 
Tazer and people with Joe Beck. Well, this Joe Beck thing. <laughs> I don't I don't like to be in Joe you know. But I, you know, I want to be with Joyas, but hey, no, this is not my thing, you know. Inclusively, I'm going back. Hey, Maru, you would have given up too quickly. Yeah, that's why you need elders around yeah. you. Because and you stayed. You, 11 years later. <laughs> yeah. 11 yeah. albums. Yeah, yeah. Good wow, album. man. It, 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 when you think of Joyas now, what what comes to mind? What 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 do you see? And I'll tell you. So so I make it easy. Because I've had, I've known Linda Lani for a long, long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My, my story with Linda is when I was in Durban. Uh, I went to Westville University. Oh. Mm-hmm. So that's where I met him. Mm-hmm. I was a kid then. He was a promoter. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he came, I was, a, I was a, on radio at a campus radio station. And he would come with CD, not CDs at the time, cassettes. cassettes. cassettes yes. yeah. And he came with a cassette, yeah, Oskido. Oh, um, it was called uh, Why Wait's a Saw because I used to used to yes. hype on yeah. on beats. Yeah. Why Wait's a Saw? That was the name. Why Wait's a Saw? That was the melody. Mm. And and the, and the, how? So he brought that in. That's where I met him. I, I was a kid. I didn't think this would mean anything. Mm. Much later on, and we meet now, and I'm in Joburg. I'm back yes. home, <laughs> and now I'm working on radio, and it's the same guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's that guy again. Yeah. So when I think of 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 uh, uh, Joyas. I see, because I like things that can't start from zero and they become humongous. Mm. Yeah. That's probably my obsession with buildings. Mm. Yeah. And I, I, I see, I see this guy who used to come to us with CDs and cassettes, <laughs> cassettes. <laughs> and who has created an amazing institution mm. yeah. that has cr- pro- that has produced you guys. Yeah. And it's not only the two of you; it's many. so many, many of you. Many. 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 And and so I look at it, and and interesting, I associate it with with. Kaiser Chiefs and Pirates, black pride mm. and black victory. Absolutely. Mm. I look at that and mm. I say, what? Mm. We can start from nothing. Yeah. yeah. And, create something. and create something so Absolutely. big. Mm. So to, for me, my association is that with it. Mm. But what crosses your mind when you think of this it's gratitude? Uh, man, I was just a young boy who didn't actually knew what he was doing. I just wanted to play music. Mm. But they saw something because... Most of the things I do today, I learned from there. You know, when I came there, I was a third keyboard player. They didn't have a guitar player. I'm sure the number would say to me, play guitars on that keyboard. Think like a guitar player. Whoa. And I didn't understand that. You know, think like a guitarist. So I started going to albums. And when I listened to an album, I listened to a guitar player. Not, a, not keys not anymore. Not keys anymore. So I started to, to, to emulate how guitars sound, you know. What? You know, you know. And <laughs> uh, later I started... Uh, uh, it didn't like to play that much. I started playing piano. So just mm. come in and just play and just leave. Didn't finish the show. Yes. I started playing keys for him now, you know. And I remember when we come from school, we were taught a lot of discipline. So it didn't uh, hear presence when I was playing. So there, were, there was a say that we say, Dala Baba. Mm. So that's like you're playing, but we're not hearing you. You're playing oh, for yourself. Play for us. For us. Yeah. Express yourself. Give it to us. Yeah, yeah give it to yeah, us. Give it know? to us. So I learned that, oh, I have to play. I have to push my volume a little bit. People must hear what I'm doing. Mm. I shouldn't be afraid to be heard. Play mm. for the people. Don't just wow. play for yourself. Oh, okay. I started to be mm. able to express myself, you know. And from there... And I started assuming some of his responsibilities, you know. So he would like, he would teach a song and leave it halfway. like, And then and it just tell me, finish the song tomorrow. And you know it what? comes late to rehearsal and I finish it, you know. And I started hearing the term musical director. Oh, okay. Oh, later I realized, oh, I, in fact, I'm, I'm his assistant musical director. <laughs> yes, wow. Okay, and I started learning those things. I got comfortable. I loved that, you know. Mm. And then later become the musical became the musical director of Joe wow. Celebration. Like, oh wow, now I'm a musical director. And it just became natural. From there, I started producing some of the albums. Mm. What? You know, so that's why I'm saying gratitude because I learned it all there. And besides the fact that I was working at Joe Celebration through Linda Lanham Kiza, uh, during those years, I was working with my Laika, my Figi Zolo. I was working at Tandis. I got to meet a lot of people. I would mm-hmm. say everybody because Linda Lanham Kiza just will work during weekends. Mm-hmm. But during the week, I would be We're doing a lot. Like, yes. <laughs> so it connected me with a lot of people, you know. Incredible. So And my talent as well. Grew. It's got better and better. Yeah, versatility as well. I could work with anybody, Anyone. you know. Jeez. And the pressure that comes with working with your celebration makes everything that we do outside Joyous so easy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, really? so I'm, 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 I'm forever grateful you know, for the opportunity. That's why I was saying even earlier that some people created platforms that, that benefited us so much and 
we I also feel I have a responsibility mm. to do something for the generation that is coming after me. Gratitude. Yes. And and when you walked into the studio, what was your reaction when you saw it's like you've been here before? <laughs> this place. Yeah. Oh my God. So as we were driving in before, I'm like, are we going to that place? Yeah, and he asked me, <laughs> do you remember this studio that going was, to that, that place. were around here? I'm following like, the road, yes. I'm like, when I saw the gate, like, yes, it is. this is the place, you know, <laughs> yes. you know, but I never imagined it to be like this because we always go to the, to other the big side, studio, to the big yeah. studio, yes, yes. Yeah, that's, outside. That's, it, actually, during those years, yeah, the joyous years, yeah, the joyous years, yeah, I remember <laughs> we did some work for Jess here, Richard Mitchell, the late Jess yeah. liberation engineer, he used to work here as well, mm-hmm. so we would come here with Linda Lennon Keys and many other great musicians. Incredible. Yeah. And you wow. recorded some projects here as yeah, well. Yeah, I did Swazit Lamini here. I did what? a number of gospel. I, I Relationships started with people here that I still work with even, even today. today. That are no longer here. In this building? Yeah, in this building. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> oh, wow. I, that, that, uh, and I say this story often uh, because mm. I've had uh, stories. People who come here and say they've been here before. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it saddens me that when I bought it, yeah, uh, this facility, it was I, was I bought it from a from a couple that was going through a hard time. Mm. So they we never got a chance to share the stories or the memories. Mm. Yes, and and it seems like there's so many. There's a lot. No, they keep on coming back to you now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it yeah. sounds like there's so many, oh, and they never not even a single picture. Sure. Because we've got quite a lot in no, my no, no, You know, no, great things happened here, yeah, but they'll I keep on coming. Yeah. They will. And you are doing a great job. You know, <laughs> it's exciting to see what has come out of this place and what still. It still, it it's still, still, it still exists, yeah. you know, yes. from, from those days. Uh, yeah. Yeah, wow. Cool. Gratitude. What, what crosses your mind when you think joyous? You, yeah, when I think joyous, I think, I think definitely gratitude is part of it. Mm-hmm. And, and also the fact that, um, also, hard work. I think mm. you know. Mm. <laughs> um, I think <laughs> I think that's, a, that's a, no. Listen, hey, What is that? Loose translation for for this <laughs> mother's suit uh, is, is is your your lower back. Oh, yeah, so oh, when so you're working, oh, you're working. Work. Oh, almost yeah. like you bend your back. Yes, exactly, yes. exactly. <laughs> because no, we work. <laughs> I think I think that for me is is what comes to mind is hard work. What is work for someone who's who ends up with a city? And <laughs> what is work from from your perspective? What exactly does that mean? From my perspective, for yeah. example. Even even both of you can can Yo. what does work look like? I as, told you when you came here, you brought us food and I was like, I remember Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> they used to bribe you with food. <laughs> you know, uh, you were saying something. Go ahead. Country. No, continue with what you were saying. <laughs> so when I see someone presenting me with a lot of food, mm. when I know that we have like a a short session, yeah, Im- immediately I think this person is planning to keep me for a long time, <laughs> and that is a joyous, because joyous that's that's a, a joyous the trigger. Yeah. It's so we, we know that the result starts at 10 and we finish at 5. Mm. Yeah. And we have lunch and at, at, one. at 1. Maybe yeah. at Lunch is at 1. Okay. So we have our lunch at 1. We go back to rehearsal. And then at 4, we see food coming in. <laughs> More <laughs> food happen. coming in. No, and then we know that we're not leaving at 5. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Lam is planning to keep us till <laughs> night. Till night. Maybe sometimes midnight. The next thing they're, they're asking us, where do you leave? So there's taxis now. <laughs> And and they're, taking you home. they're taking you home. That is part of the hard work. That, that is the way about, okay. that I'm they talking about. Well. <laughs> and I think, yo, uh, people don't realize how much it takes. And you know, and and the thing is, sometimes you'd you would you know, especially as a singer per se, mm. what Umfundusu Namba would do back then, he would teach a song. He'd teach the whole choir song. Okay. And then he'd put a microphone on the stand and then said, anybody try it. Oh, to lead. Yes. Yeah. So it's really? It yeah. works like that? Who wants to lead? Yeah, who wants to try it? Whoa. And then you'd be like, and then for someone like me, like an intro, 
And, uh, I ain't trying the nothing. Big, the big sinners let you respect. <laughs> and so. I'm like, there's yeah. no way I'm going to try anything here. And I imagine <laughs> you also feel like you're not, you're not like others. Mm. And no. As in they are too big. Yeah, yeah yes. no, no, I, I definitely don't deserve to be in the really? same category. So some of that would happen. And also, you know, the fact that you arrive early in the morning for rehearsal and you can't be late. Mm. You can't be late. No. We, we weren't allowed to be late. Of course. Um, and when rehearsal ends, it, it ends whichever time. It, yeah. It yeah. yeah. Good you, night. you can't have plans. No, yeah. you can't have plans. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, you have to be at all the days. Because if you miss one day, the following day, it's not like they're going to recap what, you, what they did no. the day before. We're going to be moving on to something else. And with me, because I started when I was in high school, that meant I, if everybody had three weeks of rehearsal, mm. I would probably only be able to have a week of rehearsal. Yo. So I have to learn to catch up, yeah. every single thing that everybody learned in three weeks in, in one week. week. Yo. Yo. And I have to be on par because I can't because of that whole yeah, no, you, can't can't vibe. you can't get to live up to, yeah. Yeah. so I can't I have to live up to to it and now you would call me inside at was in when yeah no he'd call me inside and tell me what's when and when I was when everybody else can make a mistake but you can't mm. and he was very hard on and harsh on me mm. you know to the point you would see um after my first performance, mm -hmm. he has his story. I also have my story. Uh -oh. <laughs> After my first performance um, with Joy Celebration, he got me the recording. He got the recording on a cassette mm -hmm. and he called me into his car. And we sat in his car and he played the song. And then we played it from beginning to end. And then when it ended and he said, what do you hear? And I was like, Ish. Did you do okay? Did how, mm, how, how mm. would you rate yourself? Mm. I, I don't know. He's like, no, you can't know. You have to know. Yeah, you can't is, not. You can't say not, you don't no. know. <laughs> this, this is your work. Uh. What do you have to say about your work? And I'd be like, I mean, it wasn't that great. I could do better. And then he, okay, you could do better. And then he plays it from beginning, and then play it again. And then at the end, and he said, okay, you said you could do better. What could you do better? <laughs> in silence in the car it's like do you want me to play it again uh, <laughs> you don't want to hear it again I it's don't like in the I don't office. want to hear it yeah, again yeah like it, it sounds like it feels like it's in the principal's but it's exact, it was exactly that because he was super hard on me no, and then I, the third time we would literally <laughs> play line by line and say okay what did you do wrong here and then I'd be like no that note wasn't he was like yeah that was not such a good idea Note wise, so what? How can we fix that? What do we do? We're in the there's no keyboard. He's like, no. So sing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the car, and literally, I'm being drilled on one song that I sang. <laughs> yes, keys. I'm a 15 year old, <laughs> and we have to go through line, line by, by line. line by line by line. That's how detailed he was. That's how detailed he was. Years, yeah. But he helped me. We were lucky. He so helped me. Man. You know, back then, I used to think, this man hates me. Of course. And I we think dad, the same about parents I mean, when they do that. I mean, like, there's they no way that this man loves me. This is not, this is not the Babam Tunzi that I had when I was in Durban. <laughs> the one who used to eat this my... This is a monster. The one who used to go on Sundays. No, the one that monster. my mom would cook for. <laughs> this is not the... This is a monster. Oh, no. Like, who is this man? I don't know him. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, we had the term... <laughs> If you don't know, which is a a knot, a knot, yes, a knot like a yeah. In terms of exactly, yes, yes. So this tension, the way he was so hard on us, you know, when 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 is not when we're on stage, maybe jamming, doing sound check, it's mm, nice. Mm. He's not around, you know, because the principals always arrived late. Yes, yes. <laughs> but we had this thing that when he comes in, it ah like Ali Fim. Ah yeah 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's here. He's, he's, here, he's here now. And he's going to find something wrong that we're doing. Always. He will always find it. And he has this thing of just calling you into a corner. <laughs> and, and even remind me that you, oh, you are paid. Mm. He will say things like that. Yeah, <laughs> this is not free. You know, you are paid here. And you know, there's, all, there's a number of people who want yeah. this opportunity that yeah. you have. What kind you of know? a musician are you? Exactly. I, I, you know, I don't understand you. 
you went to school, you did jazz, you know. <laughs> yeah. I can't blame this. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't understand. Just, just a lot of what improvisation. And I don't understand why. I'm like, oh, this guy. <laughs> why am I even here? <laughs> No, he was very hard, and and I feel like he was hardest on you and me more than Yo, any, more than everyone else. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I what brings you to that? I, to that I, I actually, hers. I believe he saw something mm. and extra extraordinary gifts in us. Yeah, I believe so. I feel like he was much harder on us because I don't think there's anyone else who had that experience where literally you went and it was separate experience life. it's not like you would call us together no, no we were not together you we were, were never not together no. were you dating at this stage no, no. you were just that's I members. started hearing her stories when we started dating ah we did not I thought I was the job that guy who was who are in his work and you know the weakest link in the band oh, always been, nah. I, but my question was like why are they keeping me if they yeah if my work is no they bad. should just fire me because I'm not doing well are they keeping me yeah that's amazing but he was he was the perfect example of tough love mm. yeah mm. Was tough. he he was a perfect example of tough love because he he would he would see something extraordinary yeah and but because I'm a 15 year old I don't see it. For me, it's yeah, just no. it's just a by the way. <laughs> yeah, we're on Zon. It's just a by the way. But he could see beyond yeah. in the depths of, of my vocals that there's more that, that can come that can come out of this little girl. Yeah. You know, and that crafted even the way that I sing even today. You know, that he taught me that when you're singing a song from beginning to end, it's almost like you're it's a painting. Mm. You know, you're creating a masterpiece. Mm. So because you're creating a masterpiece, every stroke counts. Yes. So you can't be haphazard mm. with the strokes and the direction that the strokes are. Of, of, eh, eh. No, no, no. no, we are creating a masterpiece. So wow. there is a way, there is a pace. Does he still cross yourself. your does he still cross your mind when you perform? Like as in even if it's not him, but the the, the uh, I, energy. I would of it. say I would say he does. He does. Yeah, you know? and especially sometimes when even I deal with the younger generation, I understand why he did that to me. You know, because now I struggle with the guys. Like guys, I think you're not playing. They're like I'm playing, and I remember that. Yo, this is the this thing. Is that the thing. This is the thing that you were struggling with. <laughs> this you know, is what he was when you're about. fresh from school, mm. you just need someone to deal with you yeah. as far as that is concerned. You know, wow. so the lessons. Yeah. I live, I so I the lessons I, I, still hear, I hear him in studio when I'm oh. in studio <laughs> and and we're recording something in studio I hear him constantly because when I did my studio album with him yo sometimes because my dad would be there um, as well so I remember when we drive back to the hotel because we were recording here in Joburg mm. so we'd drive with my dad from Durban to come to Joburg um, and we'd go to the hotel and my dad would be like, I think it hates me. Why am I doing this? I don't want to record an album oh, anymore. No. And then my dad would be the one who comforts me. He's, no, you're doing okay. a great thing. You're doing a great job. Keep going. Keep going. It's it's funny poem, you know. And and I think from then onwards, I I, I developed a certain perfectionist mentality even in studio from the way that I record backing vocalists for example the the last album that we did Lavish mm. Worship we I literally recorded almost every single song first the background vocalist okay. for every song what? because yourself myself your voice, on my yes. own for different uh, octaves soprano yes, alto yes, yes, tenor first part uh, uh, second, second part, part, part third part <laughs> all of it and I do eight takes of each because I wanted it to that's sound it's a lot of work it was a lot, it's a lot of work <laughs> but that's the kind of work that I learned from him mm -hmm. you know and that's and how to phrase and to articulate certain words when it came to music, all of that stuff, all of that knowledge that I use today, especially in studio, was stuff that I learned from him, you know, and 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 the way that I I take time when it comes to, especially when I record background vocals mm. and and how I want them to sound. That's all the stuff that I learned from him. And every now and then I hear him saying, I yeah, don't cut that word. Like yeah. especially when you're singing a Zulu word. And it's a long phrase. He would always emphasize that 
you'd rather breathe at the end of not the in, word. Not in Don't the middle. Don't break yeah. the word in half because it doesn't make sense Ish. in the Zulu language. <laughs> so so it's li- little simple, little I things, realize. but amazing. that have, have a huge amazing. impact. I yeah. am blown away. We need people like that. Absolutely. Because yeah, we create an amazing society. Mm. Yeah. We create an amazing culture mm. yeah. of, of, of hard work, of get it right, discipline. Mm. of discipline. Mm. We need that in a lot of spaces in our, in our world. Mm. We need that in sports. You, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. Wow, man. I didn't know. Yeah, no, no, no. no, no. He was, like, he was, yeah. <laughs> His taskmaster. <laughs> he was, yeah. Which yeah. Petty Hindu. Yeah, no. But that really helped us because it developed such a strong work ethic, ethic for us. Yeah, for us yeah. And and that founded a good foundation for us to begin our careers when we went independent. And, yeah. and that has sustained us ever since because mm. our work ethic is just yeah. on point. We have to do it right. The and deci- if it's not dec- right, we yeah. do it again the, until until it's right. The decision to leave and, and finally you're allowed to leave <laughs> was did it feel like you were divorcing an important part of your lives when you said now we are leaving and were you leaving as a team as a collective yeah we we left together we were married already at the time yeah. yes and and I thank God that when I said I wanted to leave she wanted to leave also okay. so okay. no one felt like ah uh, something was taken away from them mm. but I think it didn't feel like a divorce but because it's been a relationship of many years you know I think there's something in us that says we have to go now. It's okay, time for us. Okay. We're done with everything that we've. There's there's not there's not much we can contribute here as well. And I remember, I think what also helped is that when we wanted to leave, we were requested to stay an extra year. You know, okay. so I think our decision oh, was tested. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I remember we said yes. I, I remember the kids are coming to see us in January after we've made a decision a year before mm. that guys please tell me what's wrong what did we do to you guys mm. are you sure <laughs> why, why, why did he phrase it that way did he feel because like because they always feel like you are afraid because we are we are parents who are afraid to tell us that we are not happy with oh, something okay. they always feel yeah. like there must be something yeah. okay. you know okay. and especially the money oh, yeah. <laughs> you know they must tell me guys mm. this is what just you want. The, what you want yeah. okay and then they uh, because we, we kids just got married, you know, and I mean, <laughs> it's fine. We started asking for a few lives, things, yes. you know, and they gave us those things for and, another year. Yeah, for and we year. stayed. But I tell you, June, July, that same year, yeah. we felt in our hearts that, nah. you know, this is it for us. And we told them because they do their, their, their recordings in December that Babum Kiz is we're going to do the recording in December. But after that, please let us go. We are. And we yeah. said, it's fine, when the bum, you can go. And then Jeez. we did the recording. Mm. And but you we had went. brought someone in. Yeah, I already had someone oh. that I was raising. Yes, ah. yeah, I had a plan. I wanted to do the same thing that Pastor Number did, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know so I didn't want to leave them. High and dry. I know, I didn't want to do that. So they had someone. And then we left. Uh, uh, we did our last recording. It was just 16. Yeah. Mm. But I stayed to Listen to that. Coaching. You yeah, came in at Joy at so. 6. Yeah. You're leaving at Joy at 16. Yeah, no, we stayed. Yeah, stayed, no, we yeah. And so those would come to help with vocal coaching here and there during real. Oh, you were still yeah. a yeah. you yeah. know yeah. a friend a family, of the organization. Yeah. Yeah, the family. They always be family. I yeah. think how I always looked at it when we left, it was you know how when um in Ghana reaches a certain stage of adulthood mm. where they decide that, you know, now it's time for me to move out of home and I need to be responsible and go and live in an apartment and start my life afresh. That's how I looked at it. Mm. It wasn't a breakdown of a family, but it was more of a growth of a young mm. couple. couple. You know, yes. Our children have just moved out of home. That doesn't mean mm. that we, we're not, we're not going to come home every, yeah. for Christmas. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and we will always call. Exactly. And we're just a phone call away. Yeah. It was just literally a matter of we had reached the point where adulthood was knocking on the door and it was time for us to walk through it. Yeah. yeah. Was it, did you, Ellie, after leaving, question the decision? Ah, when challenges Definitely. came. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the comfort zone. <laughs> you. But I remember this is a huge brand. You know, we were protected. Yeah. yeah. You were and now you're on your own. Oh, oh no my God. 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 <laughs> and there's two of you. So yeah. it's too, it's too, it's a load. And we've just, we've, we've started a family. So now the babies are coming as well. Aye, 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 aye. So 
there's there's nappies, there's there's milk, there's baby food. And and the income of Joy Celebration at that time was literally every single month. Yeah, the salad. Yeah, we had a, there's, there's we had a, salad. Some, something, yeah, something coming yeah. into yeah. the house, you yeah. know. And then suddenly, two somethings are cut. <laughs> I don't think we thought it through. <laughs> no, no, I don't think we thought decision. about the money. No, <laughs> yeah. Listen, we realized remember after. when I said you're still crowing? <laughs> yeah, even then you were still. Crow- you thought you knew what you were doing. Yeah. No. But what was the plan then? Um. What was the plan? I don't know. The plan was to focus on personal journeys. Careers. Let me put it that mm, way. Mm. Yeah, because just celebration is an institution. You learn. You had to go and stand on your own. So Actually, basically, that's that's how it looks like, even from a distance. Yes, yes. that yeah. it's a it's a doorway yes. through but, your own career. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. that's that's how it should be. Yeah, that yeah. was a plan. But you know, when pr- practicality comes in, you you start to realize that okay. Oh, <laughs> <They're> short. <laughs> I have to do this gig. I have to do this thing. I am now independently. Okay. So where, where am we, I going to get the money? Where are we going to stay? <laughs> or hotel? Oh, they used to book hotels for us. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to book hotels. How, do you, how do you book hotels? <laughs> Not for you only, but for your people as well. Oh my God. I like that question. Did you hear how simple that question is? Yeah. How do you book a hotel? <laughs> a simple thing like rehearsal. You book a rehearsal studio, and they and then the rehearsal starts at 10, 11, and then half past eleven. You see, hear comments like, "Hey, when are we eating?" And uh. like, oh my god, they have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they used to. Oh, Jesus used to feed us. You know, you re- the realization of that it's on you now. <laughs> everything, all of everything, it. Everything. Everything. <laughs> yeah, and you can't call daddy and no, say baptism of fire. Yeah, it's you yeah, said, it's, yeah. You said I want to be an adult now. now. Yeah, you ready. know, I, I want to be learn how to be and responsible. You did. And somehow, mm. like, no, I can't so, so it was learning on the job. Yes, yeah, because yeah. because the comfort zone of Joyous didn't teach you much because you were comfortable. Yeah, I mean the administrative side of the business. That was taken care of. No, so you didn't. You, you were not done. learning. No. Much no. Then. no, 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 no. Yeah, but I think I think Lindana keys him, and I thank God for him. Let me say it as mm. well, you know, because. He was always a father, even then. He kept on checking on us because I remember the first album we did after we left Jazz Celebration was Phil. Mm. Mm. He was mm. part of that, like fully, wow, fully, is. fully invested in that, even mm. financially, financially, to make well. sure that it is a success. And he started introducing us to Universal Music as well. He mm-hmm. was with Universal during those years. Okay. And uh, we started meeting people there. So uh, the business side of things, so he was there just mm. to. So, and the beautiful thing about how he did it with us is that. He was there, but he would always also leave us. Yeah. And we're like, there's an appointment. We get there and Papum Kiza, where are you? I know, guys, I'm not coming. And he just lets it go. Yeah. And then we start learning to do to learn Handling. to do things. Yeah. Handling. We start learning to speak yeah. as well with people as well. I remember when we were editing the video for Phil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were supposed to meet the three of us with him. He never came. He didn't come. And you know, and I remember the 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 video editor he started telling us, this is how it's done, you know. So, mm. so okay, we don't time. like that shot. Change that Change shot, shot, bring that shot. We have an option. You. So we're learning it as we go. Look and, at it, you. and it was done, you know. Yeah. And so he, I always say, Bablin Dan Kize, when we left Jairus, he gave us some sort of a starter pack mm. and he left us. Yeah, you know, so, And I think they were good fathers good. to us. Yeah. Yeah. All three of yeah, them. Yeah, all three of all them. All three of them. You know, they did That's a amazing. good job, you know. No, it's still today. They're still there. Still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you guys doing? What's happening? We mm. see you. Yeah, we are we proud of you. you. You're yeah. doing great work. Are you yeah. good? Are you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You won an award. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I got a text from, from <laughs> and I got a text from Jabba. I got a text from <laughs> all of them. All of them. You know. Yeah. That's you know, they'll amazing. They'll always be our fans. Yeah, no, wow. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you do you think musically, you guys were a match made in heaven, a match that had to be, because it's pretty obvious that you make great music together. <laughs> I oh, think so. <laughs> so you would, so you would say we are a match <laughs> made in, in heaven. heaven. <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> is that a big phrase? <laughs> it it's, sounds like this is our perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. <laughs> oh yeah. That, <laughs> is that a big phrase? Is that phrase too big? Or you? No, but in reality, it is because it, it is. works for it us. Works. It works. Uh, it you connect works. musically. Yes. Some people, sometimes people ask us to explain how it works, and it's not even like there's a formula. No, we just work. You know, it, it just we get each other. Yeah. I think yeah. musically, I think 
I think the beautiful thing is that we started working together first before, before. we developed a friendship uh, and then a love relationship. Yeah. So we started working together first and we clicked, mm. um, you know, when we worked together on the music. We were just a, a, a great match musically mm. and yes. we just we just got each other. Um, I think one of the things that I appreciated about him was that he he kind of reminded me that I'm not just a vocalist. I'm also a songwriter. There are also other talents that I have mm. that fit within the music production of it all. That mm. I I actually have great ideas, yeah. music wise, you know. <laughs> um, and and he helped me see that, you know, and he helped develop my confidence in my ideas wow. and in my songwriting, you know. And and I think, yeah. It's it's hard to imagine you without that confidence. Because that's what we are presented oh, with. Yeah. We are presented <laughs> with the final product. Yeah. It's hard to imagine a Coke without the dark color and yeah. the wood and the and the sugar. Yes. Because that's what we see as the yeah. final product. Yeah. So so when Coke says, Yeah, sometimes I'm just water. <laughs> you. That's not cool. Like, no. That's I don't not know. Before point. Bangfaga. <laughs> yeah. Man, she, so that's what it is. It's yeah, hard absolutely. to imagine you without all of that. Yeah. Because that's we we've seen and we continue to see this amazing p- performer, mm. you know, mm. on stage. We, we continue to see this amazing... When we listen to the music, because I, I spent the past few days listening to so much of your music. Mm. Yeah. Just because I, I do that. I, so I can... You are in my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even read any of my notes. That's how much mm. you are in my head. Oh, wow. And mm. I needed, I needed to, to get that. And I listened to the music and I said, she is so great. Yeah, she is. <laughs> And now you're saying sometimes you're not sure. Sometimes I'm not sure. <laughs> sometimes I'm not sure. I need I need mm. an extra boost, and he's mm. always that, mm. you know. And he he understands and he gets me, you know, musically. And he's able to see. I remember when we were recording Lavish Worship. Mm. The thing about me is when I when I'm not getting something, I get frustrated. Mm. Mm. And then he'd be like, "Okay, let's go." <laughs> Yeah, like, let's leave the let's studio. Let's leave the studio. Yeah, really? Let's go home. You know they're home. pro. Yeah. yeah, we have to go now. Yeah, he's it's like, not oh, gonna be. Like, we'll just waste time now. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Because because I'm just <laughs> and I'm also frustrated. And the thing is, when you're frustrated, you can't. You're not getting anything. You you can't pour yeah. out of frustration. Yeah. What is your process to create a song? Is it a similar formula? Similar process? Does it follow a kind of a? It's, it's Baby, not, I have it's a melody. Not, it's not a set pattern. Uh, uh, but most of the time, she has ideas on her phone. I know that she already has. So there's a, a she there's already a has, she, she already has some of the next album on the phone. What is the recordings? What are they? Are they words? Are they phrases? Are they it's, melodies? It's melodies sometimes with words. It's melodies. Half, sometimes half, half job. Most sometimes of it. it's a it's a few lines uh, mm. with music. Sometimes it's just the melody. It really just depends how, on, what, on okay. what I hear at that point in time. Mm. And then I record it because then I don't want to lose. Yes. I don't want to lose it. And then I'd be like, okay, then I'll, I'll get back to it whenever. Yeah. And then once it's that, it comes it to It comes you. to me. We go to studio. We sit on the piano. Okay. She sings it for me. We create a progression. She'll say, no, 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 not like I that. I don't like that okay. chord. Can you change that chord? Change that. Okay, sharp. Okay, sharp. Oh, we get it. Oh, this okay. is it. Sometimes I struggle. Like, I'm really not hearing this thing. Dog also. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go to the next one? And then okay, we okay. Try, yeah, we, we try something. something the next one maybe moves faster. And I'll be like, ah, man, we need a verse here. Can you mm. write? Yeah. And she, she'll be like, uh, okay, let me. She write words, and I create some sort of a progression. Wow. I think most of the album, that's how we did it. She'll have words or uh, words, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah words and then I'll, I'll create a progression. Yeah. How is that? Ah, it's too, it's too R and B. Need more to worship. Oh, okay, sharp. I thought it was. You know, sometimes I, I, there are disappointments where my ideas are not accepted, <laughs> and I have to learn. Which, okay, this is not my album. It's her album. Mm. You know, I remember this one song in the album. I'm with you always. Yeah. I, she made me work. Really? There is another completely she different completely version different of that song. Of that same song. Did you change it? She you did, just didn't I like didn't what like I it. came up with. <laughs> and I she was like... not saying, I don't like it. She just wouldn't say anything. And I would just read it like, she doesn't like Oh, you could tell. I yeah, know, yeah. she's, she's just... I know. Nah, and I was yeah. feeling it. Because I didn't want to hurt him. This is the vibe. Because I know he's, he worked on it. So Ooh. I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. I'd be like, hmm. 
Do you know? Yeah. Do you know? Maybe I let's, let's listen to something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh you know, I wept the whole night on this do, thing. Do you know what? I'm glad to know taste. Do you have something else? <laughs> oh, it feels exactly. like that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, now that you put it that way. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Oh. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. I understand. It was, I, I, it was a few. It was a, f- a few. Yeah. Among the many but, but, you, but, you, yes. but, but you don't take it bad. No, no, no. At the end of the day, I need to constantly no, remind work. myself because yeah. I also know that the weakness sometimes amongst us as producers is that we want to produce ourselves through artists, ah. you know, and then I just don't come out of the projects, you know, yeah. it's just me, 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 me. Mm. So I have to make sure that I create a, a, some sort of a structure for her where she can really, really express herself. Yeah. And then we get a nice album, you yeah. know, that we both love. Yeah. You know? is, is it easy to create music as a, as a couple? And I ask this because of easy access for, for starters. Yeah. Yeah. He's right here. <laughs> A song crosses your mind in the middle of the night. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's find the as a match. <laughs> is, it, is it easy? Is the, the proximity make, make it easy? I think it makes it, it easy for us. It does. Yeah. Oh. It's even nicer now we have our own studio. So yeah. Oh, yeah. We if just, you created a studio at, just at home, it's not even home. It's oh, you home. have to. It used I was to be at out. home, but I chased the studio out. I was like, uh-uh. How? I finally put my man in. How, mom? Why? No, because my kids were growing. They needed space. <laughs> Oh, you needed the room. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, was it, it was it was about the family. Oh, you needed the room. Yeah, no, we need the room. The <laughs> Look room at is him. not working. He's still not quite happy. The about room it. does not work for the family right now. The family it's, is growing. Yeah. The girls are getting bigger. <laughs> it's okay. They can't be squashed in a small anyana camera now. They so need, you had we to. We need the room. Yeah, I had to move. Had to does it work though? Being it a distance. Yeah. I, ne- distance. We, I never thought it would though. It would, would work though. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you. He was I, very reluctant. I love. I love Kauai. working from home, you know, and it's not even far from home. But thank God I found a space. I don't like driving to work. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so it's a... Uh, 10 it's, minutes. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes drive, drive yeah, yeah, from home. So, so you can go anytime. Yeah, it's five minutes, baby. That's how close it is. Yeah. yeah. So, so you can, can go, go anytime. Anytime and work, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's a beautiful space, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we had and we had to have a conversation about it. Yeah, um, and 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 express our fears because all along he'd be here. Yeah, you know, yeah. and yeah. we I'd I'd also be here. Mm-hmm. So we had to talk about the realities of what does it mean for us. I am seventeen. Because all our lives we literally wake yeah. up and we're you know, together. We're, we're yeah, here. We're He's here. here. So. We had to talk about it. I had to express my fears. He expressed his fears. Mm. And they were like, okay, make, um, what is it? Make pacts mm, or commitments mm, to each mm. other, you know. Hey, my name that... is <laughs> 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 How we are intentional. I know, we are intentional because we want we've these things to We've had things about producers and their studios and their yeah. families. You know, yeah. you know, one of my greatest fears were that uh, I had statements from from one of the great producers that I respect mm. as saying and when I realized that when I realized it was too late mm. that I've uh, there was that I've, I've drawn yeah. so far from her Ooh. it was just too late and I was just busy working you know creating good music that was blessing mm. us that continues to bless us today mm. but you losing know, so, so I need I needed to make sure that she's she's able to tell me that a hey, Hey, the gap is too... Yeah, it's too yeah. big. It's too, yeah, big, it's too big now. It's too big. Yeah, bring it. Bring yeah. it. Bring yeah. For my own protection as well, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. What is your style of music? And I'm asking this collectively. Because in the in the world of uh, of gospel, there are different, different styles. styles. Yes. Mm. What is your style? How do you describe it? Not necessarily the... Yo, I mean, it's called contemporary gospel, but it's... I feel like it has some traditional elements to it Mm. Um, because obviously that will always be a part of who I am. I grew up in, you know, church. Mm. So there will always be that traditional song or Mm -hmm. on an Mm. album because that's part of who I am. But I think contemporary would be, yeah, the word word to explain it. There's a song, Jehovah, You Are My Name. Am I saying it right? Jehovah's your name. Is your name, right? Yes. Jehovah's your name. Jehovah's your name. That song seems like it stands out in your career. Yeah. <laughs> in some way. <laughs> Why is that? What is it about it? Um, I think, I think first of all, um, 
it was a song that was sung in church in okay. our churches first of all and um it actually got a a huge um what's the word views and it actually got me noticed from other by other countries ah, as well okay um because i know that in nigeria they have a similar song to it so they they it clicked mm, you know so it made, so they connected to ah, it got you. um a lot and and ironically that's the album that where we lost a lot of money oh, and <laughs> <laughs> so that's the album that says that's the why album. is this not working so the that's, answer is that song that's the answer the answer that song turned things around wow and yeah. it still continues to do it and it still today. does because it it got me noticed by people I would have never thought I'd ever get to meet or mm. get a mm. certain phone call from them um, it's through that song that I got bookings from out of the country, yes. from Ghana, from Nigeria. That song, you were saying. That yeah. song, the US, that song <laughs> particular. <laughs> the one where I was yes. stressed out and like, well, this thing isn't working. What's going on? That's the song that opened the doors, international doors for me. That's the time when she was crying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, that, that time when I was crying. Yeah. And this song was becoming big. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. While you were crying. While I was crying and frustrated and the thinking, this is not working. <laughs> the song was working behind the scenes on my behalf. It says something about, about the power that we have no control over. Mm. Yeah. Because that's what it is. Mm. Absolutely. When Upizi, at the first stage of Wednesday Pop, <laughs> you know, it's not working. <laughs> but the, the results are guaranteed. Mm. You're they just are. not aware because yeah. you don't have the perspective. Yeah. Yes. And that's exactly what it was, you know. Mm. I think um, it's it, it really is. For me, I think it just makes me see how incredible God was, mm. how, how amazing God is, how, mm. how meticulous he is in his ways and how even when we think God isn't working, he still is working <laughs> just behind the scenes. That's mm. it. You know, we don't see it, but he's still working. You know, yeah. even when we're not sure, he's still working. Even when we're doubtful. He's still working. And that's exactly what this is a testimony of. Because all God's work is not obvious to our eyes. Nope. At all. <laughs> nah. At all. Yeah. Wow. You know, we get frustrated because we want to see everything now. unfold now, you know, because we've got precious. Mm. <laughs> you know, we want to see everything unfold now. But the truth of the matter is, you know, even when we don't see it, God is still working. I'm I'm blown yeah. away. That, that's the album. That's all. That's, that's the album. Because it stands out. You know, it, it, in my observation of a lot of things leading up to this chat, into this song keeps yeah. popping up as a as a theme, yeah. as a thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think I think even from the execution of it, mm. it came from a heart of, um, you know, I because we had gone through. Basically, the fact that we had literally nothing, mm. sure. you know, and that night when we recorded, everything was there. Yeah. It all worked. Yes. It worked out. I just <laughs> yeah. don't know how, but it worked out. But it came from that moment of, you know, Jehovah really has come through for me. Mm. And I think probably that's what people connect with. Mm. You know, they connect with the heart of the execution and the spirit yeah. of that execution and where it came from. How has the international experience been for you? Like now that mm. the world has just opened up for you, well, how, was, how has that experience been? Oh, that experience has been amazing. Has been truly amazing. I think I, I'm still I'm still amazed when I leave the country that, oh my goodness, people actually know me. <laughs> 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 I'm not in South Africa, but people know who I am. Wow. It's insane, you know. Wow. Um, it still it still shocks me every now and then. <laughs> you know, and it 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 just it just makes me just so grateful, you know, and, and also thankful for technology that you know. There is no distance. No, no, you no. You know, no, no, there's no, no, practically no. no distance between someone who's from here and someone who's yeah. in yeah. Egypt mm. or wherever. Yeah. You know, with technology, people are able to access and stream, you mm. know, and, and receive what we just worked in our studio mm. at home. Because you, know? you can't help still be 
close-minded in mm-hmm. your perspective. Yeah. Because we, you know, we South Africa has one huge advantage about it is we are such a great country with so many resources. Yeah. That we you can literally do everything here and be okay yeah. and have a very and successful yeah. career yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. And then once you get on a flight and fly to Ghana mm-hmm. and land and there's a the first person who sees you says, ah, it's you. It's you. <laughs> it surely it, blows you away. It definitely <laughs> does. It <laughs> definitely does. You get shocked. It's Haibu. La? Kajad. Yeah. No, it, it's, it's, it's done wonders for you. Mm. And, I, and, I, and I'm glad. Your last album, the one that, that has won so many of these awards, yeah. what, what was their theme? Was there a direction you were taking with this? There definitely was a theme. It definitely was a direction. Um, I think from from COVID, um, experienced loss, lost my mother, mm. and um, went through just a, a phase of just not being sure mm. um, of my purpose and if really is this it, you know. Um, it really is amazing how grief can make you question something you've known all your life, mm. you mm. know, something that I've I've been sure of all my life. Suddenly, because I'm grieving, suddenly I'm questioning it, yeah. you know. Yeah. And um, so it just really put me in in a state of confusion and um, and just going through the motions. And and I think it really helped that I allowed myself to feel it all and to go through it all. Um, it was off social media. Didn't take any bookings, you know, um, even though it happened during COVID. But sometimes, you know, we'd get bookings, um, for example, to do things, um, you know, record from home. Mm, so mm, we had mm. we had a studio okay. set up at home. Oh, yes. So we'd still get work. Um, oh, yeah. And now, work from there home. was that time. Exactly. There those, was that time, you know, even though, yeah, yeah even though there were no, there were no mm. performances outside. But, you know, we'd get requests. Mm. Shut all of that down because I was like, nah. At some wow. point I even said, I'm done. I, I can't do this anymore. Ooh. This is just not for me. Uh, not for and me. I don't think it's for me. <laughs> yes. You know, and the beautiful thing is that even during that time of confusion, I still had melodies and music in, in my heart. Mm. And I feel like that was God putting deposits in my spirit and in my heart just to soothe mm the pain at that moment. So every time I would get like a melody or something, I would record it on my phone and then park it aside and still be angry afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and still be depressed afterwards. <laughs> but I would still get these melodies and these wow. one-liners, these choruses, and I'd keep recording. The music in my heart never stopped, you mm. know. The well never ran dry. Mm. So um, at some points we were like, okay, I have a huge catalog <laughs> of all of, of these unrecorded, of music. unrecorded music, <laughs> unrecorded songs. And we were like, no, but... I, and then I was like, no, I feel like I'm ready now mm. to record something. I'm mm. ready. I feel like, you know, the melodies that I received were like God's God's love letters to me, mm. you know. And, and that's what the songs are, exactly, yeah. you know. Um, Because that's where I found my comfort. That's how I found my healing. That's how the pieces started coming back together again. Um, My love for the music started Mm, all over again through those little melodies that God deposited in my heart. And lavish worship is an accumulation of those songs and those melodies. And um, that's exactly what it is. It's a worship Mm. album. Um, you know, some people were saying, but why lavish? You know, because lavish people think <laughs> extravaganza. Mm, mm, mm. Um, you know, that means something it expensive. Yeah, <laughs> but Dubai. that's not but that wasn't the context um in this instant. In this instant, it was about lavishly, um, abundantly outpouring, yes. you know, and overflowing. Yeah. That was the 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 meaning that I was going for mm. in terms of lavish worship. Um, so it's just basically um there's a story in the Bible about um, the woman who came to Jesus and came to worship him and she had an alabaster box okay. with expensive oil. So in the story in the Bible, she comes to Jesus and she anoints him with that oil mm. and she washes even his feet with yes. her hair and just as a form of worship mm. and a form of adoration to him. 
Um, and it was basically her just pouring out her heart and thanking him um, with this grand gesture. Some mm. questioned it. They were like, no, but that was a waste. But Jesus said, no, leave her be. You know, this is her moment, you know, um, just leave her be, mm. you know. And um, there's a translation of that um, whereby when they explain what she did, they, they call it a lavish gesture of devotion. Mm. Yeah. And that for me perfectly summed <laughs> up what wow. the album was about. It really is a lavish gesture of devotion to the God who who has held my hand through the lowest of lows. And that's where the term lavish worship came from. You don't need me to tell you how it's been received. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> no, it really has. Yeah. And it's just really just so beautiful and mind-blowing. And I was very nervous about this one because it was personal. Mm. You know, mm. I was very, very. I, I don't think I've been this nervous mm. about really. A, no, also a studio album. After it was many a studio years. album. I've never recorded a studio album in like how many years? Like first, yeah, yeah, yeah. your first album was the only studio. Yeah, album. so, so every was, other was a perform was a live, was a live recording. Yes, you know, yeah. so this was the first one after probably like a decade or so, Yo. a couple of decades <laughs> of you know recording live, and this was the first one. So I was nervous about that. That it's a studio album even though everything was recorded live instrumentation, mm, mm. but it's still a studio album, yeah. you know. And number two, it was personal, you know. I felt like I was letting people into a piece of my heart. Sure. Um, and, you know, it, it felt a little vulnerable because these were sacred melodies mm. and sacred songs that mm. I would sing. That were in your phone. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, it was, felt like personal conversations mm. between God and I. Mm. And then suddenly, you know, I had to let it out and for people to receive. Uh, to receive. And it truly mm. has been amazing, the reception and, and the messages that we've been getting ever since. It's been incredible. Mm. We, we continue, we'll continue to enjoy it <laughs> for, for a long, long time. Is there, is there an effort? deliberate effort to make her music different all the time we try but sometimes some things are, are the same but you yeah. know we try you don't want to make things you don't want to it's, it's so difficult because there's nothing new now you know? <laughs> <Under the sun. laughs> yeah you Under know the but they'll always I think for people who will listen to your music they'll always pick up things that this is mm. those was work or mm. this is yeah. so and work you know but we try to make things different you know yeah. Uh, but with worship music these days, you find that the progressions are almost the same. Things have changed in terms of progression. Things have been kept. I think the direction is keeping things a little bit simple, simple. Mm. which sometimes could be an excuse for laziness, you know. Mm. <laughs> so we try to balance that you know, yeah. at the same time. Uh, for it to reach the people, it has mm. to be at a, certain, at a certain standard at the same time without compromising who we are mm. yeah. and uh, how we hear and interpret music. Yeah, but yeah. There's a... There is... You're conscious of... Yeah. of we the, can't do that same thing. It's the same yeah. thing, you know, but there are elements that you still want to keep. Okay. Yeah. You know, okay. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And also, I think, growing as well. You know, mm. I think as you grow older, mm. there are certain... You hear things differently that's true you know yeah. as you grow yeah. older and and i think that probably has contributed especially in the way that this album sounds because mm. i remember one of the first things that i said to um the session musicians because we first recorded drums and bass okay um so i i felt like i had to explain mm. you know because <laughs> it was so important because i didn't i didn't want to lose what i what what my initial vision is for, yes. for for the album yeah. so if I explained it then everyone would move in that rhythm and mm. keep okay. it that way mm -hmm. you know and when I'm starting to uh, go off on a tangent then the people around me would remind me would say hey you said this is what we're doing mm. yeah so now why are we why are we all are over we the changing? place are we changing mm. did, did something happen you know mm. just also tell me keep stay accountable as well that's mm. true so I, I got them together sat them down I was like guys this is album number. You, I don't even remember album number. <laughs> Look at him <laughs> trying to count. I don't even know. No, it's not even five. Huh. I don't even know album number, but but I felt like I've reached the point where I feel like I've got nothing to prove. Okay, okay. I've is that a comfortable space? I feel like it is okay. because it's a very peaceful yeah, space. No pressure. Because mm. there's no pressure. Okay. That's yeah. that's what I said to the guys. I was like, I feel like I've reached the point where. I feel like I've got nothing to prove and I just want to do what's in my heart. 
And it's album that wins album, album of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine. I'm like, and I just want it to be a worship album. Mm. I don't want to have too many elements that will shy away from the essence of the mm. entire body of work. Yeah. I want I want the theme to be present from beginning throughout to the end. And it should be evident from a person who listens to just number 10 that, okay, this is a worship album. Yeah. Or a person who listens to number 15, okay, this is a worship mm. album. You yeah. know, it should be a theme that goes throughout the album because I felt like I'm at peace. Singing Dala, man. Oh, there's certain things that I don't need to, <laughs> to, to fight for or to, you know, as much as it's an effort, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that we were lazy about course, it. Of course, of course. You know, that doesn't mean that we didn't work hard. Mm. No, trust me, we worked. Mm. <laughs> you know, mm. we worked hard. You know, sleepless nights. Mm. Sometimes I'd have to take a nap in the studio. Whoa, <laughs> Remember, there break. was there was yeah. a day where I literally took a nap in the studio because I was just, I just wasn't getting it. And I took a nap <laughs> and I was like, you know what, peace, bro. Mm. I'm going to take a nap. You work on it. I because yeah. I don't know what to do right now, you know. Jeez. I take a nap and then wake up and feel energized and carry on working. Yeah. And, you know, I think that's, it's a beautiful space to be in because it's peaceful, no pressure, but I'm just, you know, doing what's in my heart. Mm. Yeah. And that's, for me, that's that's the beautiful part. Mm. And now he comes to you and says, you know, I want to do my own album. <laughs> <too."> <laughs> Is that how it happened? Yeah. No, actually... How we used to do it was mm. <laughs> when we realized that um, to record to record an album requires so much money. Mm. When we realized that, we realized what's dying egg. Let's do one at a time. Yeah. Okay, of course. You know, because we're in this together. Mm. So one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier. <laughs> it's easier so that everybody Focuses. is focused on yeah. this. And the resources. And the resources are all going into one thing. Mm. So let's not try to overstretch by doing, going, pulling in different directions. Mm. Let's pull in the same direction one at a time. Mm -hmm. And that has worked for us over the years. It yeah. really has worked mm. for us because every time he works on a project, I feel like it's my project too. <laughs> okay. It's not his album. It's not no. just it's his our, album. Yeah. It's our it album. Yeah. And because of that, when he wins, I win and I feel like it's our victory as a family, mm -hmm. you know, whereas if we were pulling in different directions, mm -hmm. if I feel like it would have caused mm. some yeah, strife yeah. and, yeah. you know, between yeah. us, if mm -hmm. <laughs> so you between have to, right? Us. So, yeah. so we had to be intentional about that as well, mm -hmm. that we do one at a time. And the rehearsal happened last year. Mm. We, we last actually year. recorded September. last year, September. We were already in studio. We were already in studio with my project. <laughs> Your album, yes. <laughs> we were already in studio with my how, album. Then, but then, then how he decides. How, how did you decide? <laughs> how did you decide? You know, I got in trouble with a lot of people living at Coco Records with that album. But <laughs> I, I guess I guess I just used my my hand there because yeah, the, the muscle. No, he didn't. Exactly. What did I honestly? They were like, "What is happening here?" We're you didn't this tell us it. that we're recording this. No, but but, but what was driving you to carry on so much, even use your muscle to... I just wanted to, to do this. I just wanted to do this project. And I wanted to do it on my birthday, which is the 30th of August. Mm. But I just couldn't get the venue until I did it 21st of... of, of 22nd, of, actually. 22nd of... And that was a friend. A friend was getting married on that day. Oh. And we had RSVP'd and said we were we going to the wedding. Go. You couldn't even and go to the wedding. And he decides... In oh July, that no, he wants to do a recording exactly on, the, <laughs> on a him. close friend's wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him realizing that. No, no, that problem, uh, that, that that project, I got people a lot of a lot of my people in trouble. No, they you didn't. Did. Know what was happening. You we were did. just they were just going with the flow. <laughs> I remember I had meetings after. Please don't do this thing again on us. Oh, they we just they didn't said know that. what was happening. We couldn't even support you the way we do our things. Yeah. Mm. I just pushed it through. And but yeah, but but what, just, still, I ask, what was it that was pushing you to? What was <laughs> what were you what were you answering? <laughs> Whose call were you answering? I had here? songs. Uh -huh. You know, I think I've never in my life had a flow of songs like I had for this project. I've okay. written a, probably eighty percent of the album. Mm. It never happens like that for me. I would write maybe a few songs Something, and I'll yeah. bring songwriters to okay. come. I wrote a lot of songs and I knew exactly 
who I want to bring to sing those songs because it's an album of collaborations. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember, you know, when we travel long flights, I, I get to sit and think. Mm-hmm. And most of the ideas comes that time. You know, I remember we were flying from the US and I told her, there was a, I'm doing. When was it? When? That was in July. Yes. Jeez. I told her, I'm doing <laughs> you, He moved fast. I, I Extremely said, I'm fast. I'm doing the rehearsal project. So that's but why she he, always we knew that I wanted to do it. the rehearsal oh, project. The, the, the idea has always been in the house. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing the rehearsal project in August. Yeah. Like it's July <laughs> and he's saying in August. I'm That's like a. It. We never do that. We always plan like a year yeah, in advance, wow. and six months is the worst I we've ever done. I started writing. I started contacting people, and <laughs> I knew exactly. We never even spent much time at rehearsal. I think we had no. three days of rehearsal. No. For rehearsal, because and then it, because it had to be a rehearsal. rehearsal. Yeah. yeah. So it had to be. Yeah. And I called everybody. They said, yes, the artists were available. Some came from Devon. We had to book flights. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> how, do, how do you book a flight? <laughs> <laughs> quick, 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 eh? Book hotels. <laughs> and what? we recorded. It was a great experience. And it after was. that, I was like, okay, let's go back to Lavish. We need to finish Lavish. <laughs> That's why it took time. Yeah. Yes, yeah. okay. Yeah. I, I, I had even forgotten about it. They were like, no, 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 we need you to. Have to really we, we, have have we have a project. We have an incomplete yeah, bridge. Like in Cape Town, you have yeah. a bridge that's still hanging like this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go back. <laughs> yeah. What? Because yeah. he was even talking about the next rehearsal. And I was like, ah, hey, ah, not. Ah, ah, ah. let's release this one. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter two, but 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 obviously you're, you're proud of what you've done, even in yeah. that agent. Beautiful. We are, yes. we are Beautiful all happy work. about it, but I won't put them through that again. Please no, don't. I won't, yes. you know, but I, I think I think I guess it, it was it had to be done because it's out now. We're so happy yeah. about it, yeah. and you wanted to. Yeah, I think you were also <laughs> wanted to test the waters mm. and see, would see how how it's gonna be. How received. would it was a you different work? Project. Yeah, because it was something completely different from what yeah. you'd done before. Mm. Mm. I think that was. Probably Probably one of the things that we're pushing him because he was stepping into territory mm, that uncharted even, yeah. waters. Yeah. yeah. So how has it been received? Oh, it's so great. I'm so happy. You know, I I'm actually I'm actually amazed, you know, at how it's been received. You know, when people just pick up pick up picking up their favorite songs in the album. Mm. And what I did as well is to bring singers that are not, not known. Mm. Not well established. Not big, but big great, names. But great yeah. singers yeah. that I always wanted to work with and when you see people appreciating these people, you know, it just feels good. Like I gave someone an opportunity, you know, and I think that's how the concept's going to be. I'm going to bring some of those known artists. I'll also have a yeah. couple of people that need a platform, mm. you know, just to be part of it. I'm really happy about it. The song, the songs are blessing the people. Each, every day I wake up with the message of, this is my favorite song. Wow. You know? <laughs> uh, or I'm, I, I can't, Press skip. I just listen through the whole album. Wow! Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Do you look at look at her smile? <laughs> <laughs> look at her smile. Yeah. <laughs> Happy for for hubby. Yeah. <laughs> so there there can't be competition. Yeah. No. Because all your albums are each other's albums. So yes, you, exactly. it's a family. No, it it's has, always a family it has to project work for both for both of us. Yeah. 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 Do you inspire the kids to get into music? <laughs> they love music and they do love to sing. Mm. Um, the youngest is actually always singing. Mm. Or oh, wow. when I say always, I mean always. more than you. <laughs> <laughs> always singing at home, and she loves. Um, yeah, she loves music. She loves singing. But they, they both, they all three of them actually. Yeah. Mm. They're, they're always singing. singing. They yeah. love music. But that's not our influence, okay? Gosh. We don't. Well, it's it's playing around them all the time. <laughs> yeah, but we 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 don't want we don't want to impose. Yeah, we're trying to manage, we're trying to manage um, the pressure of the of you know because the 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 notion is uh, because we're gifted in music, then the expectation, expectation. is mm. that our children should be exceptionally gifted, mm. you know. Music wise, and and we don't want to push put that pressure on them. Mm. If as the time goes by, they actually want to be in the industry, then 
you know, will gladly. And you then know, they'll be close by. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's absolutely. Even, yeah. It's even easier. Yeah. 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 And they won't have to, to struggle like you did. <laughs> no hardship. No. No, no sitting no. in the car and listening to a song over and over again. Uh, no, we have to do that. <laughs> no, we got to do that. That part has to be done. That has to be done. <laughs> <laughs> so they have to get that it right. That has to be done. <laughs> no, you can't be Dora Zombambo's daughter be in the music Oopie. industry and be no, they can't no, be average. No, they can't. <laughs> Can't be average. average. They have no. to be exceptionally work. Uh, no, no, no. Is, is is there talent? You have you spotted it? Definitely. Yeah, there is. there's there talent. Is. Yeah. They they interested in the instruments? Oh, they're so lazy. I, I tried teaching them. Hey, but I don't think they. I don't know. Yeah, I like, think I think you gave up on them too quickly. You think so? I, I should think try. so. Okay. I think you should go so. back. Okay. I think you should. Oh, okay. Because mm. there definitely is talent. I oh. think you just got tired. Mm. Yeah. Or maybe you shouldn't be the one teaching them. Oh, maybe I should just send them to well, the teachers. Well, okay, I hear, I hear both. So, some, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we're not very good teachers to the people we love. Yeah, nah. like I, I tried that a, a girlfriend many, many years ago to teach how to drive. I was extremely <laughs> oh, impatient. Oh, we have a story too. <laughs> 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 what happened? I'm not a, great, a good teacher at no, all. No, clearly you're there not. You go. There, my theory <laughs> is proven. Tell her, what is the story? <laughs> he was teaching me how to drive. Mm. And I got so upset that I got out of the car and walked. Whoa, daughter. <laughs> what, what got you that upset? <laughs> she was not listening. You see? You see? You see? He does not have the patience to be a teacher. Mm. Okay. All the finesse. Let's 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 open this up just a little bit. Let's open this up just I'm a little packing. bit. <laughs> what was she not listening to? The instructions. Which one? Like it's a manual? It's a manual, yeah. Yes. So when you want to move that thing, mm, you have to put your you foot have on to the clutch. Put your foot, your left foot all the way down. My issue is mm. when he's teaching, he forgets that he was also a student once. <laughs> So, and he didn't understand what that meant and how to balance mm, the feet. Mm, mm. He also went through the same thing. My issue was, oh, guy. Okay. Were you there when I was going to? I was not there, but I know. There you were not no, born with the knowledge of I got Kumuto Shaelanje perfectly first time. No, but I, I give an instruction. She must just follow the instruction. Otherwise, she's going to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, you see, you see. I get it. Completely. Thank you. The, he does not have the gift. You remember the point I made? Maybe sometimes you shouldn't be the teacher. Yeah, I'm not. Then I know. Mm. I'm not the one. Your patience is... But I tried with my daughters, you know. Abo, my foot was interested in piano. Yeah. The other one was learning guitar. And she was good, but she she just didn't want to practice. Yeah. Okay, we'll try. We'll try again. And, and, yeah, and I'll try again. And mu music comes with repetition. It you have does. to. They have to. Over know. and over and over. Then yeah. it becomes part of your DNA. Practice if they if they uh, if they, no I, I can't I can't have children who who are average in music <laughs> <laughs> they can be average at other things no or else they, they can just if they wanna be average in music it's fine they can just do it and play in church and play when we're praying at home and they do what they good no at. careers yeah they do what they good at <laughs> not as a career must, not they as they a career yeah they must have something that they good at yeah let's focus on that. <laughs> But there is talent. There Bottom is talent. line, yeah. there is talent. Yeah, they just, just need a, a good teacher. Who <laughs> 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 <Ooh>, spice? <laughs> I was waiting for this. Hey, who's spice? I know that's what I'm. I look for a good teacher. I'll find a good teacher. I wrote. I wrote a few questions uh, that have to do with uh, how you, well you guys know each other. Mm. We'll see. You can say no. Mm -hmm. when he's wrong and the other way around. Yeah. Don't say yes just because you have done. Okay. All right. You have the to be honest. The couple's lies. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is his favorite color? Aye, this one. He doesn't have a favorite color though. It's, uh, he's, he's, he's either always wearing black or blue or nudes, browns. It's around that area. It's, he doesn't have uh, a favorite she's, color. She's all right. Because, yeah. There's no... Ish, no. No. Let's keep going. Food? There has Food. to be a meal that he truly loves. We are trying to with our Zoom. So one of his favorites is the Stambulopunchis. Yes, sir. Spot on. Yeah, spot on. 
That's easy. She cooks it. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite song of all time. One that he would play over and over again. Is that a difficult one? That's a very difficult one because he goes through different seasons. Uh-oh. Okay, let's talk about this season. No, but she's getting it right. The answer, I was thinking the same thing that uh, it's seasonal for me. It and is she seasonal. Just says it okay, like cool. That. Let's talk about it, this season. It depends on what he's going through, you know. Like, for example, last year, mm. I think his favorite song was Yahweh. Mm-hmm. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Yeah. Too high. Mm-hmm. That's what is that was his favorite song. I think early in the year, and then probably later in the year, it was see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. Um currently He doesn't agree with that, but carry you on. don't. <laughs> I agree with the artist though. Oh yeah, the artist. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> Close enough. Currently. Currently. Yo. <laughs> you guys are in the cut together a lot. We are. But he plays different songs. The artist probably still is Pastor Nathaniel Bassey. Mm. I think. Yeah, she's right. Yes, yeah. The artist, yeah, the is, artist right. is right. I don't right. even like listening to Nathaniel Bass anymore, but I just find myself just listening, listening to him. <laughs> that is Why don't you like artist. listening anymore? Because I've been listening because to him quite like, a lot. Yeah. I want to listen to other things, but I'm <laughs> What just, is it about? about, about oh, he's an amazing artist and mm. a, a gospel music minister. I just love the guy, you know? Yes. I'm like, no, I just, I'm trying to, uh, even if I create playlists, He'll have like four songs in my playlist. <laughs> and others are having one, 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 oh, one, one. Hell. Even the collaboration that it does with other artists, that will bring, bring them, them in. Let's so, keep yeah. going. Favorite movie. The very movies he forgets ah. about. A Born Identity. <laughs> 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 Yo, that is his movie. Year. Every year. Not even every, it's not a yearly thing. Like every couple of months, every after two weeks or oh. all. <laughs> does he, does he forget he's seen it? <laughs> no, that's probably the one movie. <laughs> he knows he's seen. That he knows he's seen. And he's intentional. I'm going to be like, I'm going to born. Yeah. I'm going to be born. That is, that is. Your, your taste is similar to yours. I, my taste is, is similar to yours. Okay. I absolutely love those movies. <laughs> Let's keep going. A, a fruit that you know and you hesitate to enjoy. A fruit. Mm. Is is there? Let's start there. It's there. Oh, it there is we go. there. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out which fruit. Oh, is that? <laughs> Don't think too much. It's close by. <laughs> it's not far. Fruit. It's at the top of the fruit basket. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but the fruit basket That's, has a lot, though. No, no, but you place this one at the top. I, 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 I can't, I don't know the answer to yeah, that. No. <laughs> the, banana. Yes, banana. <laughs> <laughs> really? Ah, yeah. That's your favorite food. <laughs> it's nice. It's you easy. over grapes. I grapes. Uh, <laughs> all right. I love you them. You just don't like the skin. I just, I, it's just that the banana, you know, it, you can't, it, it, you don't even have to have breakfast, you know, just grab a banana and, and you go, so it's fast. Yes. <laughs> well, look at you, you just made a discovery. <laughs> I know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> a favorite day of the week. We. I, it, do you have one? I Where think, you are? I think I have one. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Yeah. Your favorite day of the week? Yeah. There's two options. Okay. It's either it's Sunday or it's Monday. Wow. She's close. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> what? Because Monday is all his days off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mondays, yeah. I, I don't have to. I don't yeah, have to. Yeah, he doesn't have to work on Monday. You don't have to do Mondays. anything. Yeah. yeah. You've made that decision. Yes. What led to that decision? Yes. I look forward to Mondays because I feel like I'm starting. And you, you want to stop. <laughs> no, no, no. I uh, Because I work during weekends. weekends. Mm, yeah. So I feel like, and if I skipped Monday and worked on Monday, I can you feel, feel the week. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, if you I'm, feel... Yeah, like I never had a break. Yeah. Oh. Because weekends are always... Oh, crazy. Mm. Yeah, so Performances and all of that. Monday, yeah. Yeah. Nice, yeah. yeah. Wow, man, you know this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Favorite car of all time. Ooh, tough one. You have one? I have a favorite car. I don't have it yet. She knows. A Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> really? 
it's when I get there, you'll know that I've arrived. I have. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. Yeah. You made it. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Let's start. Uh, time of day. Oh. Do you have? Where this time, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm content here. Yeah. yeah. Time I of think day. It's early mornings. Because he gets devotions. No, baby. Which one? <laughs> you have to be part of that time of day. Me? In the evenings when the kids are asleep? Yes. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> favorite time. How is that so confusing, oh, mom? Oh, I'm part of your favorite time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. I thought you'd be tired of me by now. It was such a mascoco. Hey, my dad. Um, <laughs> a favorite artist of all time. Is that obvious? Of all times. Yeah. Yes. Is it obvious? I think so. Yeah, I think it should the be. the same. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, favorite part of the world, whether you've been there or not, but something about it. Whether it's a country or a city or you just know that it. We are, do you have one? I don't think no, so. No, he doesn't. Nah. No, he doesn't. Not even your home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not even KZN. <laughs> That's no, a very good no, question. No, no, no. Hey, another question. Well, that doesn't include well, my home. Well, no, I, uh, no. Excluding home. In all, in all fairness. In all fairness. Oh, no. In all fairness. All right. Let me ask about, about her. You. Day, day. Do you know if she has a favorite uh, nail oh. tech, tech. What do they call nail tech? What do you call these people? The people shop. who do your nails. The nail shop or whatever. Yeah, whether it's a person or because they complain about them. Yo. Or no, they're happy don't. with them. I you just don't. know the previous one. I don't know the current one. Okay, who's the previous one? I think it was Tommy Taylor or something. The store. It, look, it even thinks it's a person. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's the name of it's a, a store. It sounds like a name in the cellar. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it is the name of the cellar. <laughs> so it's a person. Well, it's a brand. <laughs> oh, man, you're like me. You're just a guy, dog. Oh, no, I... But I don't talk about... The nail tech. You don't bring though. stuff like that to no, him. Because yeah. I know it was I. It's not his cup of tea. I just show him my nails. Baby, hey, look, Baby look, you look, move on. on. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Favorite song of all time. Do you have one? No. The, Again, it could be seasonal, but let's see. I don't know. Maybe he'll, he will remind me. Hey, man. <laughs> You've been listening to this song. Oh my God! Who sings it? I don't know. One of those worship groups, Zapeshe. Mm. Hey, it's on this album that has Alpha, some a version of Alpha and Omega. But there's this one's no, that not this one that says, uh, "Oh my God, it's the songs of Solomon." I mean, I've forgotten what song you're talking mm. about. <laughs> my, <laughs> it doesn't. Itini. You do remember. Yeshua. No, no, no. It has a verse. Ah, guys, I, please, next question. <laughs> which song? I'm so confused. Now I'm interested to figure out which, which song one, which this one, is. Which song you said it's on, on a particular album. Yeah, it's on a particular album that she always plays. She introduced me to this album. It has Alpha and Omega, that guy who sings. You, they sing it very slowly. Oh, Jesus image. Exactly. But there's a song. The name there. of the group. Okay. Which one? All is for your glory. No, no, no. Let me see the song list. Let's see. Yeah. There's Yeshua there, isn't there? There is. There is. Jesus image. What does this one say? Yeshua. Hey, hey, what this other part? My beloved is more beautiful. My beloved. <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> amongst thousands. Oh, it's even on my playlist now because I always hear it. Oh, is he right? Yeah, no, he is right. He is right. Currently. Yeah. But why is it that you can't remember your favorite song? Because I'm trying to figure out which one he's talking about. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I would expect it to be top of mind. Let's go to a question that you struggled with favorite fruit. Nachi. No. 
No, because what? Because I don't like peeling it. But I do it's it for you. Nails, but I, I, I do it for nails. you. Yeah, true. You do do it for me. Well, look at that. That's I that's do that's have lab. a favorite fruit, baby. I do. Strawberry. No, it's currently in season. It's not in season the whole year. Oh, cherry. Yes. Really? Look yeah. at that. Like, the, like when you yes. realize. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you just remember? Like obviously the clue Season. was there. Because sometimes we get them and bow up. And they're down. terrible. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. So yeah, yeah, no. Nah. Fruit no. fruits is a it's always like you are taking yeah, a no, chance. Hey. Every time you're taking a chance. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You go excited and you live disappointed. Like ah. oh, what? No, and the thing, the disappointment is when you're sitting at home, just yeah. when you're about and you're excited. Yeah. Yes. You have a pack of Wait. cherries. <laughs> and you taste one, you know the rest is... Yeah. Yeah, no, grapes are worse. Because uh, you taste very, one. They are loyal to each other. <laughs> <laughs> How about grapes are loyal? <laughs> <laughs> when you one, is like, sorry, uh, the whole pack is bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, favorite food now that we're here. Favorite food. Food that you know she enjoys. You have? I do. Okay. I do. <laughs> and you don't know. <laughs> it's the... It's the... <laughs> it's the chicken curry. No! <laughs> no, oh. baby, no! What? But you ate it yesterday. It was a chicken prawn curry. He, he just remembers the last meal you liked. <laughs> Not your favorite meal. I love fish. Ow. <laughs> he, <laughs> <know>. <laughs> he had no clue. <laughs> uh, I love fish. I thought you have to eat fish because it's it's food. It's healthy, you know. No. And it's not a lot. I love seafood. Ooh, it's not a lot. I mean, yeah. you got the prawn part right. I do love seafood. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like I was like, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Favorite time of the day. Do you have? I think it's the same as yeah, me. Yeah. The same. Yeah. Yeah. The same. It's half past eight in the evening. Yeah. That's amazing. It's, it's true. I'm sorry. I have to release you soon. <laughs> it's arriving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite uh, day of the week? It's going to be the same. Yeah. It's the really? Same. Monday, yeah. It's a uh, yeah, Mondays. We, yeah, recovery day. Yeah. It's yeah. slow down. Yeah. yeah. Favorite movie? It has to be tough. This question. Yo. Do you have? I think it'll probably be difficult for him to figure this one. Out. But you have. Yeah. Look at him trying to figure I it out. I know. I can't figure out anything. Here. Yo. No. It's hidden somewhere. Yo. How oh, shame. I'm not gonna get it now. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I haven't even watched it in years. Oh, okay. So he wouldn't. No, it's you don't old, talk about it. It's an old it's movie. An old movie. Okay. Titanic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just helped you there. No, no. Yeah. There's music give, give, in it. There's that song in it. Which song? With that artist. Which artist? <laughs> No, not that one. <laughs> not that one. I missed this. In 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 a in a in a bazaar one. Something. Miss Cole. Not Beyonce. Hi, hi Beyonce, Lauren Hill. Hey, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. oh. I know she she just gave it away yeah, completely. <laughs> I need to set Sarafi. I'm thinking of that lady. Uh, Ooh, we go back. Sister X. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, well, that's probably Gang one of my favorite movies. What is it about it? I don't know. I think I think it's the fact that the music was just so incredible. Mm. And I saw myself. Because uh, you were still young. Yeah, because I was still young. I saw myself in there, in wow. that mix. Um, so I was just so inspired by it. I was mm. so inspired by the singers there. Mm. It made me, I think it's one of the things or elements that I that really inspired me to continue in the music journey. Amazing. Eh? Sister Act. Yeah. Imagine Sister Act 2. Sarafina. Slack <laughs> Sarafina. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Favorite part of the world. He has to have one. Unlike you. Yeah, no, I do have. Yeah. Paris. Yes. 
Perry. I've never, I've never even been there. But you... But I how did like, you even But know? I feel like I'm going to love it. Because she always says it. She wants me to take her to that restaurant. What is it? Me to the, to the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yes. Yes. And then I, I have to kiss her there. Yo, papu, yo. When you kiss the Eiffel Tower. Yes, yeah. I do. Okay. <laughs> and I want a picture of it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make not it. a complicated inquiry. <laughs> no, so. it's not straight really. to the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it doesn't yeah. have. Yeah, yeah. Just, if you fly a song, if you hotel a song, no, if you no, 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 I don't even have to have doves flying around. <laughs> nah. when we, when no, we no, kiss, she wants no. to fly a song. She oh. wants to hotel a song. I know. <laughs> Listen, I even know which hotel I want to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> Well, but it's so still not. So he needs not... the budget. Like, yeah, he has to have the budget serious budget. And, for, <laughs> and, and the hotel. Well. Yeah. Yeah. It's still not complicated. <laughs> no. Let's see, what do we have? Favorite color. Let's that be the last one. She's a lady. She would have one. I do have a favorite color. And you better not get this right. <laughs> you have, no. Look at him, look at you. <laughs> I do have a favorite color. What I like about you wearing has got many colors. <laughs> do you have it? No, it's not you. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> it's green. No. It's lavish. It's... No. <laughs> no. It's Ice not cream. green. It's, it's red. No, I'm... It's purple. It's purple. Thank you. I remember. <laughs> How did you just get it? I just remember. It's purple. <laughs> Thank you. Purple is my color. She said it's not you. So, okay. It is you, yeah. It's... Hey, hey, that has stayed for too long. You still love purple. Yes, <laughs> all my life. I like how he says you, you. still love. <laughs> oh, hey, she hey, No, no, purple is my color. It's mm. my thing. Wow, man. Yeah. I think you guys are incredible. Who, who, who chose the rings? Was it this is mine, or you just brought it and what he? I like it. Or I don't like it. I'm going to change it. I think I chose. I chose. The, I definitely. I think I chose mine. Yeah. I chose mine too, but it was not this one. No, it wasn't this one when we got married. Okay. Uh, what Why happened last? was, last? No, <laughs> oh, I not. I it became that small. Hey. We had to go up two sizes. Whoa. <laughs> the woman has been working. We had to go wow. up two sizes wow. to get him and was get it him during the pandemic or after? I think it was yeah, during. I was the victim of those. <laughs> oh, clearly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what and yeah. The next thing, the ring. And I remember when the decision was made, she was moving the ring and it was like, hey, boo. And I actually realized, no, hey, it's boo. not coming it's out. Not coming out. Gonna do and there was a problem. Hey. And it took a while to and get it off. we took it out and we never took it back. Because you couldn't. Yeah, no. no. And then I went and bought him a new one. Yeah. Well, look Thank at you. that. Eh? This one. Yeah. I think you guys are special. And, <laughs> and, and in this moment, I have to acknowledge that I think I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> to get this version of, of this chat, you know? Because uh, it's, I, I, I can only imagine it's not often and it, it doesn't happen no. this long. <laughs> never. No, we've, no, never, we've never. never. We don't. We've never told the story this much. Yeah. Because no. you guys are absolutely special and that's why people would say you make it look easy. You make love look easy. You make music look easy. Mm. You make, careers in music look easy <laughs> and you've answered that it's not yeah no <laughs> no it takes effort yeah, absolutely work it yeah. work it you have to make it work no you guys are absolutely special and an inspiration to those that want to be in music and inspiration to those that want to achieve their goals mm. and and when i look at both of you together <laughs> like almost every song you are performing he's there <laughs> Every single one. Every single one. He's <laughs> right there in the background. Yeah. And for me, that does it give you comfort? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm, the greatest is... comfort. Greatest, greatest. I feel like I am my most comfortable when he's there. Yeah. Yeah. If and it does happen that I have to work with someone else. So it has happened. It a has few happened, times. but yeah. it's not it's not often. I have to negotiate. Like, like he has to convince me. It was over credit. It was over right. And it happened recently. And it took a while for <laughs> yeah, me to, to be okay with it. Yeah. Um, for the first time, I felt like for the first time in years. Yeah, <laughs> a long time. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, and we had, I had 
accepted because he was working in Durban mm. and ended up booking somewhere else. And I was like, okay, fine. Like, I get it. Mm. I will accept, you know. But I think I, I'm most comfortable in because I feel like he, he, he gets me and I'm able to explore and even be spontaneous, mm. even though within a structure. But there's always... There's always a song that comes up after the actual song has been. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That. yeah. So it's, mm. and he gets that. So. Yeah. You've worked together for so long. Yeah. Very yeah. long. So we understand each other. Yeah. No, you guys are special. Mm. I, I don't know how to thank you. Mm. I think uh, it's obvious South Africans love what you do mm. and they love this union. Mm. Uh, and I'm almost, I'm almost confident that. The, the biggest thing people are going to love about this particular episode is they love each other so much. Because <laughs> it comes across, it shines. Mm. I'm looking at just like, yo, no time to happen. <laughs> you know, so, 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 so of all the lessons of, of your love and your life is the love, man. Mm. The beauty and the, and the purity in it. Mm. And the, the, the effort. <laughs> yeah. Because love is an effort. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's, we, we we can't say I love you once and say ah <laughs> but <laughs> three it doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who says it first? Often. He does actually. Yeah. He does. He says it often. Yeah, I've tried to learn over the years. Yeah. yeah. To the point to if I say it first, oh, <laughs> really? Let me get turned. Well, wow. the Bible never instructed them to love us. It was the other way. Around. That's it. If yeah. I get it, hey, <laughs> we celebrate. Yeah. Eh? yeah. But I, 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 I wish you all, I wish you both well. The Thank kids you. at home, the family mm. members. Uh, you know, extended members of the yeah. family, yes. those back home. Yes. And I say, what we have in you is a, is a gift as a country and yeah. we appreciate it. Thank you. And you will get your doctorate. Yes. And unfortunately, it'll be an honorary one. I, I, <laughs> no, you can say no. <laughs> you don't have to accept it. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You don't have to accept it, but you're going to get it. We, Like I said, we're generous and we're most generous to gospel singers. <laughs> And we give them this one. <laughs> See, that's, that's a problem. <laughs> Very generous. They mean, maybe we're going to school. Yeah, no. They let mean me a quickly, lot. Let me we're, quickly start. We're going to school. <laughs> they, they mean something. They're not loose It's not too late to decide for 2024. Ne? No. It's not too late. However, I have to tell you that they, they have value. No, you know? they do. Yeah, they they're do. not frivolous. You know, because no, because it's a recognition of... Oh, look at his eyes. Look, it's a recognition. No, I, 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 I agree that it is a recognition and it's great to have. But when, when I do get an honor, you don't want that. No, I'm going to accept it, but I'm not going to go around calling myself a doctor. Mm, no, yeah. No. You, you want to earn it. I want to but earn it. But we're going to call you a doctor. No, please don't. <laughs> he's going to call you. Next in, that in, that, the next interview, you have to be like, uh, uh, I'm going to say no, King David. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. I don't use that word easily. And, and I wish you well. And even in the music, mm. may you not have that year again where you had to cry and question yeah. the, the industry. Yeah, may you have oh, years yes. where you would want to spread mm. this music yes. more and more and more. Mm. And I like that you're at a stage in your career where you say you don't have nothing else to prove. Yeah. And I like that these awards come in that album. Yeah. <laughs> then you'll get more awards yeah. and say, I still have nothing else to prove. And yes. that's the beauty of it. Yeah. We love what you do. I showed you a, a slide where <laughs> I had planned to have you on one of our shows. <laughs> but what you, you guys do is just beautiful. Thank you again. Yeah, thank so you much. so much. Yeah, thank it's so much. it's special. And, and you, have, you seem to have a, a strong support team as well. Absolutely. This was managed to the very last second. Last yeah. second. Yeah. This process. <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah no, I know. People no, our play. people, we have, God has really blessed us with yeah, amazing people. Great. And the, do you know what one of the wonderful things about our people is that these are people that I literally grew up with. What? We've Man, known each yeah. other at Sunday school. No way. I promise you. <laughs> we've known each other. We literally grew up together, known each other since Sunday school. Andy's was near, same thing. You can question the loyalty. 
And they, We're ma- family. and they married well as well because when they married, the husband came and became and part family of the as well. well. <laughs> so the, <laughs> so the whole thing—it's just it's a union. Wow, exactly. It's a Absolutely. They can you realize they can't fight. <laughs> the couples can't have disagreements. No, 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 no. no, no it no, affects no, the whole no, system. No, no. Absolutely. No, there'll be a family meeting. Go on, say. Because <laughs> literally, we are family. Yeah, you know, the fact that we grew up together, it wasn't a woodsy. But we're literally sisters. Mm. And let's let's and do this. That's it. This and thing that's is growing. Is. Yeah. We need help. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And they they're a great blessing. We conclude with this. Who do you have to thank? Have Whether to it's thank? your life, your career, your or all of them. Who do you have to thank? Oh my word. Who do I have to thank? First and foremost, God, obviously, mm-hmm. who is the source of all things, who is the giver of the gift. Uh, without God, there wouldn't be a gift. And um, people wouldn't be receiving from it and being blessed by it. Mm. So God deserves all the glory for the wonderful gift. Um, And then a big thank you to my parents, my mother and my father, who were the first discoverers Mm. of Of the the gift. gift. Yes. Mm. (laughs) They were the ones who discovered the gift. They Mm. saw it first. They believed in it first. And they nurtured the gift, you know, and they made sure that they create structures you know, to protect the Mm. gift as well. Um, So definitely to my parents, um, obviously during celebration, uh, especially Mm. uh, the dads. (laughs) 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 Bubbly Delanem Keys, Pastor Mtunzi Namba, Pastor Jabu Shongwane, who have really been fathers to me my entire Mm. career Mm. and, you know, who really opened my eyes to the fact of, you know, how grand music is, you know, there's music production um, and, you know, they help me see, you know, they help build up my confidence as well and to help build up um, the dogos that people get to appreciate now. Mm. And a big thank you also to my siblings, you know, Mm. uh, my family. My siblings are incredible. When we actually went to 2000, I was with my brother. He's in, was in there. He's part yeah. of the oh, team. Always, always with us. Always with us. <laughs> um, so I'm always surrounded by he family. Wanna, he doesn't want to see me driving. He ne- <laughs> like, that's how. Oh, he will drive. Uh, he if he's always. around, he will drive. Yeah, he always. Drive. He's wow. always there. Um, this is probably probably like the first thing, first time he's not he's with not me with us, yeah. in, in and weeks. And, <laughs> he's not, he's not and he's not happy about it wherever he is. Sorry, bro, guy. <laughs> you know, so God truly blessed me with incredible siblings who are yeah. so, so supportive. Um, and when I say siblings, I don't just mean my siblings, but I also mean my 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 yes. husband's siblings mm. as well. You know, they're just always yeah. putting in everything mm. that they have to make sure that our dreams and visions, you know, yes. become a- accomplished. And obviously my record company, Coco Records, uh, which is also family, mm-hmm. my husband and my mom, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so um, big thank you to Coco Records. Big thank you to every single session musician that I've ever worked with, you yeah. know, because the, the truth of the matter is being the artist, you hear something in your head and you need people to translate what you're mm. hearing in your uh-huh, head uh-huh. for it to materialize it. Uh-huh, and uh-huh. that for me, I just want to thank every single uh, mm. session musician, every single creative that I've ever worked with over the years. Yeah. Um, yeah. All my service providers who have also become family. Mm. <laughs> um, there's so many people <laughs> to thank. So there's a lot of people. And most importantly, my husband. Yeah. You know. You can't, af- you can't forget my that. My guy. <laughs> my dude. <laughs> My awesome husband, who's always just, you know. Mm, stop it. He's good. He's mm. a good man. He really is an amazing man. And I'm just, I'm so blessed. Yeah. He has this way of of leading, but not controlling. Mm. Do, do, do you get I what get I mean? It. Do you I get, get what it. I mean? I get it. You know, because most of the time you see um, people who lead, but who want to be in control and who are controlling every mm. single narrative and mm. every single mm. aspect. Mm. But the way he leads our family so well, and it just, it's its beautiful, you yeah. know, because he leads, but he's also allowed me the freedom to be who I am fully, yeah. you know, without having to feel like I have to cower or, you know, or, you know, have to, Mm. I never feel that way and mm. I just want to say thank you I love you baby mm. okay. love you you're an awesome you're welcome. person mm. love you. <laughs> Kuna I love you uh, and we respond to thank you <laughs> It's okay. Shop. 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 
Ich bin bei Hitzer Band. Ich bin bei Hitzer Band. Wow. <laughs> Who do you have to thank? Yo. Hey, Kai, she has said it all. God is on top of the list. I want to thank God for the gift. I want to thank my parents for realizing the gift and giving me an opportunity to express my gift and to be, to be mm. who I am. And I want to thank uh, my siblings, my brothers. I have two brothers and my sister, my brothers and their wives. Mm. You know, everybody just is sold out to this dream. You know? yeah. uh, they take care of us when our, ki- of our children when we travel. Mm. Yeah, wow. You know, they just make sure that we are well taken care of. We mm. never have issues of no. feeling like uh, we're, we're of being made feel like we're special kids. They just yeah. they just love us the way we are, you know, yeah. and they let us be. You know, they're just a blessing to us. Uh, also, when I say my siblings, I also include uh, <laughs> her brother, her sister. And his sister's spouses, husband, and their and spouses, spouses as well. We just make everyone work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Thank you guys. We appreciate we you. We love you. We love you. I want to thank Coco Records, my partner Togo. The people who support what we do, the fans. Absolutely. Oh man, I love to call Most them partners. Mm. Oh, these people, yeah. man, they, they are always there for us. They fight for us. Sometimes they fight with us and we love it. <laughs> <laughs> we saw them. Yeah, a few weeks ago. They also fight with us as well. You know, you know, they love our music. They share, they share our content on social media. The team that we work with, mm. uh, from Coco Records, from Wise Media, these people, they just make our lives easy. Mm. You know, and um, our church, Change Bible Church, mm. our pastor is always a great support and a mentor. Mm. He's always there for us. Sometimes we're not in church for some for a couple of weeks because of our work, but we'll keep on checking. Are you okay? Are you guys mm. okay? Just to make sure we stay connected mm. spiritually. Your celebration is part of us, our lives, whether we like it or not. <laughs> Babu Tunzi, Babu Chabu, Babu Lindeland, amazing people. Okay. We in our hearts we bless them. And their families, you know, yeah. you know, um, and the work they continue to do, to do for others as well, you know. Yeah. And I thank my wife, you know, who allows me to be mm. her husband, and many <laughs> other things, you mm. know. <laughs> and you know, and it's it's great to be a music producer, but it's greater to have to work with great artists as well, you know. Interpret what you do, you know. Yeah. I say. I think it's every music producer to work with a singer like her. Mm, it's you a know? dream. Eh? Yeah, it's a dream. You, yeah, live, you, you know? live that dream. Every I day. live the dream every day, you, wow. know? you know. Imagine so that. Thank you for choosing me <laughs> uh, to always do your work. But if you feel like you want to work with someone else, I won't take it, Gab. You know? <laughs> it's about the music. You won't take it nah, 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 nah. I have to keep keep checking that, you know, mm, because mm. music is vast, you know, and we, we really want to grow. Mm. You know, yeah. in it, you know, I appreciate you, baby, for raising my daughters. The wife that you are, mm. yeah, my wife respects me, you know, so wow. it makes it easy to laugh yeah, because I'm a man in my house. I feel it. I don't even have to say it. You, know, mm. but I just you don't know, have to remind everyone. I just know that I have a place you yeah. know, in, in that home. Yeah, man, and everybody who we might not know who loves and pray for us. And thank you, too, man, Yay. for inviting us here. Mm-hmm. And our first one was at, at, at SABC, but you invited you to this, yeah. to this one. The, I'm telling you, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly inspired by the things that I see around yeah, here. The you work know, that you've done. I've done. And it's, I think the timing of me seeing this place is perfect. Mm. You know, <laughs> Tell uh, me why. <laughs> Are you working on a similar thought? You see, now I have to say it on on on, on you don't have. cameras. You don't yeah. <laughs> but the timing is perfect yeah. for me to be here. Yeah. I was not expecting. One day you'll see. Yeah, I'll see. But I was not expecting to see all of this. Mm. But I needed to see it. Yeah. 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 I love and how God inspired. works things out. Thank you so much for, yeah. thank you. for being an inspiration. For me, I mean, I didn't know you. I just... Met at the at the I've seen you as a guy <laughs> man, playing a piano. Yeah, this, man is, hey, this man is talking and he knows a lot of stuff about us. You know, when you go to read this radio interviews, you can pick up that people don't know. Yeah, Especially gospel. Yes, yeah, yes. it's just a quick interview, you know. Yeah. I was not even expecting this to be this long, but we're mm. so grateful. Mm. Uh, we appreciate it when people love what we do and know what we do. And we are so encouraged and inspired. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Sure. Me, I'm going to heaven. I don't know about you. 
<laughs> I can't have this much luck. <laughs> Never. 